Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So, as per sort of the tradition, if we get to five episodes without a single defeat, it becomes a no defeat campaign. So, here we are. So, honestly, any excuse to try to keep this campaign going, to be honest. So, no defeats, no reloads either. No, from battles. So, we'll see how we go. But we've, we've had a few close calls, and we've got Azazel threatening us up here. So, it all just depends. If he if he lands here, I'm not going to be able to catch up. But if he goes after this one here, I might be able to catch up. But yeah, taking out Azazel would be good. We've also got Oxyodal army coming up this way. It's probably going to land there. So, we need to be recruiting. Um... We don't have time to build defenses. Five turns is too long. Uh, yeah, there's not much we're going to be able to do about that. I can build this. Enemy leadership, minus four. It's probably better than nothing. Legend, you're the best Total War player. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Um, if you say so. That's, that's not important. The most important thing is that you guys are entertained. All right, this army here, we know that Volkmar is around here somewhere, so... I'm just not going to get caught in Force March. It's just not going to happen. So, uh, let's Force March to here. March for King. Okay. And we've still got this battle here to do, which I'll have to fight, fight manually. Now, I guess the big thing here is deciding whether or not we should... Um, well, what type of uh, blowing up should we do? Should we completely destroy it? Or should I Blood for the Blood God it? As in, um, create a new blood host. Obviously, money's a little bit tight now. And I need, I need cash to recruit over here. Of Korn, ah, I don't have enough cash for more Chaos Warriors. This is a full stack coming in here. You know? We need more troops there. Exalted hero of Korn. Alright, well, here's something. I could sack some of these settlements. I could sack this one here for some money. I don't know if I want to occupy it just yet. This guy out here scouting around is good. Okay, there's another army coming in this way. Uh, Maxim Lozat. Became member for four months. Cheers. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. So this guy here's got lightning strike, right? This guy will be able to become a bloodthirster soon. But I was actually thinking this time, since lightning strike is absolutely critical, um, we will keep him until he's reached maybe rank twenty, and then turn him into a bloodthirster because I need to have lightning strike. If we have a rank eight bloodthirster, it's not going to cut it. Omar Tariq Kak Kekmak. Hope I pronounced that right. Did a TRY 10 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, so. Exalted we're going to decide what we're going to do here. Didn't you say that you don't want to play another I Play With Blues campaign? Oh, yeah, but I also really want to play this campaign, so, you know. Let the yeah. Commence. We'll see how we go. This just, this just happened to. Like, we got to this point without losing a battle, so. Just run with it. And just hopefully you you guys seem to enjoy the no defeat campaigns. You seem to enjoy them usually because there's so much bloody stress. Because honestly, some of the like minor defeats don't matter, but having to try to keep all of our territory um, safe, especially when we're fragmented, uh, is a bit of an issue. Okay, I need money. So how are we gonna do this? Like I said, I could sack this, but that'll take out some of their armies, which is good. Especially this one. That one there, if we sack this. That one looks like it's coming in. Because you can see the zone of control there. I ain't doing that. That brother he has sweet. Corn demands blood. Yeah. So this army here will get taken out. Exalted with slaughter. So that's that is good, yeah, let's do that then. Blood for the blood god! Because we want to keep weakening Crooked Moon. Alright, looks like we can just auto that. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So, got about 
four grand in loot, and then another four grand in sack money. You know, it helps to pay for shit out here. And we finish the mission from... Them. All right, you still need to remain in ambush stance out here, because otherwise they... Well, we need to just trick them into engaging. Yeah. We've also got a hero here who's disciplined. Praise the Blood God! Get rid of one of these Chaos Warrior Halberds. That, I was supposed to be recruiting Exalted Bloodletters, but they took two turns and I just needed the army right away. So get rid of this. Put this one in here. My last shall encourage them! Yeah. Live to fight. And that saves us a little bit of money. Okay, that way we've got the money we need to recruit these Chaos Warriors. Can you briefly explain which blue skills are good for Legendary Very Hard? Look, it just depends on what you want. Like, you can read the description, you can see what you need. Um, do you need raid income and sack income? Not really, I don't really spend much time raiding, it depends on what faction you're playing. Recruitment cost reduction, that's alright, you know, corn corruption. Uh, do you need attrition suffered by defender when laying siege and control local province? That's trash, okay? That is complete trash. Only noobs will get that. That is garbage, that one. Because you should never lay siege for long periods of time. If you can't win the battle in the initial turn that you attack it, then you shouldn't have attacked it. Um, that's good, obviously. Uh, Fetid Gallipod is good, you know? Um, 6% replenishment rate. Blessed by evil. Um, it's good. You know, there's... Extra income from post-battle loot. No downside to that. Um, chance of intercepting an army. That's actually pretty good for this situation. You know, lightning strikes, good. It just depends on what you want. That's the thing. You have a choice. None of them are particularly impactful, except for maybe lightning strike. Uh, it's up to you what you want to do with it. Speaking of which, what are we going to do with it? Yeah, intercepting armies would be good, but I think increasing our post-battle loot would be good. And also, you know, more ad magic items. Uh, Bearing Runa did an ISK 750 super chat. Uh, FYI, the black parry up blue item unique to vampire accounts provide indefinite magic. It gives 9 reserves per use. Thanks dude, that's very interesting that you brought that up, because in tomorrow's video, I will actually uh, mention that. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is very interesting, because yeah, I got a saving disaster sent in with the vampire accounts, and that had that item, and I make note of that and say how good that item actually is. That's, that's <laughs> very interesting. But thanks for Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, so the vampires can get unlimited magic with that. That's a, that is an insanely good item. So yeah, keep an eye out for tomorrow's disaster battle. Which, whatever. Alright, so we need to fight this over here. I think we're good for money for the turn, so I think what I'll do is, um... I really want to send as much force as possible up here to deal with Volkmar. So... I know that it won't be a very good... won't be a very big blood host. Oh, I shouldn't need it. Now think about it, I shouldn't need it. I don't think sacking it is the right call either. I need to blow this off so we can just leave. Okay, we gotta fight this manually so that we don't take damage. You know, using these guys here, we can ensure that. Should CA remove or alter skills that the faction can't use it, like authority in the separate god factions or growth juice from Throt's example? I mean doesn't do anything if you just remove something it's just funny when it's there that's all legend do you ever lose campaigns no battles all the time not so much of warhammer 3 actually you still lose way more battles than warhammer 2 i've noticed that recently all of your campaigns turn to no defeat ones i guess it's inevitable if one's too good mm. okay so 
it depends on the campaign and also the game. I'd say that um, in Warhammer 2, it's way more difficult to do a no-defeat campaign. In Warhammer 3, it's a lot easier because if a settlement looks like it's about to get attacked, you just sell it. Um, the AI just doesn't throw as much at you. It's an easier game. So yeah, um, typically speaking, you can do them more often when playing in Warhammer 3. And I'm sure many of you guys have been doing a lot of your campaigns on Legendary and just not suffering defeats because the AI is easier to fight on the battlefield. Um, the Siege rework is a complete failure in my opinion. So, yeah, it's it's just it's a lot easier to do in Warhammer 3. Depending on the faction, of course. You know, Korn is arguably the strongest faction in the game at the moment. Arguably, of course. More testing required. When was the last time you lost a campaign? Never. I never lose campaigns. Never. It's really not that difficult to not lose a campaign because all you have to do is just not be really, really stupid. Um, and reckless. And yeah, you can pretty much guarantee you'll never lose a campaign. So it's really not uncommon for, for people to not lose any campaigns. I know, like, with, with the other creators, when do they ever lose campaigns either? I never see them losing campaigns. It, it's not really so much about losing a campaign, but how well you win it, I suppose. Like, can you guys name one person that's lost a campaign recently? I can't. You should stay out until the army losses is triggered, and then I'll get you to regenerate. Yon704 did a five dollar super chat. Hey Legend, what was the last game you played that wasn't a Total War game? I played NO1800 earlier today. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Where's that army losses? There we go. Alright, now we gotta make sure we're at full strength. So, units that. Okay, this one's at full strength. Units that are at full strength can stay out of it. Shouldn't take too long for that one to recover. Yep, you're done. You're done. Will we be playing Victoria 3 by any chance? Uh, seems unlikely. No, I don't cover Paradox games. I like Paradox games, but I don't cover them. Alright, almost done. And we walk out of this with absolutely no da oh, on, no damage. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? All we gotta do is touch him. There we go. Why do you consider the siege rework a failure? Why would anyone consider it a success? 
Lost the campaign to my friend. Oh, okay, head to head campaign's difference. Um, and I, I did say about streamers as well, uh, not average person, but whatever. Um, surely when you first started Total War Warhammer, there was one campaign you lost? No. There's been campaigns I can't save, but there's no camp. Okay, okay. So I have been defeated before on purpose, if that makes sense. We started a, I have to mention this one. Um, there was a Beastman campaign. We wanted to see if we could lose it in turn one, and I did. So, it was, we actually achieved our goal in that particular scenario. But that was the only... I've come very close to defeat before in a Kodak campaign. Very, very close. It's famous in this community. Um, I was so close to defeat. I, I lost the initial fight against the Goromandi tribe or whatever, and it just looked like I was done. But I just refused to give up. And we managed to survive and, and end up thriving. They recover health by attacking. They recover health while in melee. Tempting to get that money, but we just need this war to be over with. We've got four turns until the skull throne happens again. Alright. Oh, wasn't I gonna blood for the blood goddess? It's too late now. I wouldn't have gotten much. Rest, mm. no, I'll come over here over the end turn. Alright, let's have a look at our armies. You also lost Scotland campaign in turn one? Uh, yes, but they were asking specifically on uh, for Total Warhammer, but yes, you're right. But that was also deliberate. As if anybody ever loses a Medieval 2 campaign. It is the easiest turn of war game in the, ga in the world <laughs> ever made. Like, it's so forgiving. Lose, you, lose your first battle? No big deal. The AI just doesn't really push you very hard. Just realize this guy here could really use a cultist. Now this guy up here has got two. Maybe they'll cross paths. Do a little bit of a switch. I think their armies over here might come down this way. Man, Karas has been fucking useless. Herald of Khan. Fucking useless. Plans if you lose early, so if it'll be asked and answered, no, I'll just take the day off then. We'll rest the day off. We'll see how we go. I don't, in, I don't plan to lose, but we'll see how we go. Put a lord in settlement to get tic-tac trait. That doesn't matter. It's not worth the supply line. Scarbrand's the main one that makes use of the campaign movement range. Everyone else, that's not a big deal. Scarbrand can't get it. He's already got max traits. Alright, we probably shouldn't uh, build too much because we're going to be in a bit of a pickle of a financial situation as we recruit here. I need this guy to come over here and go into ambush stance because we he's ready to lure some units down here we just got to get that happening all right it's well it's good to see quick has rebuilt his army we can still borrow one of his armies he just hasn't got anything good all right let's have a look at diplomacy never good uh, look at it boss of bosses that's wicked. Super impressed that you've never ever lost a campaign. Legend is certainly well deserved. That Kolek story is hilarious. Yeah, but again, keep in mind, like there are plenty of other creators out there that have never lost a campaign either. Northman, come. All right, the Sarl really want peace. They're allies with the Aesthetic Legion. 
Whichever woeful deity protects you. That's a way to get some money. Here. That's a we lot of money. Spill your blood. That's a lot of cash. I will I will take that money. Fine. Since I wasn't the attacker, I will take that. It it cools. You know, if I want to go back to war with them, I don't think that would be a problem. I'll probably just get absorbed into someone else. Uh, but now I feel like I can spend a little bit of cash somewhere. So, Grond... I got the growth here, but I just don't have the money for that. Too expensive. Um... 5% extra income on the base. Not making that much. So with that three grand, let's increase our capacity for Blood Reapers. Which, spending a little bit more than, than that, but that's okay. Okay. I think I'm done with the turn. Yeah, so this guy here is our new defense here. This guy is taking it to the enemy a little bit. It's doing a pretty good job. That's a decent army. A little bit on the expensive side. Um... Hmm. And now we see. Okay, so all eyes are going to be on Azazel here. If Azazel attacks us here, which is what we're trying to get him to do, and we can withdraw and he doesn't pursue us, good. If he lands, very bad. So, just have to see how we go. Another thing is, like, you are here. looking at Bellacor, he could betray I us at some it. point. He doesn't have that many enemies, and one of the enemies he has, we're also... His main threat is Grimgor, so if he's willing to go to war with them, let me have a look. No, he's not. He's not, but Grimgor is coming up through this way. And then there's Marathi. Another diplomatic concern. Marathi is neutral is with us. Which you have little. But it'll eventually decay a little bit because the broken trees with bleak holds is going to disappear eventually. Um, she seems to be doing okay against Hexawaddle, and she's at war with Tyrion and Avalon. Seems like... It seems like um, the seducers of Slanesh are holding out a lot longer than what they normally do. But they... Um... I don't know if they're going to survive much longer. They usually end up dead. Hopefully Marathi does invade Ulthwan, because I don't want to be fighting High Elves, because they're belligerent. Well, so are, um, so is Marathi, but that should keep her busy at least. Then again, the Greenskins might finish up over here and invade Ulthwan as well, but we will see. Alright, I've done everything that I can. Staring at this isn't going to do anything else. Let's move on. What are the chances that you lose a battle at this stage? What, do you want, like, a percentage chance? 50%? It's <laughs> like, I don't know. Did Kairos just take Xandri? God damn. Did you manage to get Throt's defeat trait with Scarbrand? No, I can't get any more defeat traits with Scarbrand. He's capped out. You can only get 10. Matt Demon Prince is gone. No, he's, um... He's, 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 he's still there. Right, they're landing. Look at this. They are just completely ignoring Kairos. What is going on there? I know that when they're main threat that they'll do that, but it's just... I find that so weird. His territories are completely undefended. Alright, tic tac toe shouldn't be difficult to finish off. You will soon have a taste for blood and scum. Why are the greenskins so strong? They're the endgame crisis. The endgame cri we set the endgame crisis to turn 
10. Tended, uh, it happened the earliest possible that it could, and it was the, the biggest war. That's why they're so strong. So that's the endgame crisis. Maybe, hang on, let me have a look here. Maybe if I do this, this might... There we go. That might uh, that might stop people from asking constantly. Do you feel that legendary difficulty is too difficult now, or is it still fine for people that enjoy playing at that level? Legendary difficulty is too easy right now. Too easy. Way too easy. What they need to do is give the AI a bit more, like, money cheats or whatever, so they recruit larger armies and make them a bit more aggressive. Uh, because at the moment, the AI is very cowardly. How would I try to solve the sieges? For one thing, I'd get rid of the capping points and the towers. Get rid of that. That's garbage. Um, honestly, I think that minor city sieges are fine. Um, my problem is the uh, walled sieges. So, I think... We, I've answered this question like loads of times before, so I'm not going to go into super detail. With the minor city sieges, you just, just got to reduce the frequency of it. The way to do that is tier 1, tier 2 settlements, field battle, tier 3 settlement, uh, minor city siege, um, tier 3 walls equals a walled city siege, right? That way you got a variety of different types of battles. Now, as for walled city sieges, you got to address the core problems of them. For one thing, the AI fucking can't handle it, doesn't know how to play the battles at all. It's just too easy to cap their points, right? The maps are too big for them, they don't know what to do. Um, um, you need to get rid of the dual capping points, okay? But the fact that there are two points that you have to hold as a defender make it incredibly difficult to actually hold your city. Um, you've got to provide some value for walls. And I think what you need to do is actually make it so that the attacker has to... And for one thing, there's loads of blind spots, right? Loads of blind spots. You have to put towers in every single... Um, at least have every area covered by towers, right? Um, the towers don't have to necessarily be overpowered. Ah, oh, yes, he's doing it. Um, and then what you got to do is make it so that the deployment zone of the attacker is further back. Okay? It's just so easy for the attacker to just run at the walls. And only have to be fired by the towers for a few seconds. Okay, now we find out. It should be... Okay, cool. I think that might be the end of Azazel. He fell for the trap. Who's the most likely to defeat you now? Probably Oxyodl. So that, that's what I do to fix sieges. Um, it, I don't think it's a difficult thing to, to fix with that. Uh, and sieges are always going to be a problem, but... You know, can anyone honestly say that the sieges in Warhammer 3 are better than Warhammer 2? And I'm talking about walled city sieges. Now, again, I like minor city sieges. I like them, alright? I like the design of them. I like how it works. Um, some of the maps could use a bit of tweaking in terms of the bound uh, tower positions. But for the most part, I like him. I just wish there was a bit more, um, I guess, uh, map variety. Because there is not much. But walled city sieges are worse than Warhammer 2 because one of the key problems of the Warhammer 2 sieges is that the AI was... Oh, what the fuck? I mean, I was going to declare war on him anyway, but thanks, dude. I lost my element of surprise. I'm not going to betray anyone. Um... The, the core problem is that they're not fun, for one thing. As the attacker or the defender, sieges aren't fun, so I'll just try to get rid of them, do them as quickly as possible. 
And uh, the second thing is that the AI just doesn't know how to play them. D didn't know how to play them in Warhammer 2, doesn't know how to play them in Warhammer 3. Doesn't matter what features you put in your game if the AI doesn't know how to play those features. Large cities looks amazing at least. Yep, absolutely. I'm not going to deny that things look visually good. But they're not functional. That's the problem. They're not functional. And this is a, a bit of a problem with Creative Assembly sometimes, is that they do tend to favor form over function. Whereas I favor function over form. So it's just a I'm always gonna butt heads with them on this stuff. That's better. Okay, um... Whatever. Usually there's a other bad thing that happens. Alright, so... Looking over here to Azazel. Scarbrand... Ooh, I don't think Scarbrand can make it. He can't make it there, but... He can reinforce. Whoever does this is going to get a lot of experience. I kind of want a Blood Reaper to get a bit more experience. I've already got some good um, Corn Lords. Woo! 4% weapon strength. I feel like that should be 40. Uh, Arceus Star Destroyer did a $10 super chat. They should make the middle point remove leadership and the melee defense like in small summer battles. If you lose the Citadel, then can go like Warhammer 2 and you get a timer. Would that fix it? That would be a big improvement, yeah. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Do you believe CA will polish the game and make it a really good one? Yeah, they'll get there eventually, but CA kind of bumbles with this stuff a lot. They, they're very much a two steps forward, one step back. Sometimes they do one step back and then one step forward. They're not, they're not decisive in which direction they want to go a lot of the time. Because they'll they'll do something that they want to do, which is clearly not what the community wants, and then they'll take a step back, and it, it just goes back and forth, uh, back and forth. It's just not it's not a um, um, it's not decisive in the direction that they go. Okay, uh, this is all pretty easy, and that should be the end of that. Philanderer. So he's gone. Good, a static legion's gone, and that's part of our victory conditions. Actually, we have a look for long campaign victory, which is actually quite difficult to do as. Um, as uh, Scarbrand, you should go around the world and do all these things. So, Puppets of Misrule got wiped out. The Decadent, I did that. Terrells of Tempest gone, I did that. I'm allied with the Warhosts of the Apocalypse, the Fecundities, and the Oracles of Sige. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright, now this one here can be disbanded. Four levels up, that's good, but we can assign those levels up later. Yeah, you can just keep those Coronate Mutant, that's fine. Holy most savage. Alright, now we've got to figure out what to do with Scarbrand. So, I don't know what to do with him. Figure that out a bit later. Because I could tell... No, 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 I don't want to teleport him back over here. I just, I just don't need him here right now. So, I saw that Volkmar was over here. This is why we need to watch when the... Um, when the end turns happen. Name of the video we almost lost. Man, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember that shit. I'm not a database. Yeah, just gonna have to find it yourself. Sorry. Man, I make like I make two videos a day, and that was years ago. So I can't remember that. All right. So we've got eleven units in this, and they might try to come past here and go to the cursed jungle 
instead. Alright, maybe I should... Mm, okay. I gotta trick them into coming and making an attack. I gotta trick them into it. Well, I don't think they're gonna be able to besiege it this turn. It just depends on which direction they're gonna go. If they're gonna go that way, I don't care. If they come up here, I do care a little bit. But they're not gonna besiege us this turn, so we should be able to recruit the units that we need this turn. With 16 units, I should be able to beat this. Because it is, it is mostly just, uh, the problem here is fucking armor piercing. I might have been better with Marauders. Yeah, I might have actually been better with Marauders. Ambush? Mm, I need to recruit. I can't recruit while in ambush dance. Alright, we're now at war with um, Cetra. Well, but luckily his army's got wiped out, so not expecting a counterattack from him just yet. So that was lucky, I guess. Thanks. So yeah, blow this up on our way down to Kemri. Uh, weird to see Kairos here. Is he... Uh, and who is he at war with? I don't know if I really want his help. I don't know if I want his help. I've already got a lot of allegiance points with him. Seems like these armies are trying to get to Crooked Fang Fort. Just check this area here for any other armies. No, we're in the clear. So, you know, against cowardly AI, we've just got to be careful with uh, what we're doing there. Can he not get on a blood throne? Alright, why did he... Why is he wearing the Juggernaut? Like, that's way better. Blood thrones are awesome. Arkhan's just been sitting there for a while. Uh, Leoronet did a $2 super chat. Yes, more Scarbrand campaign. Uh, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Supreme Death Bringer. I'm not going to have enough movement to get both. We definitely shouldn't occupy this right now. It's not worth anything. But at the same time, I don't want Kairos to fucking occupy it. Eh, maybe it's okay if he does. What if I get over to here? Should I just sack it this turn? I don't know. Move. On. Use it to try to project me in that direction. Find battle. Ooh, one step more and I might not make it. Anyway, he moves in that direction anyway. Alright, so... Um, I think we could justify an order resolve here. Yeah, that's fine. Now, what do we do? Should I create another blood host? Probably not. This army is quite strong. Doesn't need any support right now. We know Cetra is really weak at the moment. So why don't we just... 
to skull it. I didn't get enough movement, but... Oh well. Oh well. If this was active, maybe we would have. Okay, cool. Alright, now we got the stuff over here. Alright, we can see that over here, they they still have that military presence of two, and I know that Volkmar is over here, so... Better be careful about that. I think we can justify um, sending him over here in Force March and you launching the attack to finish Tic-Tac-Toe off. Yeah, that's, that's what we got no big deal. Uh, looks like we can just auto-resolve this. Bit of damage. Probably would have taken about that much in the battle anyway. Go for a punishment. Okay, there's another army there that I wasn't expecting. I will not obey. But they can't catch this dude here. All right, Slack was gone. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, whatever. All right, it's good that Slack was gone. Okay, we might be able to launch the attack on Plane of Tuskers next turn, but it largely depends if Volkmar comes up this way. It might be a good idea to keep them here until Tlaqua has been developed. Maybe. I tried to attacking of wiping out Mouse's army to make him round, but his leadership isn't falling at all. He's the only one left on the field. Please help. Um, that just means you didn't inflict the army losses. Um, yeah, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Yeah, um, if he's the last one standing and, um, the army losses wasn't triggered. Also, check to see if he's unbreakable. He might have something to give him unbreakable. If that's the case, you have no choice. You have to fight him. You know? I don't know what else you can do. It, does, it doesn't always work. But that is usually the best way to handle it. Uh, Rex Teresia did a MYR 15 Super Chat. Which narrative campaign is the best from Ivan Vortex, Warhammer 1, to Zanbaijin and Warhammer 3? Uh, probably th uh, Throp the Uncleans campaign, I think, has the best narrative. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Warden and Paunch, that's the best narrative, because that's actually the most lore-friendly, I think. Thanks, Super Chat. All right, there is a thing here. I could go and... Where am I going to go next? Well, let's go. Let's go get that carcass. I'm actually not sure if it's, it's a battle. Okay, cool. Well, I'll fight it next turn then. It's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, all right, let's have a look at what we got. Exalted, of course. It occurs to me that with how much you value speed, that you'd really like Slanesh playstyle. Do you? If not, what holds back you? I do actually really like Slanesh. Actually, I do enjoy a Slanesh campaign. First for battle. Hmm. Mm, okay. Just trying to decide how we're going to go about this. This army here probably isn't producing anything other than goblins, so I'd say just let it for the time being. I'd say sacking Ekron for a bit of money is not the worst decision ever. I don't know if we're ready to occupy it due to the wars coming on over here.
So I think, yeah, just coming over here. I'll probably just be able to auto resolve it. And then make our way back down south again. Skulls for the skull throw. Yeah, it's a bit of money. Cool. At least he's doing stuff. And getting items. That's also good. Lord of Rage. And then make his way back down here. Don't worry about ambush dance. Because they just don't have anything up here, as far as I'm aware. Cool. Lord of War. Let them rebuild it, and I'll come back and plunder it again later. Because, yeah, expanding out this way right now, it just isn't isn't worth it when we're on war on two fronts. I'm trying to focus up on the war in the Southland. Once we've completely cleared out the Southlands, that's going to give us a lot of room to project ourselves north, because we need a lot of armies. Also, I kind of suspect that Skarsnik is... Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at this. Somebody said that Skarsnik got um, a, an alliance with Grimgor. No, that didn't happen. Leads me to believe that Skarsnik and Grimgor will go to head with each other pretty soon. Let me have a look. Oh, they do like each other. Maybe they won't. Because it'd actually make things easier, I think, if they got confederated. Exalted hero of Korn. There better be prey. Cool. <laughs> Demon Prince of Corn. All right, all right, all right. What are we doing next? I think that's it for our military moves. Yeah, we got through the turn. Got through it. All right. Corn demands blood. Aid me in slaughter. Is there any reason behind not advancing Affleck to demonhood? Um, I just thought that the Demon Prince kind of sucked. I just didn't think he was very good. Yeah, he's just not very good. He's not very interesting. His skill set is just really boring. Like, I'm pretty sure we get that as a mortal lord. Yeah, you do. It's the same thing. And you also get this, which provides physical resistance for Chaos Warriors. It's just not very good. That's all there is to it. It's just it's just shit. <laughs> it's just shit. Demon princes suck. Which is why I'm leaning more towards demon lords now, because bloodthirsters have a much better skill set. Like anything that a demon prince can do, a bloodthirster can do better. I don't know why Creative Assembly put in a demon prince of corn and made it absolutely identical to a demon uh, to a bloodthirster, but actually not as good. I, I don't I don't get it. What's the point of a demon prince? I can't see. It doesn't boost mortal armies. In fact, it boosts mortal armies less than bloodthirsters. I just don't get it at all. Uh, thick skin might actually come in handy. You know? Unless I'm missing something. Feel free to tell me. Am I missing something with the Demon Prince? Because they just seem to suck. At least the ones for corn. They're just, just not good. Yeah, and you lose levels up when you ascend to demonhood as well. So it's I, I just really regretted doing that for Matt Demon Prince. It just wasn't worth it. All right, we should be okay for money this turn. So how are we gonna go about this? I saw that. Uh, well, we'll just have to see how we go with um with uh with that one. Uh, we can't let these two here get together. This guy doesn't have lightning strike. So hopefully what they'll do is um, run around over here. That's what I'm hoping they'll do. Because, yeah, if they come over here and fight Kairos, I'm fine with that. I'll need to keep a standing army here, though. Because we'll see that they'll invade. Alright, let's try to get some more money from something. You know what would be really good? Extra global recruit slots. That'd be really good. And we are working towards it. But let's try to get some more. Because we need to have armies that can um, engage quicker. Alright, with Hag Hall, it's got a garrison of 14, which can defend against a full stack. As long as it's not too crazy. Um... Uh, Marathi would be pretty silly to attack us right now, I think. Doesn't mean she won't do it. Let's 
Honestly, I could upgrade them to tier 5, but it's so expensive. I just, I gotta get some money somehow. You know, building this building, you know, 80 gold. But it, extra Blood Reapers would be good. It's only 4 grand. I guess we'll do that. Yeah, this is where we get the global recruit slots. Oh, God, so expensive. And these settlements out here are very safe. These are our safest areas. So this is where we want to put most of our investment for the time being, I think. Hang on. It might be... No, we got more money coming out of that one. Anyway, we grow quickly enough. It'll, be, it'll grow back. Um... And there goes pretty much all our money. Cool, but once that stuff's been developed, that'll provide a couple of hundred extra gold. If Archon starts to falter over here, I might send... Uh Sorry, we had a bit of a stream fart there. Um... Might send Scarbrand over here to help out. If if Archeon falls, if he falls, because yeah, we're building defenses. It's not going to hold out against a full green skin war, but we'll see. I've got this over here. Tiny bit of money, and I don't have money for that. All right, uh, let's look into diplomacy and get ready to move on. Um, I want the option to attack this dude. Bloodthirst. Alright, now let's check the beastman for money. Gotta gotta pay your corn toll. Or else I'll put my corn in your hole. Uh, Joel did a five dollar super During minor city siege uh, battles, do you find attacking the entrances with small groups is better than attacking one or two entrances with larger groups? Corn? Depends on the situation. Um, depends on what I'm trying to do. Depends on the enemy that I'm going up against. If you're going up against a lot of archers, you probably want to spread out. Um, if they've got air of effect, you probably want to spread out. Cool. Um, if they've just got a lot of melee units, and you've got something that buffs local units, then maybe you want to blob up. It just depends. Everything always depends on the situation. You know, it depends on what you got. depends on what they've got. Every single time. you gotta you got to look at it. I feel like that one's more likely to be done. Oh! Oh, I don't have an outpost. Maybe I should have made an outpost. I could have recruited faster. What level is this thing anyway? Three. Yeah, oh my god, I destroyed my outpost here a while ago. I should rebuild it. I'm not gonna get much out of it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get much out of it. No matter what I get, not gonna be much. Um... Yeah, do it with the Harbingers of Disaster. I just realized that if I had... Ah, uh, it'll destroy the cult if I do that. But I've got a cult over here. Eh, just, we'll just leave that beef. Ah, oh, okay, how about we put it in the Slaughterhorn Tribe? Yeah, 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 let's do that. Alright. Alright, I think we're done with the turn. Uh, uh, not much money left. So, we'll see what happens over here. I think the worst thing they can do is, like, go into ambush stance and wait for their their units here. That would be the worst thing ever. Uh, also, I could have built this. Could have caused a little bit of attrition on them. It's too late now. Sacred Executioner! Alright, well, we'll just see how we go. Gotta keep my eye on stuff here.
All the high elves aren't getting any DLC. They have plenty of lords. Mm. Yeah, but the high elves are very popular. Um, they might very well get another DLC, and they're not. They're not. Um... Oh god. Oh my god, this is really bad out here. <laughs> oh shit. This is a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Oh, this is this is a lot worse. Oh my god, they are only coming at me as well. I don't have lightning strike with that other army. Oh dear. Yeah, there goes Quick. I think Scarbrand can take on Grimgore's whole empire by himself. Mm, not really. It's too big. It's too big. And they recruit too quickly. He could take on a lot of armies every single turn, but I don't think he'd take it all on by himself. He, he needs more armies. And maybe take a disband and take a little with lightning strike. None of the other lords that are available have lightning strike. They don't have it. It's it's uh, takes a little bit longer to get lightning strike. Um, I, the only thing I could hope to do is just um, lure them into traps, I suppose, and just keep building up my army. I gotta get my I gotta get more money so I can <laughs> afford afford the damn troops needed for that. Um, I've gotten pretty good results out of the uh, out of out of the. Um, the Marauder Horsemen of Corn. They've been very good so far. And I think we've got, what, two more turns until the Skull Throne? When the Skull Throne comes in, that is able to take out quite a few enemies. And I think the biggest problem here is if we go up against Chameleon Skinks because of their missile resistance, that's going to be a big problem. It's okay if he takes that. What do you think of Katarina and Kiss Vel in general? Oh, I think it's a solid faction. Could use could use a bit more content, but uh, you know it's a new one, so it's fine. I actually quite enjoy Kiss Lev. Oh god! Look how long this turn's going on. Jeez. Yeah, it's kind of annoying how Oxyodal is gunning straight for me when there is a far easier target in Kairos. And just he's just ignoring it. He's at war with Kairos. He's just completely ignoring it. So yeah, the anti-player bias is definitely there. The AI, yeah. Kairos, is, Kairos has actually been quite a bad ally. He's not helping at all. And he's not taking the brunt of the attack either. Oh, I got pulled out of ambush stance. But that's okay, I should be able to handle that. Well, on the subject of Kislev, Laura Vice or Tempest. I prefer Tempest, but you can go either way. Can provide true fulfillment. Why is there a defeat counter when you play into one defeat? I guarantee you, if I turn that off, people will be like, How many defeats has he had? No. I put the information up there to um, provide answers to frequently asked questions so that people stop spamming it in the chat. Karsh, this is planned. I know, I know. He's he's actually he's profited a lot from this alliance in terms of territory because I keep selling him territory that's about to fall. And then, like one example, I gave Kairos a settlement 
that was just about to fall to Volkmar, and then Volkmar just moved away from it. For some reason, the AI is just not interested in fighting Kairos. Like, they're at war with Kairos, but they just don't want to send anything at him. They just avoid him. It's weird. It's very weird. Will Scarbrand go on a Rampage versus Grimgore? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think Grimgore's armies are fairly spread out. Notice how um, um, Torox isn't uh, being put into the command of these armies. Does settlement defeats count? Yes, settlement defeats count. Let's halt faction give me PTSD. Yeah, well, they, um... Should still be... He should still halt them. Alright, we're on turn 69. Oh, no, it's the Slanesh number. It's 86 regions. Okay, so... The big question here... Can I defeat that? Now, we have another turn where we could recruit, get ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, it says the odds are not favorable. Um, we've got another turn before this one arrives, and yeah, if Oxyodal stands right there, then I need Lightning Strike to get at them, if he just stands there, and they could land there next turn. So that wasn't the worst thing ever, because now I, it's really kind of forced my hand. Um, this dude here is on a cold one. I don't think that's particularly fast. Uh, that's a tricky situation. I'm going to just uh, just think about that for a bit. So Volkmar is heading towards Suntree Glades, which is not defended. I could sell it off to Kairos, and then he just won't attack it. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't even really want it. Mm. Kind of wishing I had uh, sent this guy back here, in hindsight. I think I might need to switch this guy out for one of the corn lords, like this guy here. He doesn't have lightning strike yet, but at least he's, he's pretty damn strong. And he'll be on horseback, which is good. Which is better. Two turns until the skull's thrown. Look at this animals out here. Undefended. Gotta go after the player. Because, you know, I'm probably their main threat. I get it. That's just how that system works. Do you have Regiment Renounce? No, I've used them up recently. I, I, I don't have access to them right now. Alright, Tlaqua should be... Yeah, shouldn't come under attack from Volkmar, so we're, we're okay to make the attack down here. Try to swing around this way. So that we're projected in the right direction. Going with fury. Oh, I don't think I can spend another turn. Another point there. Oh, uh, okay, that's pretty good. The direction we're going at. Conflict is endless! Trumpet! 
ascended! Destruction awaits. Yeah, so I was saying that extra global recruit slots would be really handy. Oh, I do have an extra global recruit slot now. So that's good. Um, as much as I want these damn dudes to um, get leveled up, I'm really... I'm going to need this guy, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to launch this attack. I lead for God. Yeah, he's not close to Lightning Strike. At least we got Chaos Vanguard there, so that's good. Melee attack for non-demonic infantry. I could go Doomfire for extra ammunition. That would really help right now. Because I got so much of that. It actually improved our odds a fair bit, but here's the problem. Bloody Chameleon Skinks. Alright, Chameleon Skinks, if we have a look at them. Range 80 versus our range 70. Um, and they are just a pain in the ass. Just straight up pain. I won't be able to see them coming. Um, but they're not good against Chaos Warriors. They're not good against Chaos Warriors at all. What I could potentially do is have these guys here fight at the start. Although typically I like to skirmish first. But have these guys fight at the start. Wear them down as much as possible. How fast is he? 82. How fast are you? 90. Okay, that's good. Are you fleet-footed? I know. Okay, that's good. Could you beat him in a duel? So you've got... 90 speed. 80, 58. All right. Magical attacks, though. That doesn't really matter. You're not physical resistant. Fire attacks. Shouldn't matter. Nope, that doesn't matter. 564 versus 501, but you're anti infantry. How much armor piercing do you have? 173 versus his. Oh my god, lots more armor piercing. Okay. 500, 5000 health versus. Okay, about the same amount of health. And we're outnumbered by 4 units. And they're experienced. Oh, god damn it. That, I uh, just... That is going to be so... Without... If I had skulls for the skull throne, I'd be able to handle it. But yeah, the fact that these guys... What they're going to do is they're going to be landing here. And I'm just not going to be able to launch the attack. He doesn't have a siege attacker in the army, though. As far as I can tell. Uh, two by ass did a five pound submission. I don't know. Sorry, I know you don't do PvP campaign, but a buddy is playing Bellacore and building some mighty armies. Any weakness against that playstyle and campaign? I don't know, man. <laughs> sorry. Thanks for the super chat. You have to understand your opponent. It's your pain. How likely are we to win a field battle here? The embodiment of fear. Not possible. Their armies are pretty trashy, for the most part. Sacred executioner. So we're dealing with five plus thirteen, so eighteen. 27 units. 16, 27 units. It's a fair fight. If it's a fair fight, then it's not a fair fight. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's not a fair fight. That's why they ran. Because they're cowards. What? They're bringing the same number of units that we've got? Shit, run away. <laughs> Could attack it and to retreat to see the full roster? Could. Oh wow, auto resolve works. Look at that. What's this map look like? I might be able to win it just with the um with those again. Cause yeah, he's on foot. They don't have any speed. Tomb King settlement.
Alright, hang on. Before I do that, let me see what the money is like. I'm gonna decide a little bit like sack it. 10 grand's not bad. That'll pay for this shit. Castle Bar is tier three. By Torn's command. Also got this one over here to do. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So, Castle Bar, there's a military presence over there, so that means we should probably attack it. March to Alright, and then. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's a lot of money. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I'll take that. So if it's only three, that means that they've got six units. That's not a big deal. Maybe I'll stay in ambush dance here. Because I should blow that up next turn. Or... Just, uh, we'll sneak on up on them. Sneaky, sneaky get. Alright, I want this guy here to attach into this army. He needs to start getting leveled up. I can get rid of... I hang on, let me look here. I can take out this cultist and attach him here, and then get rid of a maybe get rid of an Ungol Raider. I don't really need free upkeep units that much anymore. So if we remember, we'll attach him next turn. Um, could you go to war with Ar You are at war with Arkan, okay. How strong is Arkan anyway? Uh, fairly strong. He'd probably have about four or five armies by now. You are wrong. So one, two, three, and I know there's one over here, four, so I don't know if that's all of his armies. I reckon he stole that settlement. Give him items. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, he'll need he'll need items. I know. Um, what's he got anyway? Ah, oh, that's why he's hitting so hard. Yeah, he'll need ward save. A lot of ward save. The problem here are the chameleon skinks. Like thirty-one ammunition. It is just very strong, and you know, our army is just freshly recruited, that's the problem here. Um, it is very strong. Like, I can harass them a fair bit with this, I think. Especially given these ones here, they don't, they don't have the highest leadership ever, and... Cycle charging into them is pretty good. If, if the terrain is good, we might be able to make use of that. Uh, those... The missile strength here. My axe shall taste God, that's 50% of my movement just to get there. Cannot. If only we had a few extra units. It's, it's just going to be so tight. Alright, so Dish. we're going to sack this? Yeah, I think we'll sack it. We should be able to win this pretty damn easily if we fight it manually. But if we auto resolve it, then that's the end of them. We're not going to be able to progress any further, so we're going to have to have to do that. Can you resurrect Bretonian legendary lords in IE? Should be able to. I don't see any reason why you can't. What do you think of five hell cannons in a Chaos Warrior army with Arke on? It's fine, I guess. Sure, why not? You can make it work. You can make pretty much anything work in Warhammer 3. Hans Peter did a five euro super chat. Hey, Legend, why is it important to keep high reliability? Um, 
It's probably just uh, Warhammer 2 PTSD, but from my personal experience, when you have low reliability, people are more likely to join wars against you, to declare war on you, uh, they won't sign other treaties with you. There are some benefits, some weird benefits to having extremely low reliability, but in this particular scenario, reliability is very important. Thanks, Super Chat. Okay. Um, we gotta wait for our reinforcements, so just put these guys over here. So yeah, I feel like I can get a lot of this battle done with the Blood Shrines. Because they're just so bloody good. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do the entire battle with it. So we should try to actively capture points on a regular basis so that we can keep resetting their supplies. Otherwise, when we attack with this, we're going to get shredded. Is it normal while playing Warriors of Chaos and devoting to a Lord of Hero to a God? I automatically change to a random one, or is it a bug? I have no idea. I haven't played that much Warriors of Chaos. Sorry. Okay, here we go. I have no idea. It's probably a bug. If something's happened that says... If something happened that you think shouldn't be happening, like it doesn't say that's going to happen, then it's probably a bug. But he landed a hit. So probably just try to avoid their anti-large stuff. Go straight for the missile units. But also go for the capping points so that we can... You know, just in case this isn't enough to handle them. Which it might not be. That there aren't freaking towers everywhere when we launch the main attack. But this will ensure that we don't get a Pyrrhic victory. Because these guys are just so good against infantry. Okay, that's done there. Let's move on to the next point. Avoid fighting halberdiers, obviously. At least to begin with. So capping a point without any towers just slows down their supply gain rate. While I'm waiting for... Also, them running around is going to make them tired. While we're not really going to get tired because we've got momentum. Uh, Arthur Gresh, the Eternal Super Chat. How did you find the Fang campaign using Cav in minor siege battles? Uh, I thought it was fine. Um, yeah, I thought it was fine. Obviously, if there was too much sitting inside the city, it was a bit it was a bit tough, but required a bit of work. But you know, got through it. The middle point's not that important because it only has barricades, but that does use up their supplies. But that's where they're going to put their lord, who's we're not the best at dealing with lords. No, no, no. Try to avoid that. Want to shoot the helpers with a skull can? Yep, that's exactly what I was doing right there. Good idea. Alright, they have no active towers at the moment. I 
I don't want them firing at will when they're in a big cluster. They have a habit of friendly fire. Good. Nice number of missile units down here for us to kill. And if I'm not mistaken, we're actually regenerating so far in this battle. Just because we're making sure we're picking the easiest targets. That's it. Let them put more supplies in. They're not even trying to cap some of these points because we got in and out of there really quick. Yeah, shooting the helmet is. I think that's working out pretty well there. And then we recharge our ammo while fighting these guys. Works out pretty well. Now, I can't wait till we get the sword of corn. Pop it down on big blobs. Alright, their supply gain rate should be pretty slow now. We can go in there just for a moment and cap those points, if we really want to. Skullcans are pretty good if you know how to use them. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. CJI is pretty terrible. Yeah, but at the same time, they don't have anything that can handle this. Skull, um, Blood Shrines of Corn require a large unit that can catch up to them and pin them down, and they don't have anything. They've got really high mass, and they're very disruptive to infantry. They've And all they've got are infantry. They just they don't have anything that they can work with here. And I know how to use these units because I use them so much. I know when they can and can't win. And I just avoid the situations where we can't win. And so I always win with them. You know, unless they've got important units. Drop down the corn cob on them. This one. No, they don't need that. Their melee attack's good enough. So yeah. They... Yeah, their melee attack's good enough. Save this for if we need to make the main attack. Get left behind. Oh, they put a halberdier. Oh no, it's only spearmen. That's different. That's okay. Spearmen will hurt, but they're they're nowhere near as strong as halberdiers, and we're at full health, so that's fine. Yeah, doing a little bit of damage, just but we'll heal. Sometimes you just can't avoid it. Good. Oh no, it's not shattered. Why did CA make the wizard building tier 4 for Reichland? It used to be tier 3. <laughs> I'm not a developer, man. I can't answer that stuff. Why did CA do a lot of things? Uh, Stanislav Nadenkov did a $5 super chat. 
Uh, hey, Legend. Last I got recommendation, how many guns can you cram into a city? The thumbnail really cracked me up. Here's five dollars for a good laugh. All right, no worries, dude. Thanks for super chat. Glad you enjoyed that one. That, that's pretty old, I think. Yeah, they handled the other spearmen okay. Let's let's go after it. They're trying hard to recap the points now. Good for them. Yeah, just avoid the halberdiers. Spearmen are okay. I know they're anti-large, but they just don't have that high of a melee attack. Look at the melee attack difference, right? It's 20 melee attack versus halberdiers 27 plus. I think we got higher anti-large. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, a little. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Tone Gaming, dude, 10 little super chat. Thanks for the host. It's my first campaign, IE, and Scarbrand has been a blast. Cheers. No, worries, dude, my pleasure. I'm glad you enjoyed the host. Thanks for super chat. You said the Corn Demon Prince is shot. What about the others? I haven't tried the others, but apparently they're all fine. But the, uh, yeah, the Corn one sucks. Because, yeah, you just, you're just better off getting a Bloodthirst, or even staying mortal. He's just got a shit skill set. I don't know why CA makes their, these, like, greater demons so boring. This doesn't make sense. It's balanced. Balance is another way to say it's boring. Alright, I think we've done massive damage to them, even though they're recapping these points constantly. Considering we've actually healed in this battle so far, I think it's actually going really a lot better than I thought it would. This takes a bit of time, that's all, but if you're willing to put in the time, which I am, you can get the results. And then every now and again, this one takes a shot at a Helbidia and wrecks it. Doing it right now. Right, get out of the way. One more shot, and then you got to catch up with the others. Did you see that the game has the tower defense tag on Steam now? <laughs> well, what was CA expecting? You know, people love tower defense and capture points, capture the hill, and the races. Yeah, CA just doesn't really know, I think, what the, what the player base wants. They're really out of touch. And I think it's because their lead developer is a friggin' game journalist. I think that's why. I don't know. Don't know him. But as you guys know, I don't have a whole lot of respect for game journalism, so that's how it is. Imagine being a game journo. Yeah, I imagine it's probably not a great job because you probably don't get paid very well. Um, and you probably have to put in a lot of work and then you have to put your opinions out there and then get criticized by people like me. <laughs> Who get paid shitloads of money. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably not, it's probably, uh, it's probably not the greatest job ever. But it could be a stepping stone. Because um, I, I think that, you know, these big publications with like like uh, PC Gamer or whatever. I think that they're just outdated. Absolutely. That should basically only cover indie games because 
every major franchise has got incredibly dedicated people that fucking know what these games should be like and when it's good and when it's bad. And that are willing to put in hundreds of hours for their review. And in which a game journalist can't do that. You know, you don't, you just can't justify it because, you know, you write one article and then you got to move on. Whereas the other person does the review and then continues to play the game for the next four years sort of thing. Or two years or whatever, how long the game lasts. Um, but the thing is, the games companies will pay, well, I don't know, but they'll probably pay these game journalist companies to cover their game. A game journalist still a thing? Yeah, it's still a thing, yeah. Yeah, it's still a thing. And the problem with it as well, and I think this was endemic with Warhammer 3, is that the game was designed not for the players, but for game journalists. Okay, I think I need to actually start taking these guys on, unless it's weaker. Yeah, we killed it pretty quick. Uh, the game was made in mind for game journalism. Okay, we are actually starting to take damage now. And so what they do is they make the game look really good for like the first 20 hours, but then they don't bother making the... They don't put in a lot of polish. And so the game journalists are like, This game's great. 10 out of 10. Looked awesome. I had no idea what was going on. And I lost my campaign. It was so difficult. The AI is so smart. Um, but it's designed specifically to basically be able to beat a game journal, which... You know, not that game journos aren't smart, but they're not, they don't know the game very well, that's all. Oh, Legend, you're just talking out your ass. Probably. You know, when I see a game journalist, um, article and they put Thrones of Britannia at like number two I'm just like fucking <laughs> didn't know what they're talking about like I knew game I knew uh, Thrones of Britannia was a flop the first time I played it because I know Total War games and I knew the Realms of Chaos was a flop the first times I played it I knew Warhammer 3 would be good but I knew Realms of Chaos was was fucking like just, it wasn't gonna work I knew it and I warned Creative Assembly every single time I talked to them. Because I knew it wouldn't work. Call it garbage to their face. As a game journalist myself, I feel offended, but you're right. <laughs> it's a lot. Look, I'm not, I wasn't trying to upset you, but yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Now, again, I just want to point out, I'm not saying that everybody should just listen to me and nobody else when it comes to Total War. I'm saying that you've got loads of dedicated people that have different specialities within the Total War community, and there is absolutely no need for a game journalist to cover a Total War game and write an article, and for anyone to take it seriously. Because if you want multiplayer, you got Turin. You know, if you want a good review, you got Mandalore, you know? If you want a cheesy, high-end gameplay, you know, you got me. If you want more balanced stuff, you know, you got Zerkovich. There's plenty of people who are super professional at, um, within the Total War sphere. You just don't need game journos with this at all. And many others, you know, many, many others. Just to bet everybody else knows what they're talking Everybody else knows what they're talking about. How can you switch attacking with melee using range unit? Press F. F switches them from, um, even says that they're toggle melee mode. Okay, we should be almost done. I know this is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But we should be just about done. Their armies are absolutely shredded. This one here. Can't regen anymore. Alright, you know what, why don't you, why don't you get out? So that we keep our army nice and, nice and fresh. Okay, this guy is only on foot, so he shouldn't be too much trouble. Plus, if we can cap this point, they'll lose a lot of supplies. Yeah, they're not great against single entities. We did a bit of damage, but they also get hit back. 
Main thing there, they just lost a whole bunch of barricades that they have to rebuild. Which they might prioritize rebuilding that instead of um, towers. Which will, even if the tower is only up for a second, does do some damage to us. But yeah, if there's like an indie game that there is no dedicated YouTubers or, uh, you know, people that play it, then then that's probably where, um, or some new franchise, that's probably where game journalism will actually come in handy because that's where, you know, nobody's a professional at that point. You know, Total War's been around for 20 odd years and has at least like two dozen people that have been around pretty much the entire time. What do you consider most annoying settlement to capture? Ogle settlement for me. No, it's that dwarf settlement type where there's like four corners. And it's like it's very choke pointy. That's probably the most annoying to capture. Or in a walled settlement siege, that fucking green skin one. Where it's like a giant hill. That one's... that The AI actually defends that stuff pretty well. It's one of the very few settlements that the AI defends properly. Hoagies95 did a 20 NOK sim share. What's the hardest quest battle in all of Total War Warhammer? Okay, so the hardest quest battle is whichever battle you have no idea about. Because every quest battle is easy if you know what you're going up against. Most of the quest battles are like trying to trick the player in some way. So if you fight the quest battle and you're like, oh, okay, so they're going to flank me in the rear sort of thing. You can prepare for it. Um, but... The outright most difficult ones, Scarbrand's one is especially tough because you have to go up against a lot and um, even if you know what you're going up against, it's difficult to deal with. You just have to go into melee. So his is particularly difficult. Um, Kairos's one can be especially difficult. You can cheese it, but it can be especially difficult because you have to go up against a lot. Um... Rome 2 Battle of Elysia. Yep, that is that is possibly the most difficult quest uh, historical battle in all of Total War. That is practically impossible on legendary difficulty. I've done it, but it probably took me about half a day. Staff of Volans. Staff of Volans is actually quite easy. You just need to know what to do. You have to. You start off in a really bad spot. You got to run off to the corner. That's an R battle. Mm, no, I feel like that one's fine. Oh shit, I might be able to order resolve against all of them. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to fight this manually. Okay. So. Yeah, because I don't want to lose any units, especially units that take two turns to recruit. So, we don't have summons, but we can waste the ammunition on the rock lobbers. I don't think this is going to be a problem. We just need to... Okay, they've got... They've got fanatics. Yeah, they've got quite a few fanatics, which means do not blob up. Alright, gotcha. None quest battle is difficult if you bring Doomstack for it. Yeah, that's the thing. You just have to prepare for it. And did Kairos once I made a stack of floor change? Trivialize it. Yeah, with the Kairos quest battle, I actually managed to do that one just with Kairos, but you have to, you gotta be very careful. He needs to have extra speed. It's very important. Because 
Oh, but when I did it, I had unlimited wins of magic. Plus, you're on a timer. Um, I don't know if you can do that anymore. Okay, so these in the rear, these in the front. That makes obvious sense, I think. Don't blob up. I want you... I want you to soak up the ammunition. Stand a bit back. Don't need to corner camp or anything. But yeah, we start tired here. So yeah, I'm fairly sure they'll shoot at this. It is a large enough target. Yep, they'll shoot at it. Cool. Thoughts on Total War Three Kingdoms? Total War Three Kingdoms is a solid Total War game that really could have benefited a lot more from more development, but I think that its biggest failure was the fact that Total War Warhammer exists, and it just can't really compete with it. And I think that's what's going to happen with every Total War game that comes out between now and when Warhammer dies, is that there every single Total War game is going to be compared with Total War Warhammer. And there's always going to be some people that will prefer the non-fantasy Total War games over the over over um, Warhammer, but Warhammer is always going to drag people in. And if people are buying the DLC for Warhammer, they might not necessarily be buying the, the DLC for um, Three Kingdoms. Um, so I think Three Kingdoms sold really well, the base game, but the DLC didn't sell well. Which is why they stopped development of it. Three Kingdoms could have been an amazing Total War game with a few more years of development. But it just wasn't given that chance. It's kind of like cutting off a tree before it's really, um... Sorry, cutting down a tree before it's, uh... Before it's grown its fruit. Um, Ton Dragon 500 did, did a 20 SEK video. Did the unit tier list video still hold up in IE? Um, I, I guess. Not, not really. I probably need to redo them, but I'm kind of sick of doing tier lists. Um, I gotta say, I'm, yeah, tier lists. Probably my least favorite content to make at the moment. But thanks, Super Chat. Thoughts on Total War Troy, Seven Three Kingdoms? Nah, Troy, Troy was always meant to be a Total War snack. Um, it is the right formula for a Saga game. Uh, Saga games are cheap Total War games that Creative Assembly makes to tide players over between major releases, where they recycle as much assets as they possibly can. Nothing wrong with that. But they recycle as much of the assets as they can, keep people as interested as long as they can, which isn't very long, and then call it a day on, on it. Which is what they did. Um, I think the biggest problem with Troy is that the battles absolutely suck. They're the probably the worst battles out of any Total War game, period. The collision is just awful, worse than Rome 2. Um, units can just pull through other units, at least last time I played it. The soundtrack is dull. I don't like it at all. It doesn't fit. Um, it's not a bad game. I think there's a lot of improvements to the, the franchise with Troy. But ultimately, just yeah, I think it's just not a great Total War game. But it's a, you know, it's a Total War snack. It's like a potato chip. You know? You know, you, you eat, you eat, you eat a, open up a bag of potato chips or crisps or whatever you want to call it. Uh, before you have your main meal. Because it's not ready. Oh shit, they're actually causing me some problems here. It's probably because we're bloody tired because of the lightning strike. Probably shouldn't have gone through these trees here. Come on, come on, you can do it. No, they're having trouble against this one. Just bear with me guys, I gotta fight this battle here. This is not going as well as I had hoped. I was hoping to harass them a little bit better than this and I, I just didn't. 
And they're just kind of giving me the shits. Their units just aren't breaking. Mine are breaking. It's because of the lightning strike. Tiring us out. And these guys are not experienced yet. Okay, these guys here. Fucking attack. Go. Mm, hope they don't leave the battlefield. I do need them. Okay, they're rallying. Go up this way. Come on, rally, dude. Rally. Good. Go up this way. Good. Doing some damage to the Lord there. Just, just chill for a bit. Just chill. Bring in the enemy lord to Okay, that was kind of a trade-off, but we got them to start coming at us, and we're splitting up their forces all over the place here. This guy could probably use some items. So now that you consider Troy the worst... No, the worst battles. I didn't say it was the worst game. Uh, Thrones of Britannia is way worse than Troy, because it has just no content in it. It's a completely empty shell of a game. It's a just a complete empty shell of a game. As I just said, tr like the problem here is like I value campaign more than battles. Um, Troy's got good campaign, but bad battles. Thrones of Britannia's got bad campaign, but like kind of bland battles. Like the battles aren't bad, they're also not exactly good either. Okay, he's getting shot. I gotta get him out of there. We do not want him to die. Oh, there's the twirly whirly, but we're not blobbed up, so it didn't hurt us that much. Yeah, unfortunately, when you've got a melee army, there's just sometimes no way to avoid getting hit by spinning loons. All you can hope to do is um, mitigate the damage. It really didn't do much. Yes, it, it does damage, but not. Doesn't like destroy our entire army with one hit like it did with the, like vampire count battles. Brothers in bloodletting. Move on them. Blood for the blood god. He signals. I obey. Blood for the blood god. Come on, wound him. Good. Oh, yeah, there's a twirly whirlies again. Alright, there's the army losses. Alright, our army's okay. No serious casualties. Oh wait, oh wait, I thought that was the army losses. Oh shit! Here, fucking hell! They really love going for our lord. Okay, there's the blood. Uh, the um, army losses. Yeah, you need to run them down so you can regenerate.
Why aren't they called fanatics anymore? They are called fanatics, but the game hides it that they're fanatics from the player. So you don't know without actually checking their unit card. A little bit sneaky. Uh, Lime Juice is cool. Did a five SGD super chat. Hey Legion, could you explain how spell damage works? For example, Sword of Cain does seventy two AP, seventy two, hundred percent AP damage. What does that mean? Uh, it means it does seventy two damage, and that's all armor piercing. <laughs> to every entity that it hits per second. Uh, Hatet Ung did a uh, became a member for twenty one months. Have you checked Father's Frontier Legend? The game's still in early access, but looks promising. A lot like Anno eighteen hundred, but medieval. Um, I I saw that Republic of or is it called Darren plays now? Um, was playing it and it looks good, but I just haven't had time. But thanks for the membership, dude. Appreciate you. Well, better than auto resolve because no units got wiped out. And this army here just needs experience. In fact, this might be able to get him to rank 15, which will essentially give him to um, Bloodthirster of uh, Exalted Bloodthirster. But I might deny him because we need to have lightning strikes. I might want to get him some levels up first before he goes that way. a little bit. Hmm, true victory still. But yeah, the twirly whirlies they do a lot of damage. Did you ever play Stronghold? Never really got into Stronghold. Looks good, but never really got into it. How do you pay Scarband? I tried him for 10 turns and was constantly broke. Yeah, okay, you're supposed to uh, get your money primarily from loot. So if you're broke, you're not fighting enough. You need to constantly be fighting. Jum Jum did a $10 super chat. Hey, Legend, long time fan. Been on the fence about getting Worm in 3 for a while. Is it worth getting now in Mortal Prizes here, or is it still buggy mess? Keep up the awesome content. Okay, thanks for the chat. It is still a buggy mess, but... It may still be worth it. It is up to you. You got to look at and decide whether the bugs and mess of it all is worth it to you personally. Uh, I can't answer that for you. But thanks for the chat. All right. Should we replenish or take money? Money is pretty good at the moment. This guy's got good replenishment rate. Okay, rank fourteen. Yeah, I'll go for replenishment. Rejoice. Alright, it's a little bit of a risk to chase after him. It's a bit of a risk because while I could get him, this one here could get me over the end turn and I need some time to rest, whereas this guy here is probably not going to pursue us. Especially given this river here, we don't want to get hit by the river. If this one attacked us, we'd be able to withdraw. So while I, I would love to finish it off, I just I need a Blood Reaper in here. That's what I need. I need that campaign movement range. But I'm trying to get a good trait. You know, wow, weapon strength. Um, yeah, it'll eventually show up. All right, we hit tier five over here. Probably a while ago, actually. Local recruitment and global recruitment here would be good since it's our, kind of our primary recruiting province and would be good to have Blood Reapers show up here. Because I am not losing this settlement. I refuse. Alright, then we've got this dude here. Uh, what else is on the way? Hmm. Could maybe go and blow up Ekrand. Just blow it up. 
Not that I need skulls or anything. Now I've got a cult over here. Still, he needs to protect this Galbaraz area until the other guys have done their job. Um, but then again, they haven't been aggressive towards here. Let the slaughter commence. Yeah, so let's just blow it up. Slay. They don't have anything here that can catch us. Bye bye, Galbaraz. Kill them all. Wait, not Galbaraz, Ekrand. Stoke the fires of wrath. I didn't go the direction I would have liked. Alright, he should be fine. I don't think they're gonna detect him. Alright, who else do we need to move? Scarbrand, what do you got for us? Cool. You know, a bit of money. What else do we get out of this? Essentially resets his movement as well. What else we get? Well, that's not very useful. He's already maxed level. So, what are we gonna do with him now? Varg is essentially a dead faction. Declaring war on them, we can just use them to just sort of jump around. Might not work. Yeah, it's it's not gonna let us land right next to the city. Oh well. Cause yeah, it's a it's a dead faction that's already been confederated by somebody and nobody cares about them, so blowing it up is just like free skulls. Uh, Dustin Daniels became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. All right, what else are we doing? Let's go over here. Uh, that's Locus of Wrath and what does he do for cavalry? Let's have a look. So he can provide um, melee defense for the Marauder Horsemen. It, it says that there, Marauder Horsemen. No extra ammunition. So that's one advantage that the Mortal Lords have over them. They can actually increase their ammo. Okay, that's where the Marauder Horsemen come in. Yeah, so that's not as good. Um, okay. Yeah, just keep uh, reducing upkeep costs because money has been a bit iffy here and there. A bit iffy. Exhausted hero of corn. Right, who else needs to move? Oh yeah. Oh god, I've been putting this off, haven't I? <sighs> I don't want to do this one. <laughs> it's forcing my hand, though. Send Scarbrand to fight Grimgore? Yeah, maybe. 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 Oh, here we go. I've been putting this one off. Because, yeah, if I, if I don't do this now... The odds aren't terrible. But man, I don't feel super comfortable with, especially with melee attack reduced by 10. Uh, we've got to give him some equipment. 
Uh, portal glyph could actually be really helpful here. And you can have the talisman, the bloody shackle. Need you to possibly regenerate. Regeneration should be more important than ward save, I think. Hand weapon, you're going to need the tormentor sword. That's bloody obvious. Uh, and you're going to need a either a glittering scale or helm of discord. What do you think? Uh, I got multiple helm of discords. So we'll go for one of those. Okay, then you need speed, like a lot of speed. So I'm going to take that item off Scarbrand, the banner of swiftness. He needs to be able to run super fast here. Um, what else do we need? Banners, banners. Actually, actually, this might work. What if instead I took, where is it? It's in here somewhere. That could be good. That could be good. I got a few of these banners here that I could use. This might actually make a big difference. Don't worry about Drill Master right now. Strength from flesh. And I put that on him instead so that he regenerates in combat. That way I could give him a collar of corn for ward save. But that means we'll lower his speed, but he's already faster than the other dude anyway. Um because we're going to have one banner on him at a time. A razor standard so that we can dish out more damage. Um, great icon of despair so we can break their units a bit faster. Who cares if that's on him. Banner of victory will only apply to one unit. Don't worry about that too much. All right. Well, shit. <laughs> All that preparation. Auto resolve. Oh my god. Thank the fuck. Because I was like, this was giving fuck, you know? Oh my god. All right, so let's just put some things on them, which will probably improve our auto resolve. Not by enough to really matter. Oh no, I lose a Marauder. Oh my god. Okay, that saves our ass for a couple of turns. We still have more to deal with, and we're gonna have to. We need time to recover now as well. Um. But that's good. That's good. All right. I think it helps to take off these items to begin with. Um, we can always just put them back on him. Because it makes us look a little bit weaker. Um, I can't get back to Teotika, but that's okay. Um, I could go into Ambush Dance, but we really... See, Oxyodl could um, launch the attack next turn. Uh, not launch, he could land here next turn. Uh, how's your levels up on that? Yeah, one level up. That's not going to do much. Skull Crusher. Yeah, if we get to here, that'd, that'd be good. Rewards for the mighty. Fight for Kame! No, if it, yeah, we'll see. If he gets more immortality, he'll get an upgrade there. All right, he's never going to accept a piece, and we have to be prepared for Oxyodl being here next turn. Enemy leadership minus four in the local province might be the difference between victory and defeat. Blood, death, war! It's not going to get that much replenishment unless he gets inside the settlement, but I can't do that without kicking him out as well. Warriors of corn, rally to corn's banner. 
Braveheart did a two dollar super chat. Thumbs up. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Our regiment of an available. No. All right, but we do have an extra global recruit slot now, so that's good. So we can get more marauders because those marauder cavalry. That's what we really need. All right, at least that gives us a full stack, but we need some time to recover. Another thing that we could do is raise another army over here. Might have to do that. I need more troops because what's coming over here is pretty damn severe. Um, Strongest yep, it costs money, but we'll see. It's also possible they'll go further upstream. Alright, well, we, we we sorted it out for this turn. We're okay. We get through another turn without a major def without a defeat. So, we'll see how we go. I can't believe we were able to order resolve that. I was certain I was going to have to fight that manually. I reckon it was just a combination of items. They do make a big difference. Alright, what are we going to develop here? Oh, we also killed that Lord, too. So, we that's good, because that was a strong Saurus. And they lost that item. Speaking of items, let's see what we can fuse. I'm sure I've got a bunch of junk I could uh, fuse for something better because these items are saving my ass. Um, I, too bad I can't fuse another Tormentor Sword. I tell you it would be good if you could fission a weapon. Like if you could turn a Talisman of Endurance into two grey items, although you could abuse that so e easily. Because you could just like, you could just do like you do with the dwarves, fission a green, a uh, green one for two gray ones you don't like the two gray ones fuse them back to a green and you basically just decide whatever oh my god look at this so many garbage brass cleaver is good i don't have it attached to anyone but it's good sword of strife is trash all right yeah i don't like anything that just has spell resistance and spell resistance is just not that useful City and Lodestone is trash. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Anything else good? Terrifying Mask of E is trash. I don't mind a Ruby Ring of Ruin. Potion of Strength is trash. Torment Blade is not bad. Okay, let's get a sort of battle, gold sigil soul. Yeah, because we've got um, essentially straight up upgrade on those. Alright, sort of, yeah, with the uh, fences blade. Those are actually quite good. So, sort of strife is not amazing. I'm going to fuse that. So useful. It happens. What are you going to do? It happens. Alright, what else we got? More, no, yeah, fuse those gold sigil swords, they're not that good. Talisman of Endurance, yeah, that's okay, keep that for now. And how about we fuse an opal amulet and obsidian trinket? From the Sword of Strife, okay, cool, uh, all right, that, we'll, just, we'll just make do with that. Can you make a tier list for all equipment items? Uh, no, I don't think so. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. No. I'm bound to just get so many things wrong. I'd, it'd just be reading off a database. No. Like, I am i can't stress enough how sick I am of making tier lists. Like, they were okay to make to begin with, but, like, I don't like making tier lists anymore. I, I, I don't want to make any more. I'm not saying I'm not going to make any more, but I don't want to make any more. Alright, let's have a look what we can build. Extra global recruit slots should be a priority. Zax, now just have a look out this way. Our treatment is unacceptable. These regions can be developed again now. 
Twisted Towers is safe for now. Can you make a tier list of your tier list videos? I've I've already done that actually. <laughs> I, I think you, you guys don't realize how many tier list videos I've made. Yeah, it's a bit overdone. Um. All right, this province here has hit tier five. It'll take a little while to get there, but that's what you gotta do. I know I had some tier five settlements out here. Here it is. Yeah, it's on its way. Yeah, there we go. That's already done. I guess maybe I'll just... Oh yeah, that's tier 5. That's working towards what we need. Sort of. Racto Gorge. Um... This region's pretty safe. Alright, let's upgrade this. We'll go with, um... I don't think I need to recruit out this way. It's, yeah. And pop that down there. Start getting that going. And that. A lot of money spent up, but whatever. And we want to get ten of these so that we can... Re globally recruit them a bit faster. Alright, that seems to be me done for the turn. I don't know if I should have spent all my money, considering we're recruiting. That's a good point, actually. Maybe hold off on this one. Just leave some money in reserve. What about top 10? These are things that need to be fixed in IME. There's a comprehensive list. Yeah, I, I used to do top 10 lists, but people got sick of them. And so I stopped doing it. You gotta, you gotta understand that with every series that we do, people just lose interest in them the more I do them. So eventually what happens is that they're no longer viable to make. And we've kind of reached that point with um, tier lists. Like, tier lists are at the point where they take twice or even three or even four times longer to make than a disaster battle, and they get maybe 5% more views in a disaster battle. So it's not worth it. Like, would you do would you do four times the work for 5% extra pay? Fuck that. Um, especially if you don't actually enjoy it. Uh, who's this? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, this guy here. Let's work towards... Oh, yeah, do that. We can make these a little bit cheaper. I didn't make much difference. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah, we want a military alliance with him. I don't know how much longer he's going to survive because thingy's right there. But I'll take as much money as I can get out of him. I definitely don't want to call him into war with the Broken Axe. Try to leave him alone as long as possible. the <laughs> more. Is it money time? Is it money time? No, five turns there. I can never remember when it was I last got my gifts. Three turns until that one. I feel like I did this last turn. This should be minus nine. Minus seven, okay. Um, then there's not much else I can really do here. Alright, well. Um, well, we got some money in reserve. That's what I wanted. Just in case we end up in the red, which could end up happening. But it seems like we've um, we've got Volkmar by the balls, kind of. Um, he is going to make his way to Sun Tree Glades over this turn. So I could sell it over to Kairos. But then he'll just make his way over to Krexodl. Unfortunately, Kairos is just not doing what I want him to do. Any missions? Alright, we actually got a few missions. Alright, that seems fair. What do you want me to do? Casador Drake. I don't know. Don't worry about uh, Clan as 
gal or whatever it is. Yep, or yeah, this guy here is gonna be need to be. Okay, it's weird. Uh, Volkmar the Grim. We're gonna have to fight him at some point. But this guy here will fight him soon. I've got a hundred percent with them, but uh, I wonder if I should create a uh, outpost here so I can get access to clan uh, to Skaven units. Because I I'm not gonna borrow their armies when they're. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know it increases supply lines, which is so stupid, but this army sucks. <laughs> this army just fucking sucks. Uh, I don't know. If, the, if it at least gets the full stack. Can you recruit some good units in your army? Fuck's sake. And put some items on your heroes so I can sell them. Alright. I think we're done with the turn. How long is this going to last? One more turn. Okay, that means we'll get a reset on some of these next turn, which is good. Um, but yeah, big lizard invasion. And I'm annoyed with Kairos for just... He's just being such a shit ally. Which I guess is law friendly. I might actually have to tell this guy to come back around here and deal with this. if Because this might come under siege. Um... I don't think I can justify recruiting anything here this turn. Because we got defenses and his army does suck. And if he doesn't get there within two turns, then he's fucked. Because I'll skull full of skulls thrown him. Alright, let's move on. How'd that personal disaster video do? Which personal disaster video are you talking about? Gotta be a bit more specific. Because I've done disaster videos on myself. Are you talking about the, the one with Bretonia where I, I showed the knights? Viting Azazel? That did very well. That was a really that did that was a really good video. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> well at least they're coming at us in waves. Don't land, don't land, don't land, don't land. Okay, didn't land. Good. That buys me an extra time. Uh, extra turn. Really enjoyed that one Wormer video you did, mate. <laughs> okay. That one, okay. Vent allies are more likely to do defend occupy summon orders versus attack orders. Maybe. Maybe. from for anyone yeah yeah that one that video did really well i was really happy with that and that was good because i was just playing my own campaign and got to make a video on it because of that situation um that video did really well and it was fun uh dustin daniels did a five super chat good morning legend just wondering do you get notifications for donations or just super chats did a dono not that long ago only get notifications for uh super chats and memberships um the streamlab ones there okay so I use Streamlabs for notifications, right? Um, I actually would prefer it if people didn't donate via PayPal because I can't keep track of it very well. I used to be able to keep track of it a lot easier when um, there just wasn't so much activity in the chat. You know, when we had like five, six hundred viewers in the chat, and you know, and that was that would be like amazing. Um, when somebody donated, I, I'd you know put a big notification up and I could see it. But the problem was as we grew, as the channel grew in size. What ended up happening is there were too many donations happening at once, and I was just reading these like one dollar uh, one dollar donation with a fucking paragraph of text, and people were like, "This is boring." So what I did was I said, "All right, look, I would much rather make less money, and and actually retain audience as opposed to make more money. It's just not it's not worth sacrificing audience for like a couple of bucks." So. 
I turned off the PayPal donations, but the problem is, every single time you start a live stream with Streamlabs, it puts the, the link in there anyway. So I figured, alright, if they're gonna put the link in there, I'll put it at the bottom of the description, and that way it doesn't put it in your face. And unfortunately, some people will just do it anyway, but I just try to let people know that, um... Um, I, I just can't catch those donations if you do it. You know, if you want a message to be read, you have to use a super chat. That's the second time he's done that, but yeah, whatever. Punish, punished uh, Venom Coarsel did a five dollar subscription. Not sure if you know this, but where's I can get foot of Gorg for free? I don't know exactly how, but I'm doing quest battle and it doesn't use only winds of magic. Nice. Used to cost six wins of magic, but if it's free, that's even better. Thanks, Super Chat. So yeah. I definitely appreciate every donation that comes through, but I would I would say that if you have a message that you want to ask, don't use a donation. Because I'm gonna miss it, because you know what you gotta keep in mind what you guys can see on here. I don't have I don't have M Game Crisis Grimgore. This shit doesn't come up on my screen here. This shows up on my peripheral vision, and it pops up only for a second, right? And I will miss it, and I'm not gonna rewind the stream to go and catch it. I'm just not gonna do it because there's two thousand people here that don't give a fuck. We just can't have live streams where all I'm doing is just reading out super chats and um, and donations. It, that's not what we're here for. I appreciate them, but I can't be doing it. Can you show us land battle and siege statistics? Okay, yeah, I can do that. I thought right this very second. Hi Legend, do you think Cursed Dwarves is next DLC? Mm, don't know. I I heard a rumor that it isn't, but it could be anyway. It could just be bullshit. Um, you honest, honestly, rumors within the Total War scene mean nothing. There's so many red herrings and misinformation out there. I don't trust anything. It seems like it should be the next DLC because people want the Chaos Dwarf so much and there's a big Chaos Dwarf hole in the map. Um, but it's also possible that they're not ready yet. I just don't know. Dustin Daniels here, two dollars super chat. Good to know. Thanks. Yeah, th thanks. I'm just trying to explain it, but yeah. Um, just want to say one more time. I really greatly appreciate every single donation, but I just I can't read the PayPal ones out. I just can't. It's too disruptive. Because most of the time I'm reading this. Okay, I've got this out. This is just in my peripheral vision, and I'm just looking at that. I'm not looking at OBS. I got too many apps open. I, I've only got you know one set of eyes. Like I said, it was a lot easier when we only had 600 people, and the chat would would move up by one a minute. This is a lot easier, and I just. Do you know how difficult it is when those streams happen when we get like 8,000 viewers? Like I get, like I have so much stress during those times that I actually feel my heart strain. Because <laughs> I'm just like, this person did a super chat, 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 this person did a super chat. <laughs> Stop giving me so much money! Hey man, uh, why are you in alliance with factions you need to destroy for long campaign victory? It's a good question, because I don't care about long campaign victory. From a strategic point of view, these are people that we have um, mutual enemies with and at the end of the day we're not even close to getting long campaign victory and I can always just betray them later down the track just watch the Valkyrie video how do you get the Bane Spear apparently you just get it in a um, uh, dilemma in Immortal Empires uh, ever Sanic did a two dollar has there ever been any significant buff to Dark Elf units mm, not that I'm aware of thanks for chat but not that I'm aware of Suffering from success? Well, yeah, it's all just a balancing act, you know. It usually happens with most people. They start to become successful and stress goes up. I mean, that's what happened with PewDiePie. I'm not saying I'm on that same level, but stress goes up. Panic attacks occur. Yeah, anxiety. 
It it just comes with it. It just it just comes with the territory. You know, I'd love it if there was a situation where I could uh, become more successful and do less work. That'd be just great. <laughs> That'd just be great. But yeah, when I was doing like let's plays, that was really easy. But I wasn't very successful. And then I started doing disaster battles and live streams and became way more successful. But it added to stress and anxiety and all this kind of stuff. And you know, that, that's just part of it. Yeah, you, you take the good with the bad. Alright, now. Live to fight! Blessings of corn! Alright, well, they're not going to get us this turn. This is at full strength. If I sit inside the settlement, we can get a lot of replenishment. Plus, I could probably merge them. Um, but what might be better is if I go into ambush stance. And try to lure them into traps. Thesis... Sorry, Theus Grandin did a... Hope I pronounced that right. Then 50 DK case of Hi, Legend. Would you rather be called the biggest boss by the orcs or friend meet by the Skaven? Thank you for all the content. Probably biggest boss by the orcs. I don't, friend meet with Skaven doesn't really mean shit. <laughs> Thanks for super chat. A Roera 10 did a $10 super chat. Hi, Legend. Don't thank me for the super chat, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it feels so weird. I acknowledge your super chat. Alright, alright, alright. So. How many units we're looking at here? Freaking 28. I might actually be able to match them to some extent. Kairos just sits there playing with his bird dick. Kinda of feel like I need to go and deal with this. Kinda of feel like I need to go and deal with this. If we have a look, he can't reach Quexel this turn. It doesn't mean he can't. Sometimes the game fucking lies to you. And if he does, there's a good chance we can win anyway. But I gotta, I gotta put a stop to this. There's no way I can tolerate it. I was gonna attack this one, but Cetra's, Cetra's being attacked by two armies, so whatever. We have a look. He's, he's weak. It was Brock Legend right there. Yeah. <laughs> I pretty much have OCD now with like compulsively thanking people for super chat so people break me by telling me not to thank them. If we capture this, it looks like it's at tier 4. We'll get it at tier 3. It's pretty good. Ascended! Into darkness. Military presence. Okay. Dark princely. I said I would take one of these guys out. Because this guy here doesn't have a Supreme cultist. Move. We must go for. Does this cost extra money? No. Uh, Junanand did a ten dollars super chat. Hey, Legend, do you plan on streaming Dark Tide when it releases? Thanks, and we appreciate you. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for super chat. I appreciate you as well. Um, I don't know at this stage. It largely just depends on how things go with Immortal Empires. Um, it was always going to be a case with uh, Dark Tide. Is that I'll cover it if there's nothing else going on. But if there's things going on, then probably not. But we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So it's a maybe. Leave 
ominous powers shall consume all. I have risen. There shall be ruin. All right, Matt Demon Prince has just hit his max level. What should we give him? Devastating charge. Less by evil for five percent extra money. Don't worry about spell resistance. Kind of a shit. Useful adornments. Cool. 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 All right, what and we got our blood hosts over it. here. Okay, this guy here needs to launch the attack if we want to keep it active. My money is not looking amazing. Okay, we can see where... How are we seeing out here, anyway? Is it friggin' Kairos that's doing that? I think it is. So I'd say, probably blow this up this turn. I don't think we need to blood for the blood got it, just... Skulls for the skulls thrown it. Tell me you can still reach from there. Good. And I think we're okay to auto this. Curse Crab did a 50 SEK super chat. Hey Legend, got any tips when doing your first this is Total War campaign? Yep, pick Skaven to begin with. Yeah, try Skaven out first if you're gonna do that. Yeah, spells Oh man, he ran a long distance. Have you seen enemy hero action happen yet? Yes, one of my heroes got uh, wounded from an assassination attempt. Well, it wasn't an attempt, it succeeded. Alright, looks like they're heading towards Crooked Fang Fort, which is fine. Um, we haven't fully recovered yet, but nobody's threatening this area. Nobody's threatening Galbaraz yet either. Speaking of which, let's have a look. Bad hat. Yuck. Alright, why don't we send this dude to just go and scout over here. For now, just so I can keep an eye on them. I just need to know what they're up to. And I'm going to recruit and disband here. Have we got any more disciplined... No. Get rid of this trait. It's garbage. It's not expensive to recruit and disband. Alright, let's have a look here. So, we were going to go and blow up Varg camp. Going to war with them is no big deal. That'll probably wipe him out. I don't think anyone has any diplomatic with them. Uh, it won't be a battle, but... Unless I get some skulls out of it. Mm, I don't know. Uh, looking at Bellacor. Okay, at least he likes us. And we might become allies. Okay. At least he likes us. How long until I can declare war on Throg again? Throg. Don't care who you are. Five turns. I okay, it's gonna take about no five turns to get there. But yeah, green skin threat over here. Uh, what's going on with the scalings? Bring death. They're at war with Bellacor. Okay. How shall we do this? Alright, let's just blow up um, that settlement and we'll figure it out next turn. But yeah, Scarbrand's in a bit of a weird state at the moment where I'm just not really sure what I'm doing with him. Don't call allies in. Waste of time. Oh, what? We can't blow it up.
Oh, that is fucking weird. That is really, really, really friggin' weird. Have found me. What will you ask? I can't even get him to go towards Varg. Like they just they just don't exist. Hmm. Uh, I'd say just leave it. If I can't blow it up, that's just weird. Uh, if I can't blow it up, I don't want to occupy it. That'd be just a complete waste of skulls for that city. All right, fuck it. I was gonna blow it up, but no point sacking it either. So let's keep moving. I don't know. Varga bugged. Yeah, it's because they got confederated. Um, I could eternal war him, but. Slanesh is uh, ascendant for the next 10 turns. That's fine. Alright, I am not seeing a lot to do there. We have got a lot of enemies coming down this way. So, stay here in ambush stance and we'll just sort of wait and see what happens because we need to make sure that we are able to launch the attack and if need be, get away. I think we could probably blow up a stone mine. Take their skulls. Burn it. Burn it all. How the fuck do I trigger bridge battles in this game? You have to stand on a bridge. <laughs> all right, let me show you where's the bridge. So there's a bridge. If you're standing on a bridge and you get attacked. So if we attack this guy right here, it should be a bridge battle, right? Um, also, sometimes mountain paths will also be bridge battles. Um, river crossings will sometimes be bridge battles. But other than that, it's really hard to say. This faction here is also kind of dead. Although it does actually have some garrison. Alright, I'm going to bring this guy down here, and it seems like Galbarez is going to be attacked for a really long time, so it should be pretty much safe. Alright, what else are we doing? Seems like a pretty uneventful turn, unfortunately. I just, uh, just didn't have much to do. Oh, hang on. No, we do have stuff to do here. Alright, I got money. I got money. Got to figure this out. Got to figure this out. So, what we want to see is this one... Alright, how about you come over to here. You need to recruit. Put this one here on ambush stance. Right. So that they underestimate us in the area. That's what we want them to do. We want, us, we want them to underestimate us. Because we're up against the odds here. We need to make sure we've got what it takes. Uh, I don't know. Alright, so what we'll have here is 29 units. Up against there, 28 units. But they've got a lot of chameleon skinks. Which our marauder horses can't deal with very well. Hmm. And we're not at full strength. Regiment of Renown's back. Hasn't been built yet. Okay, well, okay, we can pull four units out of our ass if we absolutely need to. Cool. Because it seems like we might need to. 
And how experienced are they? Very experienced. This is a really elite army here. Yeah, Oxyodal's army is going to be a problem. Uh, but if he force marches to here, you know, being in force march is probably going to hurt him a lot. Uh, we don't want to actually ambush him this turn. Um, I could... I could recruit another army here, because I still got two more, you know what, armored units right now might be really good. Oh man, money. This is, this is not a situation for half measures. Given the scale of this invasion, I just need it to be gone. But we'll see how that goes. Alright, we're in the negative again, and it's going to be pretty severely in the negative, unless I maybe cancel some construction. Let me have a look. Can you trigger two endgame crises at the same time? Not currently, but I believe they're going to allow for all endgame crises to activate. Which maybe I'll do that one day. Once they've actually added it in. Alright, we shouldn't construct anything, because we're going to be broke. You got any money for me? I'm pretty sure none of them do, but let me just check. Alright, could you join a war against someone? Nah, they're not gonna do it. Alright, let me try with Kazrak. Nah, he's not gonna join a war with anyone. I'm already in all of his wars. Uh, okay, Malagor. Come on, let's see what we got here. I could go to war with the Awakened. Mm, I'd rather not even meet them. Otherwise, they're just going to send invasions over to Lustra. I'm not ready for that yet. From Lustra, I mean. Um, let me see if I can get him to go to war with someone. Because anything that's green, we can pull two grand out of him. No. All right, we just got to suck that up, unfortunately. Oh, hang on, I've got uh, a mission over here from them. Uh, okay, we are quite likely to fight this guy, so let's do that. And Oracles of Sinch want me to go after Volk... Yeah, I'm going after Volkmar, so let's do that. If I really want some more money, I could just pop down this on Scarbrand. It'll just give us a bit more money. And plus, it'll give him some more movement. Um, let's just do it. He's the main one that benefits from it. <gasps> Wait, isn't next turn we get skulls for the skull throne? So, gives us some money so that we can get through this turn. Because, yeah, I was just a little bit unsure about that. There are some constructions you can cancel for money. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to sell off my future, if that makes sense. Alright, gave us 50% of our movement back, so we just get a little bit extra out of it. Cool, you know, at least we got the money that we needed. Too bad I can't sell my... Oh, you know what I can do? I always forget to do this. I can sell off stuff that I have, like, shitloads of. Like, I don't need this many Cornate Mutants. Scarecrow Branners. Yuck. Fucking trash. Blood collectors. Got plenty of that. Drill masters. I got plenty of those. Cornate familiars. Plenty. Cornate zealot. Yeah, I'll keep those. Cool. Cool, actually. Alright, well, we should be fine there. We'll get through this turn. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Next turn we'll be able to do Skulls for the Skull Throne, so we'll actually be able to put the summons down on top of that. I may not even need this dude here. Uh, but let's, like I said, no half measures. Make sure... Because yeah, because they've got the um, the uh, Chameleon Skinks, we want to make sure we got lots of armor, because they just can't penetrate that super easily. Oh my god, look at that fucking ammo. Oh god. Um, yeah, they can't penetrate it super easily. Oh, God, yeah, his chameleon skinks are a fucking nightmare. But we'll see. Oh, Talisman of Preservation, I want to steal that. So we need to 
throw everything that we've got at him, basically. Okay, I think I'm done with the turn. There's no other diplomacy, is there? No. no that's it. Alright, let's move on. Golden Tower got recolonized. Hmm. It's not safe in the area yet. Uh, what's the most difficult endgame so far? Uh, the f most difficult that I've seen is the biggest war. Because it is really, really big. Really big. Even for like turn 100, it's pretty insane. Alright, here we go. Well, it's good that this one here is at least scouting around for me, but if it discovers uh, the Fort uh, Tor Elasor, if it discovers them, they'll declare war on me. So what are they doing? Don't Oxys get plus 9 missile damage from XP? Don't they get accuracy? No, they don't get missile damage, they get um, melee attack and melee defense. Alright, well, they're separated, I can probably get that one. They're, they're being quite cautious there, which isn't stupid. Is it possible to get rid of the certifiable trait? Which one's that one? Good. But he's your ally! Ah, fuck Kairos. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, at least he's not going for the, the settlement with the garrison. Son of a bitch. This guy here is just constantly having to just chase after armies that are slipping through my lines. Just all the time. Joe, it's kind of funny. His name's Gordon Ramsley, and all he is doing is cleaning up mess everywhere. These armies are just fucking raw! <laughs> Do you think there needs to be any adjustments to stances various races? Uh, no. Nah, some stances kind of suck. Um. I don't know. I couldn't care less about what happens there. Oh, ambush got pulled out. Uh, Theus Grandin did a 45 DK case in the chat. Hi, Legend. Would you say that Engine of the God Doomstack is the strongest? Still say that? Don't know. I haven't tested it out. Um, look, the thing is, Doomstacks are not really that important in Warhammer 3. They're really not. But thanks to the chat. Any race without channeling stance now, desperately needs one. Mm, yeah, kind of. Is the stuttering of frame rate slow down due to the stream, or does Worm 3 I? Run poorly. It's running fine on my system. Um, I think it might just be the internet. It's not my internet. Uh, I'm looking. I've only got 60 drop frames in total. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of stuttering. What what you might be seeing is when the game saves, the game stutters. But that's normal for legendary difficulty. But like this is looking pretty smooth on my end.
So why is there a defeat counter if we're only still playing until one? Alright. Second time we've had that question. I'll turn it off. Okay, now I want to see how long it takes before somebody goes, Has he been defeated yet? Alright. Start the countdown. Okay, it's uh, 1.30 in the morning now. Let's see how long it takes. Has he suffered a defeat? Where's the defeat counter? It's stuttery for me now. Okay, that's fair enough. But it's... Like I said, I'm looking at things at my end. Everything's looking good. Like, the system at my end is looking good. Um, I, I, it's, it's not... I can't fix it. Intempting sluggish. Eh, it's working for me. Okay, I think we... Okay, these ones that are coming in right now with Have you been defeated yet? These are obviously a joke. We need to give it at least 15 minutes. And there to be, like, other comments. And the fact that it's all everyone saying it is because I obviously mentioned it. But do you understand what it's like for me as a streamer? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. People be like, ask a question multiple times throughout a stream, and somebody will say, just put a notification up. So I put a notification up, and then someone says, why is there a notification up? <laughs> don't people understand how everything's supposed to work? Ooh, Blade of Corn. Enemies, beware. Alright, well, we know that uh, Volkmar went this way, so... Find battle. Oh, can I... I can actually reach this. Oh, I should... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's have a look. Alright, I can reach Oxyodal. I can. So that's good, I guess. Um, we can reach this guy here. Oxyodal does have a siege attacker, so we shouldn't leave Teotika poorly defended. Problem here is if he runs away, um, that'd be a friggin' nightmare. And he can reach us here as well. None of oh, look at this one. Serpent Coast. That's where it's going. They won't be able to launch the attack on the next turn. They'll sit underneath there. God, the AI is a coward. Holy crap. I'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah, we do need to do this now. You've got one of those razors, right? Asian of blood, yeah. Okay. Trying to catch up to thingy my bob. I think he's right there. Chaos incarnate. Just not sure where to go with him. Get to the Tower of Crack. Is that that's a major settlement, isn't it? That settlement has walls of its own by Warriors of Chaos. Yeah, Warriors of Chaos can build walls in these cinemas. Stratix did a five pound super chat. Love your Immortal Empire streams, Legend. This game is massive. I'm learning so much from you. Alright, no worries, dude. My pleasure. Thanks, super chat. 
Glad you're learning. What I feel like I want to do is just come down this way. Yeah, it's going to take us a bit. Get down over this way and just fight all the green skins that are out here. In an eternal war, I guess. But, you know, all those battles will give us plenty of loot money. Oh, man. It's a big gamble with this. Big gamble. Because that army is just so heavy duty. If we wipe it out, though, it'll take him a long time to replace that because of so much experience in it. Whereas, if I go after this one... Doesn't look like they've got a siege attacker in that army. And then there's this fucker here being annoying. Should just abandon the Serpent Coast. Just abandon it. Clearly just going for undefended settlements like a bunch of dickheads. Okay, if, if, on the odd chance that we don't have, if he doesn't stand and fight, we, when we send in these two armies, and he runs over to here or here, what I, I might be able to do is use a little bit of a trick to get this guy to extend his movement range, which is so far worked in this campaign. So, you, come and stand, hang on, how much movement are we going to have to do this? Alright, he should be fine. You come and stand here. Don't worry about this one so much. No siege attacker. And, First for battle. and of course, equipment. Now he might stand and fight because of our damaged units. Okay, we need to put all that stuff back on that we wanted. Trickster's helm. Yep. Um. What else do you need? Brass cleaver. Yep. That we're gonna need it here. And then we're gonna need we're gonna need we're gonna need we're gonna need where is it? Shit, where is it? Uh bearded freckle did a five dollar super chat. Hey legend, who would you say is the best potential to be a one person doom second woman three? Like always, thanks for the entertainment. Uh I'd still probably say Xiao Ming. Or um Probably Malice Darkblade still has a chance. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, I can never find where it is. The one that provides regen. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, here we go. Blood for the blood god. We kind of need to auto resolve it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not done yet. I'm glad that it gives us a win. Okay, we. But I think we're gonna need to auto resolve it because if we don't, we won't wipe him out. We need him to just be completely gone because we, we're, we're out of movement. Still gonna wipe out a fair few units. But, you know, we can just replace them. That's not the end of the world. I didn't put any banners on him. Because, yeah, I could fight this battle manually and I'm pretty sure I'd win. But, yeah, it all just comes down to we need to wipe them out. Blood for the blood, God. Oh, for fuck's 
sake. It didn't wipe them out. <laughs> I could have done better myself. Oh well. Water Reserve usually wipes them out, but it didn't this time. Okay, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I think we can still do something with this. Null plate. That's garbage. Okay, this guy here has to launch the attack, but in order to do that, I have to disband these units here. Uh, Teotika has got seven units, and they have no siege attacker, so if they besiege it, there's no hope of them being able to do it. Yeah, I've got to get rid of... Oh, hang on, hang on. What I could do, rather than getting rid of them... Transfer those units over here. It's better bloody work. I need Alright, this time we fight it manually because I can basically just use the summons. Um, we just have to hold out until this guy here arrives, but if we hide, we should be okay. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, we can just hide. Because otherwise we're losing too many units. <sighs> manifestations? I don't have any manifestations that can do anything here. Why won't you lose? It's, oh, we're getting pretty close. We took a lot of damage there. <laughs> a lot of damage just got done. But that being said, um, Oxyodal will take a long time to replace this army because of how much experience they had on that. Unless he can recruit them at that much. That, that is a big deal for him. That's why it, it did so well in order to resolve. Regen banner. It should be on the other guy still. Reset and try again. It's legendary difficulty. It's done. Your decisions are pretty much permanent. Okay. So, all we have to do here is survive for a minute 41. So, just don't be discovered during that time. And everything should be fine. Got four summons. Which should be enough to basically just beat him on its own. How many people in Warhammer have Grim in the name? Probably a lot. It's kind of like Smith, because of the the grim nature of this world. Yeah, there's no way they can get to us in time now. Okay, also the regen banner only applies when he's actually in melee. Uh, he does have it, doesn't he? Oh, I thought I applied it. Oops. Oh, I must not have applied it. Whoops. Oh, I know what happened. Because he changed his mount. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, it's not really going to matter. Yeah, these summons make a big difference here. I'll just wait it out. I've also got this summon here. Good, one of the Stegodons are gone. Ah, oh, Bestelodons are gone. Anyway, it only provides regen when in melee, so it's not like you'd be regenerating right now. So we're fine. Alright. Uh, I'd really like to get rid of the uh, 
Yeah, but they're not going to stand and fight. Come on, get rid of Oxyodl. Got him. Nice. They're not going to really be able to do much to him, so send him in over here, just so I can see them, and we pop down the uh, portal glyph to get them to pin down. Uh, the Shadow Dead Tunnel Super I've been enjoying the content last year now. Uh, question, who is your favorite faction and lord in said faction? Keep up the good content. Been playing three or four months now. We've gotten up to a very hard difficulty now. Alright, thanks dude, thanks for the chat. Um, Ica Claw within Skaven. Appreciate the support. Oh, they're not shooting at us. Interesting. Seeking slaughter. Corns will. Take their scouts. Damn, these skinks are really bloody fast, too. I'm surprised the army losses hasn't been triggered. What have they got left? <laughs> come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, silly beast. Oh, come on. The AI always bloody catches me so easily. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, silly gore beast. Come on. You can do it. Oh, you're tired, that's why. Come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Alright, good. That at least deals with Oxyodle. <laughs> why no defeat counter? <laughs> Are you guys doing this on purpose? Uh, it cost us a lot. That cost us a lot, but at least we got rid of Oxyodal for now. Is the leadership penalty for losing a lord in battle larger when it's a faction leader? No. Makes no difference. Do I like snow? Yeah, I don't mind snow. Piece of shit armor, that's okay. Blood for the blood god! Lord of Corn! Torch held! For the blood god! Well, I think this guy here can attack us, uh, but obviously I just back off. I think this guy here should just be disbanded because he's too close to the coastline. And if you could just move like one tile over this, no, I can't. No one can get to this guy. Yeah, you just be disbanded. That's good. That'll be really good. Uh, you don't worry about that right now. Maybe start working towards um, stuff over here. Begets rewards. Good, he's on a blood throne now. That is good. No, that's garbage. Just go with that. Okay. I'd say the chances of us uh, being attacked here are pretty damn high, but which we could just back off from it. 
my concern here though is that he'll um run over to here and then this one will land and attack the ai usually doesn't do that but if they did we would be fucked so we can prevent him from even launching an attack on us by force marching to here but that means we can't recruit so now they can't launch an attack on us now the next thing is how are we going to recruit well, this guy here might still stay the course and go to Serpent Coast. I am about to abandon it, because... Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What if? What if I could actually hold it? I might actually be able to hold it, because... If I put a Lord here, I can globally recruit quickly. Um, yeah, you're gonna need that, because I know what I'm gonna globally recruit. We need this, and of course we need the these units here. Okay, so that's gonna give us 7 plus 4, 11 units, plus summons for 5 turns. So, considering they're taking attrition, and we've still got access to Regiments of Renown, any of these. Ooh, hello. Uh, okay, here we, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, what would be useful? Gores? Or Ungores? Ungores are cheaper. Uh, get the Ungores. Anything for just extra troops, that's fine. That's what the fucking thing is there for. Alright, we're, we're still in the red. We're still in the red. Then I need to start recruiting something here. As well. Just local recruit. Because, yeah, he still might besiege the settlement. And if he does, that'd be pretty stupid. Because this guy here is not going to be able to help. But uh, we've almost... Oh, my God. Look how much force I need to be here. Like a duck. Don't upgrade the golden tower. It's fucked. Okay. Well, we need to make sure we got enough money for next turn. Oh, and also, take their items off. Because I find it's actually pretty good to equip the items when you're making the attack, because the AI will underestimate you. You can equip the stuff instantly. So, we'll get that stuff when we need it. Which is not, because we're not going to fight it. If we fight a battle over the end turn, we're doomed anyway. Okay. Now, there are a lot of armies of um, Archon out this way, so I'm a little bit skeptical about um, occupying this right now. Demon Prince! Exalted Hero of Khorne! Ascended! What level is it? It's only level 3 settlement, so what we could do is just sack it for money. With this one, because yeah, we'll make we'll make a lot of money out of it, twelve thousand, and that that'll pay for our upkeep cost of in turn. Because yeah, there was like three or four armies around here, and I just don't know what to expect coming in that way. Okay, we gotta find out where Volkmar is. Like, exactly. What the hell? Oh, we got... We got incoming. We got a lot of incoming. Alright, Volkmar the Grim. We can get an exact location on him. He's standing right there. I think from that distance he won't be able to reach the Golden Tower, but I'm not 100% sure. He might be able to besiege this one, but if he does it in the next five turns, he's not going to stand a chance. This guy here just needs to take him out. Good defeat trait for us as well. Oh, 
What's he missing? He's missing a cultist. The cultist is on the way. March or die. And we still got this one here. I could sack. Oh, I we could sack Kimri. Fairly large garrison there. That's not really where their best... If we wait until it hits tier 5, then we can capture it at tier 4. But that'll take 5 turns. Still, I could have time to come around this way. None of these armies here are of any real concern. Nah. This. Dark princely. Nah, this is chariot. It's no big deal. Even if we do have most of the infantry, I think we'll tear them apart with these. Um, Alright, if that's the case, how are we going to do this? I guess I want to blow this up. Definitely don't want to do blood for the blood god. Let me try something. This might not work, but let's see. I fight on my terms. Chaos in uh, I was hoping to come around this way. We just don't have enough movement. Alright, I can make it to Kemri. 37,000 to sack it. Shit, boys. I might just do that. That'll pay for things for a while. I don't necessarily need this to be super high level. Like our growth rate's a problem. Yeah, fuck it. Thirty-seven thousand. We'll reinvest that money elsewhere. Well, it would be good to have this at tier four. I could bring something to tier five if with that kind of money. All right, with what we're dealing with here, can we cheese this? Uh, probably not, but I don't think we really need to. If we pin them down over here and then send the stalking units to slowly creep their way up here, maybe that would work. Other thing is these heroes can all just go for it. Yeah, this will be fine. I have to fight it manually, obviously. Yeah, otherwise we lose them. I can't have that. No. Alright, let's do this. Golden, sorry, the Order Tide had its Golden Age in Warhammer 2, now it's Chaos and Destruction Tide. I think it depends on which faction you're playing. It also depends on what Endgame Crisis. I think it really all comes down to the Endgame Crisis. Um, did you guys see the 750 turn campaign that um, Book of Grudges did? The AI, after 750 turn, like, no AI had more than, like, 20 settlements. They just don't expand. Not really. Right. Warriors first, then chosen. Uh, those are going to be tricky to use here. You get on the ground. And here we go. Interesting. Well, we seem to be mostly safe to just come up this way. They've got all their units here. They do have an artillery piece. Demon Prince going forth. Which, at the moment, haven't started shooting at us. Okay, maybe you should fly up. Okay, yeah, we'll pop down the summons on them here. Chaos unleashed! Keep moving! 
Oxio is crazy strong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oxiodel usually gets the, the most mana territory for sure. He is crazy strong, absolutely. Which, you know, we're fighting him in this campaign. Alright, pop that down on that, because I don't want to be fighting Screaming Skull Catapults. See, this is why we got the Ungor Raiders for this exact purpose. one here you need to go for, otherwise I need another summon. Look at me. Glorious. Dark power. Uh, that didn't do as much damage as I, as I had hoped. You guys start coming over here. This is just a distraction, though. As commanded. Do we just want to make sure they bring their units around over that way? Alright, since I'm chosen it. Good shoot, <laughs> Demon Prince with that, that's not really going to do much. Yes. Save up for the Sword of Corn. Still up on the wall. Champion of the gods. Chosen of God. Servant of the murder lord. The ex father's blessing. Alright, they're up. Now we just slowly make our way up to here with them not realizing it. Oh good, they summoned the Ashabti. There, good job. What's going on here? I think they did the legionary barrage there, but it didn't do much damage. Alright, just go in and start capping points. Draw them over this side so they don't see what's going on. Okay, so summon. Let's bring him close to them. Oh, hang on, here we go, here we go. Sword of corn time, come on. Freaking deleted them. Chosen of court, unbridled destruction! 
I think we're going to inflict the army losses before we even get to here. They're just about destroyed. There's really like nothing left. Oh no, they still got some units around over here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, next stop up here. the army losses. Yep. Oh, well. Didn't even need to cheese it, really. It's the max health. Just need that army losses. I mean, we got the army losses, I just needed to actually disintegrate. Come on, hurry up. There we go. We done? There we go. Wow, so much of a victory. Are you enjoying the new God-specific units? I'm still unlearning to Doomstack in my Scarban campaign. Yeah, I think the core, uh, the Chaos Warriors are pretty good for corn at least. 142 kills, no casualties on the on this Chosen. <laughs> Yeah, it's just skeletons though. So far this war with Kemri has gone pretty well. And we're about to get a lot of profit out of this. Alright, that'll pay for our armies for a short time. Demon Prince. Yeah, yeah, we, we... Okay. Contest of the Blood God! Going cool. with fury! Oh, if I had enough movement, I'd probably occupy it, but I don't have it. Knock it down a tier two, unfortunately. I really hope they add more skills for these lords and heroes. You know, the fact that when you get them to rank 50, they're basically 100% perfect. Uh, it's, I don't know, that's not very, not very good. Okay, if we have a look over here, we can stack Sudenberg for 12 grand. How much does he want peace? No, he doesn't want it at all. I'm going to recruit a lord here and just leave him here. I think if I put down a specific follower, I'll be able to just get a little bit of sight on them. Let me just have a look. Blood collector. No, no, no. Where is it? Not drill master. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. I just want to see where he is. Okay, now we can have a look over here. Oh, no, I can't record it all there. Alright, if I can't reach him, he can't reach me. Not from that distance. That's, that's all I wanted to check. Probably should have used a lower level lord. Can you give me some territory? That'd be great if you could. 
was clear because we made it so. Mm. What milk do you have with your coffee? Tit milk. No, I'm just kidding. Um, cow's milk. I don't know, just cheap. Whatever the like the cold wool was name brand are. Milk is milk. I don't know. Looks like we got a tough situation about to occur here. Once again, three fucking armies coming down here. This is a strong army with a not so strong lord. Um, if I go and attack that, I'm going to find myself bloody surrounded. Okay, here's an army I could borrow. Let the bell scream, scream. It's fucking trash. <laughs> How much would it cost? Not from the heroes. I guess I getting rattling guns. It's starting to recruit better armies. And I'll, I'll get the. I'll get. Oh uh, yeah, let's just do it. The, the council's voice. How did he get a Skaven army with bloodletting? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did did our upkeep cost just increase? Let me just have a quick look. Oh, I'm actually. Hang on, hang on. Oh my god, I can't see it. It's so fucking blurry. Did our? You guys let me know. Did the upkeep costs of my armies just increase? Ring bell. Now why? Let the bell scream, scream. Okay. Say, Craig, executioner. I gotta go into ambush tents what? again and just stay what? close by over here. It didn't. Good. Okay. If the upkeep cost didn't increase, then the hidden supply lines doesn't exist with that stuff anymore. So that cost me 90 points with them. That's okay. Alright, go stand as far away from the heroes as possible. Just gotta try to lure them over here. Then we've got this here. Could go blow this up instead. Could this guy here take that on by himself? Maybe. Don't need this guy after all. Oh, no, no. Because what if he comes back this way? I cannot. I'll see. What are you going to do? Just, just, just wait. He'll catch up. Yeah, I reckon we come over here and just sack it this turn. I'm not going to waste that kind of money. Never. I don't think Order Resolve will be a oh, Knights of the Realm. Oh, summons will sort that out. <laughs> yeah, summons will sort it out. Alright, so we use our summons specifically on the Knights of the Realm. And we do just do what we always have done. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Which continent have you not played in yet in Immortal Empires, i.e. Lustria? No, I played in Lustria. Oh, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. I've been to Lustria, Nagaroth, Ulthuan, Old World, Norska, Chaos Wastes, Badlands, Southlands, Southern Wastes, 
Cathay, Darklands, Mountains of Morn. <laughs> Yeah, I've been everywhere. And on every continent, not necessarily every single settlement, but I've been everywhere. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, so just put these, these forces back over here so we don't get smashed. And try to make sure there's no one sitting over there when we come in. Alright, the towers are pretty weak. Alright, I think I'll just use this to, um... To shoot down a section of wall. It should have enough ammunition. 12, 12 should be plenty. Alright, let's, let's take that on there. Yeah, it's taking out more than 10% per shot there. Oh, for Knuckles. Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. Alright, there's the Knights of the Realm, and here's my demons. Their job specifically, try to damage the Knights of the Realm as much as possible, because otherwise we're going to have a hard time here. Mm, didn't do a lot. Didn't do a lot, but we get four summons. And if we can just take out the Knights of the Realm, even if it just damages it a lot, that's good. Mm. Knights of the Realm are quite strong. Nice desert city. Yeah, well, you know how it is. Maps. It's also a port city, did you see? Look at look at this port. Fuck it. Fuck it, change my mind. Let's go this way. <laughs> Gates over there, undefended. Alright, well that first uh, first one wasn't so good, so let's see what we got now. Um, they killed seven of them, I guess that's not bad. And with every one of them that dies, their damage output is going to be reduced. So it doesn't kill off our summons quite as quick. Alright, that looks a lot better than the previous summon. Our guys should be able to handle that now. Yeah, they still took us out pretty quick. I still got more summons though. Grimgor Cell's impaired, why? He, he has appeared, it's just he's not near us, he's everywhere else. We've been dealing with Skarsnik. But uh, Grimgore is definitely on the way. It's only a matter of time. He has like, what, 70-something settlements? He's got territory all the way from Norden to Cathay. 
gigantic empire, but he just hasn't beelined it to us specifically. That's what Skarsnik has been doing. But legend, these summons are anti-infantry. Yeah. Whatever. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, the Knights of the Realm are pretty damn good against the demons, even though they don't have magical attack. They're just really strong units. Are we in? We're in. Alright, take out the Mounted Yeoman. We're not going to get out of this without fighting them. But they're garbage, so that's no big deal. Why is there Mounted Yeoman in this settlement? Good, that's gone. Alright, that there is a barricade. Damn it, I'm not going to get through that quickly. Okay. Here come the Knights of the Realm. There's some destruction in the way here. Don't let me do it myself. Quick, shoot, shoot, now, quick! Oh, fuck. Alright, the Knights of the Roma are pretty much gone now, that's good. Let's get out of here. Go cover my retreat. Not retreat, but... Moving on to bigger and better things. Oh, damn. It's gonna pin us down. We killed the other one in a couple of seconds. And they might not even want to engage with us. Alright, that's the last of my summons. I think they did what they needed to do. Do they want to engage? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to engage with them. Because they're shit. Alright, next stop. Over here. Those Knights of the Realm are still around, but they have like one hit point, so not going to be a problem to deal with them. Yes, there we go. They just run. Quick, 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 quick! Get through there. Get through the barricade. Otherwise, I have to go around it. Quick! Hurry! Quick! 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 Good. Cool. <laughs> what a waste for them. Alright, still got to break through this area. I feel like Cathay usually becomes a big death blob. Hmm. I've, I've not seen that. Are Storm Vermin still shit? Yeah, they're still shit because you just have better units in your roster. They just don't complement the Skaven playstyle very well. But you you can you can do better with uh, Storm Vermin in Game 3 than you can in Game 2. It's just that if you're a good Skaven player, you got no use for Storm Vermin. Because they take two turns to recruit unless you got Queek. They're expensive. They're still not really good fighters. You got you got better units. But, you know, if you want to make a Storm Vermin Doom stack, you absolutely can make it work. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Okay, you stay behind. We're gonna miss. Yep, I need to raise that a little bit. Ballistics. Ah, God, terrible shot at long range.
Alright, now we just gotta hold them back for a couple of minutes. All their cavalry is gone now, so... Could just run around a little bit more. Yeah, go after those guns. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay, good, got him. This game reminds me of Rome 2 when the AI would just charge the VP mindlessly. Yeah, I've actually used that reference uh, with Rome 2. I don't know why Creative Assembly made the exact same mistake twice. With like, capture the flag, that kind of stuff. It's like they don't even know their own history. With Rome 2, they did a, with the launch at least. They did a really heavily capture the flag gameplay, and people fucking hated it, and they reverted it almost instantly, and then people were like, okay, it's better now. And then, like, ten years, nine years later, like, let's try that again. Let's see what happens. <laughs> wow! People responded in almost the same way. How is that possible? I don't understand. We made the same mistake twice and got the same results. How is that possible? Alright, we're not going to get to full strength, but that's okay. We're done. That worked out well. I think that was zero casualties, right? Yeah. Cool, without any serious damage. They've also reduced construction time for scaven weapon teams. Yeah, so it's even even better to get them now. I'm about to start Badlands Survival Altharian versus Endgame Green Skins. Anything on everything on hard difficult? Any tips? Uh, you want to get a cork, okay? You want to shave it down a little bit so that there's no jagged edges, and you want to put it up your butt, okay? Because you're about to get fucked. <laughs> Plug your butt, hide your kids, hide your wife. See, my plug is right here. This is my plug. This is where I put the cork. Okay? They've been trying to penetrate me through here, and I got a nice big plug. Ooh, we've still got movement. Uh, if we do that, he'll probably run away. He won't run away next time. Oh, I thought he'd stand and fight. I don't know why I thought that. I cannot. <laughs> Never. I don't know how you're gonna get out of that, boy. What lube for the plug? Uh, well, in this campaign, I just use blood. But yeah, whatever you want. All right. If these two guys here can manage to replenish a decent number of them, we should be able to handle this one. And this guy here should be able to handle that. Because I got regiments of renown ready to go as well. Alrighty then, let's have a look. What are we doing next? Oh, you should take these items off so they uh, underestimate you. That's really important. Okay. I think that's us done for the turn. Let's have a look. Scarbrand's done. You're done. What are you doing, Ben Affleck? Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. There are too many armies coming down this way. Yeah, there, 
Too many armies coming down this way, so why don't we get this one to try to attack him? They probably won't do it though. And that way, if I don't like, we just we just need this one here to just not take all the fucking damage. But if we have a look, yeah, they're not gonna do it. Not unless I weaken myself, which I'm not willing to do. Um, but if they come in through this way, I guess what I could do is force march this guy across the river uh, to assist, since they're not attacking Galbarize at the moment. Uh, we need we need protection here because this guy here is not that high level. Alright, that's good. We're, we're done for the turn. Got lots of money. That's good. Alright, let's have a look. Clan Molder want non aggression pact, but I just don't want to give it to them. I just don't want to give it to them. I don't trust them. Could you please I dreamt of a time break your across the stars, trade agreement? Legions oh, I can't ask wake. him to do that. Huh. Okay, whatever. So, my rights. All right. Well, let's do some construction then. Let's do some construction. You know, along the coastline along here, it might be a good idea to wall up these coastal settlements. Might be a good idea. So I should probably wall up the Serpent Coast as well. I'm expecting I'm going to hold it. That's a lot of money. And time. Whatever. Don't worry about the Golden Tower, but let's... Oh, you know what? That'd be good here. Eight turns. Fucking hell. Um, whatever. What are you going to do? Okay, so that's a bad defense there. Let's look for profit. Okay, maybe out this way, we should also wall up these settlements. Port of Secrets, Crystal Spires, which has been walled up. Uh, just in case the Greenskins start pummeling through, which if we have a look here... Looks like that might be heading towards the Port of Secrets, but uh, Scarbrand might be able to intercept it. We'll be there next turn, and we'll be about here. Get out me, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to intercept it, actually. I could always just cancel the next turn, no big deal. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They're ruined dwelling out this way, and we're not super friends. Okay, I need them to be more friendly. Otherwise, they're gonna hit our soft underbelly up this way. Ugh, this is gonna this is gonna suck. Hang on, let me just see if it's possible. Ah, oh, god damn it! God damn it! I don't want to go to war with Avalon. If I go to war with Avalon, I'll get dragged in with all the other High Elves. It's funny how she considers me her greatest threat, but she's at war with the High Elves. Um, giving her a bunch of money. Yes. I what hate the fact that I have to do this. Sorceress. But this will buy us, a, I think, a lot of time. I think that'll buy us a good amount of time. How I mean, luckily, I've got the money. So that is 40 relations. Should I do another one? No, that's too expensive. That should buy us a lot of time before she declares war on us. I've got this walled up. Um, I might need the plane of spiders to get walled up. Get rid of this. I need to start getting those walls. Same thing at Clarax Spire, just in case. Can't trust Marathi.
You give her a settlement or two? Yeah, I don't want to give her any territory. <laughs> I don't want to. Why would I want to give her a settlement? If she occupies Ice Rock Gorge, I might give her the Witchwood. Because I can't defend that properly. Good amount of rep for 8k. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It's just I don't, I don't really like giving her money. And she might still end up declaring war on us. So, it's a bit of a... It's not a great situation there, but... Even though she's fighting other enemies, she'll still probably prioritize fighting us if she wants to. Contest of the blood. Seeing too many disciplined these guys, but yeah, as long as we're patient, we'll get one. Luckily, recruiting and disbanding here is not particularly expensive. Alright, what else are we going to build? Like I said, we need to increase our profit margins. So, Granite Massif over here. These are... These, these provinces are pretty safe. Okay, hang on. Hang off on those. I, I need to make sure I've got a good surplus of money. Oh god, I already spent all that cash. Well, let's hope it was worth it. Let's hope it was worth it. Um, if we improve relations with Marathi enough, hopefully she'll uh, give us a, a another treaty. Alright, we just researched Wrathful Slaughter. What do we need next? That'd be good, apart from pissing everyone off, which I don't want to do right now. Casualty replenishment rate. Blood host guaranteed, receiving plus one bloodthirster. Eh, that is the extra expenses. I reckon um, casualty replenishment rate, because that'll affect our garrisons as well. Further the skull thrones, cause. Are you looking forward to the feature in the upcoming patch where the end game crisis can be triggered in the same game? Uh, I don't know. Aid me in slaughter. Not especially. And again, if the endgame crisis is all spawn at the same time and they all fight against each other, that'd be pretty funny. Alright, yeah, don't build anything. Don't worry about that. We do call a battle next turn if we really need to get Scarbrand some movement. And even then, I'm not sure. Yeah, I have a feeling this one's going to sail around over here. Just completely ignore Archeon, the easier threat to go for the player. Because if we ever look at him, he probably considers us the, his greatest threat. No, he doesn't, actually. Sliver of green. We're stronger than Crooked Moon now, by a fair bit, actually. Can Black Arcs be used to occupy settlements? Yep. Yeah, raising an army here isn't going to help us. Scarbrand has to catch up. Just is what it is. Alright, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Yeah, I already looked at this stuff. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Is it better to give one big gift or several small gifts? It actually seems like in Wormit 3, it's better to give one big gift. Because it's no longer 15 times the expense like it was in Warhammer 2, and it provides a good amount of extra relations, so I think that the big gift is actually worth more. Because in Warhammer 2, it used to be the other way around. The small gifts was, was better. No, don't go that way. Don't discover them. They'll declare war on us. I don't want more problems. Stop it! Stop it. What are you doing? Fucking singe. I'd love it if that one actually goes after Zinch Faction. Yeah, I knew that was coming up this way.
Okay, good. Don't go in ambush stance. Alright, cool. Alright, that turns sort of... Oh yeah, I've got the Skaven army. i got to bring it over here, because... If, if that army dead suffers a defeat, we still suffer a defeat. i got to get it out of there. Borrow it for 10 turns. Just use it as cannon fodder. If we could somehow get the Warlock Engineer wounded, can't be, can't be killed, but wounded in battle, not in battle, but like an agent, we'll actually get to keep it permanently. It's actually really funny. There's a chance of infinite defeats there with the Lizard Army right outside your port. That would end the campaign, dude. Alright, they still did that. I think we've got, um, I think we've got Volkmar beat now. Did that chair cost 399? It did indeed. Didn't they get rid of infinite defeats in Women 3? Nope, you can still do it. Backspace, backspace. Stop, 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 stop. Well, I guess I'm going to sell the Port of Secrets over to the Warriors of Chaos. Oh, we've got time to abandon it. How do you feel about the fact that trait farming for us accounts heroes and lords useless as dedication reset your trait? Yeah, it's annoying. The creative assembly don't want you to be trait farming though. Here's what you do though. You you get if you care about traits, get the dedication and you can save scum it. So save the game. Do the dedication. If you don't get the trait that you want, load the game. Wait the next turn, do the dedication. Did you get the right trait? If no, rinse and repeat. So, if trait farming is that important to you, you can find ways around it. Um, Creative Assembly just really want you to suffer in regard to getting what you want. They don't want you to trait farm. Do you know what would stop trait farming? And I don't know why Creative Assembly hasn't thought of this. If... Every single trait was actually good, instead of there being like one good trait and the rest shit, then people wouldn't trait farm. Why don't you just make all the traits good? Then people be like, cool, I like this trait, cool, I like this trait, cool. Just make all of them good. Could have simply go the other way. Let's make all the traits really shit. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to swing back around over here. They're finally coming at us after all this time. T 
Just remove the traits. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this situation over here wasn't great. I kind of feel like I've I've done them dirty by um, taking away one of their armies, but they'll just waste it anyway. Alright, they didn't make the attack here like I kind of wanted them to, so we've got to now fucking hurry over to Galbaraz, because should be able to handle it. But I don't want to leave it to chance, so just friggin' leg it. There's no armies out this way. Alright, if it comes under siege, you should be able to um, assist. Gotta pull that of um, ambush dance, but. Alright, I need this guy to like swing around over here and just try to get to my troops. Don't force march, just in case we do get attacked. Because if he gets attacked, you can push him back. Don't know if it was the wisest decision to um to grab this dude. Don't know. So yeah, over here we have nine units and they have twelve. We probably wouldn't outright win. It, it says we do, but oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You could just wait. Now over here. Fight for Karnath. Not now. Slaughter. Very well. Send me it says here this guy here can't get to Teotika anyway. So I reckon what we do here this turn is just go into ambush stance up up here, wait for them to land, and we launch attacks on them. We've still got it for four more turns, so this guy will land somewhere along along here. And this guy, because I reckon what they're going for now is the Cursed Jungle. Now, if this one... Oh, if I hire a Regiment of Renown, I could probably defeat it. Yeah, it looks like we're in an unlimited defeat situation. Hmm. Not that handle, we'll see. Supreme Deathbringer. Oh, <laughs> oh you fucked. You, oh, we're not going to get the defeat trait, though. You fucked up, Volkmar. You fucked up. You didn't realize I could do this. <laughs> I gotcha, you little bitch. Finally. Finally caught him. Unfortunately, this guy here doesn't get the defeat trait unless we keep Volkmar alive, which I don't know if that's a good idea. All right, now you got to go over here and blow this up again. How many defeats? Okay, put that back up. Let the slaughter commence. According to this, even if this guy forced march, he couldn't get to Teotika. Well, at least I can see what it's got. It's mostly trash. All right, let's give this guy some equipment, and then we'll see if he can. Um, we win in an auto resolve because I don't know if I want to fight that manually. All right, hand weapon you can have. Have we got anything blue? Sort of bloodshed. Who's that on? Um, yeah, you can have it. Whatever. And armor. Take a. Take a null plate. It's absolutely bloody useless. Um. Oh, look at this fuse. Giant blade. Crap. Whatever. Armor of fortune. Okay. And then we'll just see. It, it says the odds are in our favor, but let's just have a look. Nice. 
not so massive. Cool, that worked out pretty well there, I think. Cool. Now, it's quite possible this guy will try to come up this way, so maybe... Maybe just wait there a little bit longer. Because, yeah, I think we've got enough here. And one turn of replenishment makes a big difference. Demon Prince! I didn't repair everything. I'll make it brutal. Stop that! I am warlord. Okay, a little bit of a concern here. If I attack this, we absolutely have to lightning strike it, but there's no way we win otherwise. Um, but then I gotta get away, right? Now, we've got extra movement range by 50%, which is good, which is good, but at the same time, you know, we're, um, I'm probably going to need to just try to abandon this. I think what Scarbrand's going to have to do is go towards the Tower of Flies, and we'll intercept him there. Yeah, giving Scarbrand an extra 50% movement would be good and everything, but I, I gotta give it to the other guy, I think. I think he needs it a bit more. So Scarbrand will get to the Tower of Flies. That'll just be rebuilt later. You know, it's, we essentially lost 1,000 gold with it. No big deal. Oh, don't forget to abandon it. Okay, that'll prevent them from launching an attack on it. Then we hit to the Tower of Flies, and then we land here, and then get rid of any green skins that are in this area, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, Scarbrand is just constantly just putting out fires. Sort of like this guy. It'd be pretty funny if this guy, like, runs away somewhere weird. Dish. No. Good. Slaughter. Rejoice. You can't make every trait equal in strength, is what I'm saying, and people will always consider the slightly weaker ones. Yeah, okay, that is, that is a good point. They will always do that, but at the same time, there are some big differences between traits, like disciplined compared to... Uh, what was that other garbage in here? Okay, we don't have one at the moment, but it's like 4% weapon strength. Like, who cares? Compared to discipline, that's absolute trash. Who owns the Black Pyramid of Nagash? Is that actual ruin? Okay. I wonder if the Great Pyramid of Nagash would be useful for us. For Lord and Hero Recruit rank. Spell resistance... Winds of magic increases. Um, if I blew up Sudenberg now, that'd be the end of them. The complete end of them. Now, another thing is I don't know where their armies are. Yeah, they've took, taken all them out. Guy here. Onward. Oh no, it won't because they own this one. No, it won't be the complete end of them. We blow this up.
Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we'll occupy it right now, just because we, we don't know what's out here. Could always just ruin Dwell it later, quite easily. So, just come over here, and... I don't think we'll blood for the blood got it, but let's, um... Let's skulls for the skulls thrown it. Dark Elf trade on Sorceress that gives one melee attack and two melee defense. Yeah, that's trash. Alright, be done with this. Okay, start merging some of these. Cool, save some money. And then let's make our way over to Bega. Yeah, that's fine. If um, Ark and the Black wants to occupy this, that's up to him. Now, this one here. Kind of want to occupy Kemri, but we've got to stay in the area until it's walled up. And maybe recruit an army to defend it, because Arkan could be sending a lot of force over here. Because I just can't see where his armies are, and we know that there's a lot. It's probably full of skeletons, but I know there's a lot. Dark princely. I forbid this. Eternal blasphemy. What I could do is just forget about Kemri for this turn. March over here, try to take out these armies. Because they're not going to attack us. Yeah, let's do that. But if I sack it... Yeah, let's do it this way. If I sack it from this direction... Now you know what? I will occupy it. Show me blood. We have to fight it manually again. I can't be taking close victory in, in range of them, but I'm going to occupy it this time. You said in your latest video that large lords were worse for one-man doomstacks. How is Korn, who is kind of large in that compartment? You mean Scarbrand? Okay, so Scarbrand is okay. So his size definitely works against him. Um, we've already done a rating, a Doomstack for Scarbrand, and it was okay. Um, the problem with Scarbrand is that he can't dish out damage really quickly without, like, the Bane Spear or something like that. You can get the Blade of Slanesh in the Realm of Chaos, but you can't get any of those items in Immortal Empress. I, I haven't been offered any of those, like, Bane Spears, Chainsaw, none of that stuff, right? Um... So, if you want to make a one-man Doomstack, I'm not going to rate anything very highly if it can't, like, defeat the enemy army quickly. Alright, last time I sent them to go and cap this, but we had won the battle before that even, even happened, so this will be even easier, but just don't bother about capping that point, there's just no point. After the man, 100 did a $5 super chat. How viable are Lizard and Stegard on Doomstacks of Wormer 3 versus Wormer 2? I have no idea, I haven't played them yet, but I imagine it's probably just as viable. Thanks for super chat. Within my power. Exalted hero of yes. I am ascended. So size works against you because even if you've got amazing stats and amazing resistances, it's just easier to shoot you, it's easier to hit you in melee. Whereas small lords can only be hit so often. This is why Malice Darkblade on foot is like such a really good, oh god, really good one-man Doomstack stand back a little bit. Because he's hard to hit. Oh, they're actually not aiming for you. Okay, get up here. It brings destruction. Okay, you lot. I think they just used the legendary barrage. Yeah, they did. Okay, good. Give me a skull catapult. Demon Defeated. 
If a Doomstack is unbeatable, but miserable, miserable to play, is it still a good Doomstack? Not really. Not really. It should be. Like, a good Doomstack can take out the enemy army pretty quickly. What an slaughter! Yeah, you shouldn't have to rely on a battle taking like 45 minutes each time. Not unless that's what you really enjoy, because, you know, enjoyment is subjective. Anyways. Okay, we're in. Chosen of Court! Sent by Darkness! Seeking Torment! Uncles! Are skull cannons worth getting or should you get hell cannons instead? Of course. Can Warriors of Chaos get um, skull cannons? By the okay, well they're not exactly the same thing. So hell cannons are better artillery. They've got more ammunition. Uh, their ammunition is homing. It, it does more damage. But skull cannons can actually fight in melee, whereas um, the other ones they are not used for that at all. So they're both good in different ways. I just lost against Arco and a horse as Malice on foot. Well, did you make him a one-man doomstack? How much ward save did you have? Did you have 70% uh, ward save? Probably not. You can get Malice up to like 70% ward save. Because he's got... Unless they've changed him. This is the thing. I, I don't know if they've changed things since Warhammer 2. But he used to get 40% base ward save. And then you put on the Sword of Cain. And then he's got 70% ward save. And then you put on Talisman of Preservation, 86%. 86% ward save, unless there's something else. Oh, tell, uh, armor. Uh, helm of uh, Trickster's Helm. Yeah, then you're at max ward save. But yeah, if you've got the Warp Sword of Cain going up against Archeon, who I think has lots of physical resistance, and the Warp Sword of Cain I don't believe does uh, magic damage, then yeah, you're not going to stand a chance. Chaos Warriors. Demon Prince. Unbridled Chaos. Acceptable. I think they were just using the Legionary Barrage on that. Reserve the Look at that, mate. Warriors of Chaos and Chosen have not taken any casualties. Which is pretty good considering they have no physical Chosen resistance, which otherwise could have if it wasn't for a demon prince. So yeah, would have been good if we had enough movement last turn to occupy it. Could have saved us wasting a turn here doing this again. But we'll occupy this and we'll hold. We'll try to hold it. It's going to be tier two, which I can build walls. Uh, it will take some time to build though. But this is a very strong army, and we can lightning strike out of pretty much any problem that we might face.
Is the Demon Prince Lord any good? I don't like him. I, I actually would have preferred a Bloodthirster or a um, Mortal Lord. Does losing a random sentiment count as a loss? If it was a battle, then yes. If they took it without a fight, then no. So now we just have to see if we can hold. I forbid this. Jammed with power. Good, that'll make a big difference. All right, and then Eternal we need to get rid of this. Uh, don't bother repairing that. It's not going to matter. And this guy might be stuck here for just a little while. Just a little bit. I'm not concerned about Cetra, I am way more concerned about about them. Way more concerned about Cetra. Okay. Ah, uh, he's only ranked 16, we'll be fine. Alright, we actually expanded. First time in a while. Lord of Corn. Lord of Corn. Okay. Still got two more armies in this invasion to deal with, and then we can disband those forces. Don't upgrade the Golden Tower just yet. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Rather than send this guy to go do something that... Uh, yeah, that really isn't going to matter. We'll just have a lord go and sort it out. Like, a single entity. Dude, just go... Just go take it. 4% weapon strength? Wow, so good. <laughs> um... Alright, let's replace this. I'll be able to get there next turn. Yeah, just, uh, why, why waste time? This guy needs to get back up this way. We've got to keep fighting out here. Does hurt my income, but it'll hurt my income less in the long run, I guess. Alright. I don't think this guy is coming over this way. If we have a look, he can still go and stand essentially right there. But we need to be ready for it just in case. So I'm going to need more Chaos Warriors. And I'm going to need more of these. That way with 14 units versus 16 units. We might stand a chance. Um, most likely they're going to land here. I will locally recruit these two. We are going to be financially fucked if I spend any more money this turn. Did you know that you can't take control of an alliance armies if they have DLC you don't own? That's bullshit. Yeah, I get you with that. What are you gonna do? Alright, and then over here. I said I was gonna give this guy a call of battle. Because he needs the friggin' movement this turn. So now, alright, if I go attack that, I'll be able to get back over here after the battle. Probably, should, again, should have given him some better items, but this this should be pretty easy. Gotta fight it manually. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, we've got the summons this time. But yeah, just it just needs time to get some experience. So these ones here have got some experience. There's no time to put um, more equipment on him. I might have been able to auto-resolve it if I did. But that's okay. Oh, do you know what the great thing is here? When we lightning strike this, we'll get the experience as if we defeated all of these armies. So we'll get tons of experience. And this guy can become a fucking... Thing. You know one of those things? A bloodthirster. That's it. Can you expand on why you don't like him? I've already answered that. Like who? Sorry, 
whatever that conversation was, you have to you have to be. You gotta keep in mind that there's always like twenty different conversations going on, and if there was a question and I answered it, and then I answer a different question, I've already forgotten about that first first one because we've moved on to other things. I don't even know who you're talking about now. There's loads of people I don't like. I can't remember who who it is you're talking about. Was it the Demon Prince? Or this, uh, demon, uh, what's it called? Corn Demon Princes? I, I can't remember. Alright, so they'll probably just sit there. And that's fine. First thing we should do, we don't need to waste the ammo of the Doom Diver Catapults. We can actually kill them. Yeah, so whenever you ask a question, just assume that I don't fucking know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> and that way I can give you an answer. Um, accurately. Good. Good. Come on, wipe it out. Alright, it should be destroyed. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, these should be in front of the blood letters because they have charge resistance. Blood letters do not. Alright, how about you come up a little bit just so I can get a little bit closer. I just can't see what's going on over here. Goblins. Yeah, we should take out their missile units. That's always what gives us the biggest problem. But yeah, these summons... Oh, i got to move out of the way. These summons make this sort of situation a hell of a lot more palatable. How do you zoom in like that? You hold down Alt and then tap F4. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, N. That's the letter N. It's been in the game since Empire Total War. Yeah, N. Did you know that if you hold down Alt and press K, you go into cinematic mode? Wait, I wasn't pressing Alt. Guess I could fight some regular goblins. Nah, we really should be focusing on their missile units. They're the ones that always give us the biggest problem since I can't bloody catch them very well. Oh look, it's their special ranged weapon. On the Night Goblin Archers. Twirly Whirly? They have Twirly Whirlies, yes. They have them. Okay, I got an idea. Got an idea. I'm gonna put two units on this flank, three units on this flank. Because they've got a lot of fast units, they, they just keep wrecking my, my dudes here. I'll put these guys here in the middle. And rather than waiting for them to come to us, I'm going to attack them head on. After we've uh, you know, softened them up a little bit more. So their archers, I think, are right here. Go oh, lovely twirly whirlies. <laughs> lovely twirly whirlies. Keep that up. Very nice. Oh, what a waste for them. God, that was a good summon. That did a lot for us. Alright, line up. It's now possible to assassinate heroes at sea. Oh, how about that? That's good. Different, I guess. All right, here we go. 
stay in formation. Brothers in bloodletting! Cultist of the Blood God! Born to wreck free! Maneuvering! How's Grimgar's Empire doing? I'll show you how many territories he has at the end of this battle. So yeah, the blood while in locked formation group, the blood letters will move at the speed at the speed of the slowest person, which is the Warriors of Chaos. Even with spell resistance, it's still basically just to kill them. I march. Gold of Korn. To Valkyrie. Yes, Lord. Need to wound this dude. Takers of skulls. With a tear. Cut. Clean. Destroy. In we go. Good, get the twirly whirlies out of your system now. Good st oh, fucking yes! <laughs> Doesn't affect single entities very much. Alright, your job. Kill that fucking dude there. In we go. Uh, should we wait for Sword of Corn? Probably not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Jeez, that guy took damage quick. Holy crap. Need to get some levels on you. Shit, get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Oh no. This guy was so close to immortality. Oh no. I got him killed. If I don't with, if I don't get out right now, okay, he rallied. Just go that direction. Oh my god, fucking hell! I would not have liked that at all. I gotta be more careful with my lords and heroes. Holy shit! Whew, that was lucky. Fucking hell! You need to regenerate. Go and kill some zombies. Uh, not zombies. Got the goblins. Jeez, these guys here can be squishy sometimes. I go forth. Power of the wolf. Right, battle should be just about over. Stay away from those trolls, but I need you to regenerate some health. Close call. Holy, yeah, that was doesn't get much closer than that. There we go. There's the animals. Go, go, run some down. All right, armies in. Yeah, we're a bit damaged. We're a bit damaged. We're, we'll be okay though. We'll be okay. Name. Thing is, he's going to get tons of experience in this fight. As long as it's not a Pyrrhic victory, if it's a close victory or a decisive victory, which I think it'll be close. Shoot what we can here. It's a bit of a mess. The skull trail. Move. Yes. No, that's not gonna. That's not gonna get him. Very well. All right, this is getting a little bit of his health back. Oof. I gotta be more careful with these guys sometimes. I keep thinking they're like super strong. But due to their animations, they push in too hard. Nice. Okay, he'll still get loads of experience. I'm guessing probably about 15,000 because of it being a lightning strike and having so many enemy units nearby. Alright, so. So, so, so. Yeah, we need to get back. If I push in too hard then we won't be able to handle the rest of them.
We also got some tiers of experience on the Exalted Blood Letters, so that's good. Check question. I am Bellacor. If I war with Nakari and give every settlement I take to the Elves, am I likely to make friends with them and maintain peace? Uh, temporarily you will, but eventually they'll hate you. I was... I think 15,000 might actually be the cap on experience. I've never seen it get higher than that. Level 19, okay. Yeah, well, money would be good. I think we need to get the replenishment up. Or do we want to push in again? All tales are mine. Five levels up. Holy piss burgers. Um, that might help to get back. Alright, okay, so he's gonna lose. If he becomes a bloodthirster, he's going to go down to. rank 12. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Or I could push a little bit further. Right, if I'm going to push a little bit further, then we need to put a potion of healing on these guys. I think I will. I want to push it a little bit. I like to push it. Because, yeah, our army's not really damaged. Skarsnik's army's kind of on the shit side. Lightning strike it again. Might even be able to auto resolve it. It's only a tiny little bit of movement. Hang up before I do that. This guy here gained a lot of levels up. Gate of corn for you. Good. You had 21,000 experience with Gorst? Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I have to fight it manually again. No artillery to worry about this time. Definitely would be better if we could auto resolve it, because it would wipe out his war army as well. For some reason, it always names the first unit in their army. I don't know why. So, special ranged weapon. Uh, yeah, there's a f got a few, um, few of that in there. Right on the money with the XP prediction. Hmm. So if you lightning strike, why armies don't come? Yeah, same thing as if you ambush them or intercept them in underway. Piss burgers. What does that mean? <laughs> I just make up words sometimes. But you know, you, you get a burger, and you, put, you put, take a piss in it. I don't know. Why does there have to be a cap on everything in this game? Yeah, you know, if CA keeps putting caps on these games, I feel like they should have a profit cap. They're only allowed to make $20 million out of a game, and then after that, they have to be capped. Imagine if he did that, you know? This, these game companies being like, Ah, oh, this is too overpowered. They're, they're, having, they're getting their stats up too much. Well, why don't we cap your profit? Hey, cap it at $20 million per game. No, no, you can't cap my profit. I want to make more than $20 million per game launch. Nope, you get a you get a profit cap of twenty million. After that, you're not allowed to make any more money out of the game. You know. But what about the games companies that don't want to make twenty million dollars per game?
It's a legit sandwich. <laughs> Didn't Creative Assembly ever think about all the developers that don't want to make 20 million per game? Why is it, why is it that they have to make so much money, you know? Needs to be a cap! Need to nerf corporate profits. <laughs> I am of course joking to make a point by the way. I don't think there should be a cap on this stuff. But it's just, it's just, it'd be, you know. Creative Assembly's like, I don't know. There's a cap on how much money you can make. There's a cap on how much strong your armies can be. There's a cap on how many armies you can have. Well, there's a cap on how much profit they're allowed to make, you know? But, you know, it's, it's just... I'm just being silly. Yeah, Legend of Total Style in here. <laughs> I'm, again, I'm just joking. It would be pretty cool if you weren't joking, comrade. Uh, I was joking. Yeah, I was joking, by the way. Oh. You gotta love it when they just twirly whirly themselves. Down here again, because that's where they chuck down the twirly whirly. He's getting to do it again. Would be nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely twirls. Gotta love it when they just wreck their own armies. This is why it's been so good to fight them when we've got summoned from beyond. When we don't have it, it's simply difficult because this gives us such a big advantage when they kill their own army. Are high elves any good in Warhammer 3? They're good, but they're not as good as they were in Warhammer 2. They got a big, big nerfs. Big nerfs. No, no, ser no buffs at all, really. Just, just nerfs all around. Which, fair enough, they were pretty much the strongest race in the game, and now they're not. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Nah, -uh, okay. There we go. We're done with that. Alright, how about this time we don't send our heroes in first? Alright, these guys here spread Rooney out. Actually, you know what? I gotta. No, that's fine. Yeah, they're spread out um, alternating. That's fine. And you three. Oh, hang on. Just act as support. In we go. Probably get twirly whirly a little bit. And destruction snake. Who are the strongest now? Grimgore. It's always Grimgore. Blood, wolf, and axe. This was not meant to be. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Oh no, we hurt them more than they hurt us. For destruction. <laughs> Test of the Blood God for destruction. Take it all, including their lives. God's greatest warriors. Take all of 
skulls. I serve the Axe Father. A sacrifice! Cultist of the Blood God! Moving! So this time I'm being careful not to throw our dude in. <coughs> Too well. Good. These two here are in a little bit of danger. For orders of call! Blood for the Blood God! Cultist of the Blood God! Good, they're not really hitting us very hard with that. Okay, pull these two out. They're taking way too much damage. Okay, a little bit longer than we get a summon there. For orders of call. We serve the slaughterer. Bring me sacrifices. Uh, I can't hit this down anywhere without hitting my own troops. I'm not willing to do that. Alright, you two, try to kill him. Bit of damage, but ultimately we're okay. We should get a ton of experience for that as well. Yeah, wound scar snake, we don't want him getting levels up. Good. Dead. Dead. And this guy's at full health now. Cool. Decisive victory this time. Nice. I think the next DLC should be DLC should be FLC for Warriors of Chaos. Adding Krom, he was Archeon's herald and defeated Grimgore. Add him just to dab on Grimgore's mains. Uh... I would be totally fine with Krom the Conqueror showing up, but I kind of feel like Krom the Conqueror could actually be a Norsegun Legendary Lord. The Warriors of Chaos now have eight Legendary Lords. That's more than anyone else. Norska has two. And also, Krom could be like a hybrid Warriors of Chaos Norska faction, which it's kind of what Creative Assembly wants to do with this game, is sort of make these hybrids. Alright, um, take the replacement. Oh, how much experience did I get? 10,000. Oh, I pushed in pretty hard. Shit. Oh no, it's just that this area here has a lot of loot point requirements, so if I just run back to here... Right? Yeah, if they attack me, I'll withdraw to there, they won't be able to pursue me. It'll be fine. Alright, you got another three levels up, that's good. You steal! You power! Yeah. Okay, that's that should be fine. Alright, I think that's me done for the turn. Yep. Why the fuck did I get this army for? <laughs> Salted hero of corn. Yeah, I see them coming. The blood soaked path. Alright, I I really need to scout on Ark and the Black out this way. Hunting victims. Blood Reaper. 
Mm, keep you there for the turn, actually. Okay. Alright, I don't think we should do much construction. Maybe just build one thing. Just one. Should, uh, fuck. Yeah, I should be okay. I should be okay. Uh, it's expensive, but... No, you know what? We've got other build slots here that can be cheap and provide kind of a better return on investment. Yeah. All of that costs about the same. A little bit less. No, no, that's fine. And that'll increase our income. So sooner. Although I definitely do want to do that. That's only an extra 50 gold. This will provide a bit more than that. Alright. Alright, what about that? Yeah, well, that's cheap. So, we've had to abandon the Port of Secrets. Because... Stop that! Grimgore's coming in. We'll probably land about there, and Scarbrad needs to rush over to here before they get to the Tower of Flies. Uh, you know what? We should cancel that. I don't know if I'm going to hold it. That way he doesn't get a battle out of us. At the Forest of Decay, that is all the way over here. Don't worry about that, that's fine. And Crystal Spires... Restless. Volcano Heart over here. I, sh I should be able to intercept them before then. Yes. Bow before he who wields the Slayer of Kings. Alright, let's have a look in diplomacy and see what we can do. I master. No. Yes. The threat. Ooh, what's that? Doctor yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Wondrous contagions are precursors and a core. Has CA asked you to voice Dan Core yet? No, and they're not going to. Core. Yes. It could so. Can you get disciplined skin priests? Yep. Well, you should be able to. Alright, then we check this. We've got a mission here. Oh yeah, look. Grimgore's Ard boys, they're on the way. They are on the way. Alright, so if all goes well, next turn we wipe out the last of Oxyodal's armies. And that'll give us a little bit of time until the next invasion. Because, you know, that was, a, that was a big invasion. Is he still at war with other people down here? Let me have a look. As far as I can tell here, he's completely cleared out all of the demons. Yeah, it seems like he did. Yep. Every one of the demon factions. Uh, this would be good for Scarbrand to come down here and, like, just smash the shit out of Oxyodal. <laughs> but, yeah, I can't dedicate an army down here until I've secured the Southlands a bit more. And if we have a look at Marathi, she should be pretty happy with this, right? Marathi will hear your insignia. That gifts will go down by one point every turn. So that'll last a good long while. As soon as I get some more money, I might offer another gift because she's spending the money. And that way we're financing her war against the uh, the high elves. Okay, to keep her happy. I can't afford another army. Alright, I think we're done with the turn. Let's just do one last check to make sure everyone's in an okay position. Scarbrand. Yep. 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 You're fine. Demon Prince. You're fine. Exalted Bloodfest. Yeah, you're fine. You'll be fine. Alright, done here. Let's do this. I, well, do you know what I could do? I could put this guy in here, but it, it'd have to not be it'd have to not be developed. Sorry, this one here it'd have to not be developed for 
three turns. Three turns after this. Don't, don't think it's worth it. This one here is a risky one to do. Do you know what I could do as well? I could do that to Marathi, send a Lord here, and just blow up Bleakhold Fortress. But again, I don't want to piss her off. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we do need to build defenses here. It's not that expensive. Okay. What is it you see? The chill I am most intrigued. Alright, let's move on. One of the early techs reduces upkeep costs for mortal units. Yep, you're right. Maybe that would be a good idea to get, actually, if I didn't already get that. An offering of skulls is required. No. Stop asking. What is the continent in the far south, Oxyodal? It's just known as the Southern Chaos Waste, but it's basically um, fantasy Australia. No! No, stop it! They're trying to discover other factions that'll declare war on us straight away. Are you ill, Miss Legend? I'm only sick of you! Nah, I'm fine. I fucking knew it. I knew that they would go up that way. That's why we recruited. I fucking knew it. Oh, you done fucked up, boy. You're out of here. That's why I didn't disband that army. Because they don't look for um, easy pickings. Sorry, they only look for easy pickings. Yeah, it's Fantasy Australia, not to be confused with Space Australia. More specifically, Space Brisbane. you doing? Regarding hidden and borrowed army supply lines, you'll see them only after you recruit disband lord. Ah, right, okay. Isn't Space Australia just Earth? No, no, it's, it's specifically not. If you don't get it, you don't get the reference. have a problem with that. That's actually better than what I thought it would be, but I just blew up the port of secrets. <laughs> It'll come back. It's a precaution. Thing is, you've got to do it one turn before they arrive. If you do it on the turn that they arrive, it won't get blown up. Seems like all of your campaigns turn to no defeat campaigns now. Well, not all of them, uh, but some of them do, yeah. See how much she moved. Retreat. I don't think they can catch us. Thanks for putting me back in my own territory.
Uh, I might be able to borrow one of his armies soon. Because we've got a fair few points with Arco on. Does the Brass Cleaver plus 8 melee for heroes stack if multiple hero have it? No. Nope, 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 nope. Will you ever do a Kodak playthrough? No, never. No, maybe. We'll see. I didn't see what that's Rigo did. Any law nerds here? Kind of confused about Scarbrand. Is he the same guy as Scarbrand from the 40k or are they unrelated? No, they're actually the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Uh, well, okay, it's, it's the same character, but they're different universes and they're not necessarily the same one, if that makes sense. Like, Corn exists in 40k and in fantasy, but they're not necessarily the same. Yeah. Exalted Bloodthirster. Come on, be disciplined. I'm rank 12. Wasn't I rank 22? Yeah, whatever. You got a shit trait. Lame! Yeah, he lost 10 levels that time. Hmm. Forget about that. Uh, money's a little bit. Uh, they did build that up. Um, okay. I, I thought I'd be able to get there before they they did that, but they he's going to sort it out. Because yeah, now they're going to recruit a lord and try to run away. We're just about to finish them off. Okay, now, we can't leave Kemri undefended until it's been walled up in four turns. But we can still plunder shit around the area. Like, I can go and sack the crap. We can see that somebody's there. Um, oh, good, they ran back. Okay, that's that's good, I guess. Eddie, Lord of Honor. Right, the Blood Lord. Exalted Bloodthirster. Oh yeah, we still have the Blood Reaper for this army. That'd be super useful. No good traits yet. Exalted hero. Oh yeah, don't you love it? Look, look at this. Um, flaming attack. Did you see this? Enables flaming attack. <laughs> wow, CA, thanks! They all have flaming attacks by default. Trait in it. Protection, what about fire resistance? Yeah, Mima. Cultist of the blood. Criminally undervaluing. All hail, Hornet Rat. Alright, if he comes over here and assists, we're dedicating to finishing them off. 
which yes, I think we should. If I don't like it, I'll just give it back. Uh, maybe do that later. Get the tech that reduces upkeep cost mortals. Nah, nah, I just want to keep moving. It's only 5%, we'll be fine. Got other shit to do. Oh, oh damn it. Well, at least if we stand right here, we limit where you can go. Whatever. Crimson FC did a ten dollar super chat. Hey Legend, I wanted to know if you consider the Empire to be one of the hardest campaigns these days because of Festus and all the new Chaos factions who bring havoc to car friends. It does seem like that is the case. Yes, um, I haven't personally played it, but I took a look at it and I was like, yeah, that does look like it would be a pain in the ass. Thanks for the super chat. Cultist of the Blood God. Troop on. Alright, so we're about to wipe out Volkmar. Alright, what we could do is come down over here, sack it, and probably make it back, because I I just have no idea what Arkin's doing. Going with fury. How likely will he stand and fight? Probably not. I forbid this. Yeah, he probably won't stand and fight, but let's just see. Murder them. Hmm. I forbid this. Hmm. Glory to God. We attack this, and we'll just we'll just wait where their reinforcements are going to be. And when they show up, I'll just kill them. And that'll probably cause the army losses, because that's not much in there. Um, because, yeah, look at this. These are... Uh, well, they need to charge, right? So they're not going to get a chance to charge. Um, yeah. PC specs? Um, I don't know. GTX 1080 Ti. Um, everything else is kind of outdated and old. Have you seen Human Boy Yes Yes late last video about getting Rogue Idol turn one with Wurzag? It's pretty scary. I have heard about that. I have heard about it. I haven't seen that video specifically. Hey yo, will you play some Shogun Total War 1? And what was your opinion? Why Q played it? Um, Shogun 1 is okay. You know, for the first Total War game. I, I played Shogun 1 for the first time well after I played other Total War games, so... I don't have any nostalgia for it, and I feel like Shogun 2 made Shogun 1 completely outdated. Like, completely. Um, I'm definitely never going to cover it again, because it is really unstable. Really, really unstable. I serve the Axe Father! Legend, this is cheese! <laughs> okay. We can see where they're going to come from, exactly, because they're going to come from this green square. But just in case, just spread out a little bit. Oh, you actually can't go out that way. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's fine. Stay there. Uh, you might as well land. Yeah, I'm going to turn them off fire will to begin with, because otherwise we might get a lot of friendly fire.
Imagine if they made it so the AI would actually move their um, reinforcement spots. That'd be pretty funny. Man, that's a lot of red. Kind of looks like an angry. But it just looks a little bit like a face. I don't know. It's not. But... This was not meant to be. That's what happens when there's lots of corn corruption. No. Which looks fine. It's not as bad as the green one but for Skaven. It's like the whole thing is covered in sickly green. It looks gross. <laughs> They're like, oh shit. You better believe, oh shit. Oh, I just realized. They're gonna pop down these sharps here on top of these guys. Get them running. Go for a run. If we're lucky, we might be able to get them to pop the sharp here down on a summon unit. Uh, maybe you guys should actually go and run off. Otherwise, I'll pop it down on top of you. Just run off. <laughs> Fuck off, Necrotech. <laughs> ah, they popped the down over here. Alright, you can come back then. Down somewhere. Can't, I can't use this damn... Too close to the edge. Oh, let me put it. Oh, I don't need it. Exalted hero of corn. Oh, he's taking some damage. I'm going to do on something to stop moving. Which it hasn't. Well, this guy here is getting real hard to land though. Very left side of damage, but we're pretty much okay here. Is that it? Yeah, there's the army losses. I didn't need to put down the sort of corn ability. How much blood from that fight? Well, they're skeletons. What are you going to do? We're drenched in our own blood, I guess. Watching you play 3, I'm under impression it's here programmed AI specifically to counter your main tactics cheese, e.g. wasting ammo with Lord. Maybe, but at the same time, um... Do you think they really countered me? Or maybe I'm now playing exactly as they wanted me to. Look, balanced army. Look, I don't have a spam of units. I got four halberds, I got four chosen, I got two archers, utilizing the system that they developed. And I got six units of Marauder Horsemen, you know? Is that not what you wanted? And I'm sure people would still be like, Oh, Legend Raider Doomstack, look at, look at that army. It's not tournament friendly. Even though this army would probably be tournament friendly. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know.
Gotta get back to the city. Demon Prince! Ah, piss burger. Come on. Good. Slaughter strikers! Yeah, we can basically go and sack that every turn. I'll make it brutal. Pretty much. Okay, cool. Alright, so, okay, let's sort this out here before we go lose control of what we're doing. Okay, so, I reckon if I just put on some equipment... Oh, I've already got the equipment on. Um, look, I'll still have enough movement to get back if it's not enough. Let's just go check. See if it's an auto-resolve, otherwise... Alright, cool. Losing a bunch of units shouldn't matter. Just hang on, let me just put this down. Yeah, it shouldn't matter because we're going to disband them anyway. Blood for the blood god. Yeah, there we go. Take this sacrifice. Asking legend a silly question. Sorry, asking question. Asking legend a question where you're already given the answer is not a great way to do it. Yeah, I hate those. I hate those are really bad questions when you assume the answer in the question. That's actually really, really fucking dishonest by asking question. I'm gonna see what that is. Um. Um, well, I didn't see it as too bad. Do you ever feel like the devs took the same route with Throg and Kolak, and do you ever have a feeling that the route they picked sucked ass? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't really think about it in that way. I, don't, I just don't have an answer for it. Alright, now that that's done, you may, you may go. Thank you for your service. We'll call you in again in future, I'm sure. They died well. And this over here. Oh, oh, we're finally going to sort out this freaking problem. If you give me those settlements back. Alright, look. Why don't we tell Kairos? I think I gave him the target, didn't I? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I don't have a target. I want you to occupy the Lost Palace. Go and, go and conquer this shit down here, and so that I'm just done with Oxyodal. Alright? Don't make me have to borrow one of your armies. Which I could. If you if you had a good enough army, I would borrow it. I've got 90... Thing with him. We had 100, I guess. Alright, so this over here is done and dusted. We got this one. There's no way you're getting out of this alive. Yeah, you're not getting out of this. How would you rate Phoenix Guard versus Chosen of Corn Halberds? Chosen of Corn Halberds? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, dude, that unit doesn't exist currently. Tor Korn only has Chaos Warriors with Halberds. They're, they're uh, Chaos Warriors, sorry, their Chosens are specifically um, the regular variant and then dual weapons. That's it. That's all I've got. Blood for the blood guard. For oh, I feel so good. That invasion was thwarted. Blood for the blood god. Okay. And next time they come back here, we can recruit armies a bit faster because I'm putting in the infrastructure for it. Exalted of course. Alright, 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 alright. 
So yeah, when this is built, we'll have extra local recruit capacity. I'll try to get more global recruits going. I'll try to get this walled up. Yeah, we'll be in better shape next time they invade. Because we wiped out all of their armies. It's going to take them some time. And we'll see them coming. You know, to some degree. Ooh. All right. That was a look, look at how much that was costing me. That invasion fucking sucked, but we got through it. Chaos incarnate. Lord of Corn. All right. Cultist of the Blood God. I want this guy to come down here and fight this shit biscuits. I'm not at all worried about them catching up to me. Exalted with glory. So yeah, we'll go, uh, we've got a cult here, I, I mean, I could use it to bring, nah, he's busy. Got another one here. Um, just, I'll just blow this up, no point occupying it. Okay, and, oh yeah, don't forget about this. Hopefully we can auto-resolve this, but, uh, we'll see. Because it would be good, as an ally, for me to level up their lord, oh, okay. Alright, well, can I even win this? Hmm. I want this guy here to get experience for the Skaven, but at the same time, I don't want to risk losing the battle for it. So, I think it seems... It's not worth the risk, so I'll just order resolve it. And maybe we'll get him in the next fight. I don't think we should force march him, just stay back. Unfortunately, he missed out on that experience. Maybe next time. If this army here attacks Karakazgal, I could just not show up. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to take this guy out. We should... We're not going to be able to resolve that. Let's have a look. Probably... We got, we got more marauders than blood letters. Did you know that Warhammer and 40k share the same universe? Do they? <laughs> they share a lot of similarities, but I'm not sure if they're in the same universe. An argument can be made for it, for sure. Jared Boone did a $5 super chat. Hey, Legend, appreciate all the hard work you've been putting in lately. Also, did you know... Do you know if I can vassalize Azazel as Wolfric? Thanks. Um, I think you can, but you don't bother doing it. Um, I wouldn't bother. I think it's possible, but it's not worth it. Just kill him. Thanks for chat. Appreciate it. Hmm. Get the same results either way. And I don't want to lose those units. See, originally I did just want Exalted Blood Letters in the army. I guy here, fucking hell. Yeah, he's still got that fucking shrieking blade. Bloodthirster should be able to knock him out of this guy pretty easily. Looks like we're gonna have to fight it. Um, you know what? I actually think we would be better off not lightning striking it, because for one thing, their reinforcements are just pure trash. Like, just absolutely nothing. And I don't want my units tired. So... I need them to be in tip-top shape. Let's do this. I'm not gonna lightning strike it. Do you think the Realms of Chaos will be implemented down the road into IE? Maybe for Chaos Endgame Crisis implementation? Uh, I don't know. That's really hard to say because... I'm definitely down for the actual realms of chaos to be in the map but here's the thing if you put the realms of chaos in the campaign 
then why would you ever play the narrative campaign that they set out? It's kind of like how the Vortex missions aren't in Mortal Empires, although the Vortex itself is in it. Um, you know, they need to give some... They need to give people a reason to play that particular campaign, even though it is a pile of garbage. Um, I don't think that they're... Look, I think the only way that they'll do that is if people just outright boycott the Realms of Chaos campaign from now on. They just don't, don't do it at all, right? If you do that, then they might be like, okay, well, the Realms of Chaos campaign is a complete and utter flop. Nobody's playing it. We screwed up. Let's just import the Realms of Chaos into the Mortal Empires, and people can jump in there without having to worry about the stupid missions that we set up. Maybe. Um, hard to say if that is what they're going to do. I mean, obviously, the Realm of Chaos campaign is probably one of the biggest failures Creative Assembly has ever done. Uh, people don't have a problem, I think, with the actual uh, Chaos Realms. It's the fucking narrative that's the problem. It's awful. That's why the game went from like 5,000 concurrence to 100,000 concurrence with Immortal Empires. As if anybody's ever going to play Realm of Chaos again. And people are going to play it are people who don't own Warhammer 1 and 2, which, you know, I've been seeing a lot of um, people complaining, and fair enough to them, that, you know, it sucks that they have to buy three games in order to play the, the game that they wanted to play in the first place. I get that. That's, that's irritating. Cruxigor Dundee did a two-year assumption chat. Why are War Bears good, but Demogriff's trash? Uh, okay, that's actually a good question because they do essentially solve the same role, have the same role. So, I'm pretty sure war bears are faster, and I'm fairly sure they hit harder. I'm fairly sure they're also, I believe, quicker to recruit, and they're more thematic for. Um, okay, so here's another thing. You take Boris, Boris Ursus, he boosts um, war bears by a ridiculous degree. There is no lord in the Empire that boosts Demigriff Knights. So if you take the base stats, then I'm sure it looks basically the same, but for a campaign perspective, Demigriff Knights, look, Demigriff Knights aren't trash, by the way. Uh, they're just not as good as war bear riders, you know, for that faction, if that makes sense. Yep, they popped down a totally whirly there. Good, Rector units. Not getting rid of these goblin rock lobbers very quickly. I need you to focus on them. We got two summons left. I just want to use a special magic spell from the Realm of Chaos. I think there are some items that you can get with that stuff. Uh, specifically with the Warriors of Chaos. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. But... I don't know. They want to give you a reason to actually play that campaign. Um, unfortunately, the, the benefits that you... Well, the, the enjoyable things about the Realm of Chaos are completely offset by the absolute shit burger that is that campaign. But, you know, they might fix it. They might actually fix the campaign. I mean, I'm, that's probably unlikely, but... You never know. Maybe they'll make the Realm of Chaos campaign actually fun one day. They've listened to absolutely none of my advice. Absolutely none of it. Um, so, whatever. So I'm just, I'm just not going to play it again. You know?
What do you would you say your dwarf counters and why? What factions would you say are dwarf counters? Skaven. Skaven absolutely destroy dwarfs. The dwarfs are it's almost a joke how strong the Skaven are against dwarfs. Dwarfs have such a hard time against Skaven, it's almost ridiculous. Alright, there goes the artillery. I probably would have been better off wasting its ammo, but that's fine. Um, we definitely can't blob. They've always got bloody Nazi uh, fanatics in their army. But now, at least we're not tired. So that's good. Alright, they have a pretty large army, so I'd like to not get flanked. But like I said, we're not going to blob up. And you come over here, time to harass. Uh, actually, no, no. Yeah, I got no problem with him fighting Masha as long as he's not getting shot at the same time. Because if we have a look... Yeah, this this dude here should be able to beat the fuck out of him. Sam Holloway did a 5 dollars super chat. Hi, Legend. Been a long-time watcher. Even learned to play Warhammer thanks to you. Thanks for the content. No, it's dude. My pleasure. Um, glad to have you here. Thanks, super chat. Because Dwarves are slow as fuck. Dwarves are slow as fuck, they have artillery in their army, so getting ambushed sucks. Dw dwellers below, not dwellers below, menace below, just wrecks dwarf formations, totally uh, ruins your, you know, ability to just form a square or whatever, to protect your artillery. Uh, the, like I said, stupidly slow. They just can't catch the Skaven. And Skaven are just outrange them, out firepower them, out magic them. Everything the Skaven's got is basically good against dwarves. The only time the dwarves win is when the Skaven are commanded by a moron, or they're just straight out have got a better army. Like, if you've got tier 4 stuff going up against Skaven slaves, then you know, you can't be like, Oh look, dwarves beat Skaven, it beat a tier 1 army using a tier 5 army. Um, that's not a really fair comparison. Pretty much any combination of Dwarf Army can be eradicated with a Skaven Weapons Team, with one exception, Slayer Spam. That's hard. Slayer Spam is the only one that can actually handle a um, Weapons Team. Only time I've ever struggled against Dwarfs is when they use this Slayer Spam. Alright, here they go. A brutal path! Set by the Slaughterer! The Wolf Father's verdict! Marauders on the move! March and scourge! Seeking torment! Axe Father's Marauders! Sent by chaos! Searching for battle! Oh shit, baby. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I just run. ruined the formation. Trying it's okay, it's to quick to drop. Yeah, I really like these mortars. They're they're good at what they do. Lead us to mortals. A uh, slice spam also problematic with plague summers due to loose formation. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's not to say that a weapons team can't beat a Slayer Spam, but it's just a bit of a struggle. I really hope we steal away his magic sword Follow in this battle. That would be really good. Searching for battle! Court's greatest warriors! Domination or death! Kill him! Seeking 
Get him. Wound him. Got him. Claim it for corn. For corn. March and scourge. Slaughter sent by the slaughterer. Sent by corn. Axe Father's Marauders! In destruction's name! Uh, no, 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 stay away from missiles. He's got a lot of armor, but still, just stay away from missiles. Wolf Father's Warriors! Axe Father's Marauders! Yes! Sent by the Slaughterer! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the shade! Exalted! Bloodbuster! What's his missile? Oh, he doesn't have any missile resistance, just a bit of um, physical and warfare. So 30% against that. God's greatest warriors! No fear! No regret! Follow the blood! Spreading slaughter! Boiling! Takers of skulls, marauders of corn, drag us to the thrones. I am Connor. Ask fathers, marauders, corn's greatest warriors. Okay, this should easily be able to handle the snorting pump wagon here. But we're starting to run low on ammo, and since there's an anti infantry weapon, let's just charge into it. I go forward! Two giants. No thanks. Stay away from that. No, oh, come on. Stay back over here. Stay in formation. Visit destruction. Power of the wolf. Blood, wolf, and Where are we going? Everything seems okay. This guy's got a potion healing. Yep, he's that now. Sacrifice. Cultist of the blood god. Uh, it weren't too blobbed up, so not too bad. We got our summons coming soon. I go for Marauders of Corn. Okay, if we get a few more kills, Blade of Corn in there. We'll smash him. Alright, summon time, pop that over there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. See you later, fuckers! Oh shit. Look at it quickly. Brothers in bloodletting! Ritual of blood! Wolf Father's Warriors! I think that was a pretty fun battle. I like that. Just had to get rid of the artillery, that's it. Uh, the giants are getting away. Alright, oh, that's what happens when you stay near the corner, I guess. Damage wasn't really all that severe. 
Any chance you can get rid of those stone trolls? I don't exactly want to fight that again. Lazy health bars are really good call for C8 implement. Uh, it's I don't think it's a big deal, but it's it's okay. I don't mind it, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's just, okay. Sure, if this guy's gonna be able to get them in time. Even if he just kills a couple of them, that'd be good, but I just don't think it's gonna. No. Fernando did a five euro super chat. Just a suggestion if you make available the saving disaster battle saves, we can practice it to next that you showcase. Yep. Okay. Thanks for the super chat. Um, here's the problem when I make available a saving disaster battle, uh, people will send me fuckloads of screenshots about their battle, which clogs up my inbox. Unfortunately, it's just not in my best interest to to post the save files. If the person who sends the save file would like to make it public, then they can totally do that. But I'm not going to make other people's save files do the, uh, public. So, I think what you need to do, if you want to be doing disaster battles or stuff like that, maybe um, if... Isn't there something like that in the Discord, in the Legend of Eternal War Discord? People can post their disaster battles, because I I can't I can't get through most of the ones that uh, that get sent in, you know. If there was a if in the Discord people posted their saving disaster battles so that people could do it, that would be ideal. That way I don't have to get involved. But yeah, me post I don't have time for that basically. Thanks for the chat though. All right, we still need to get replenishment. I still don't have a single, um, uh, what's it called? Armor of Destiny, not one. It's a good item, but, mm, hang on. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Should have upgraded that. Talisman with a luck stone. Yeah, luck stones aren't that good. Shit, I just got two of them. Well, since I got five talismans of endurance, let's fuse them and hopefully get something better. Here comes the chromatic tone. Ready? Weird plate. That's pretty good. That's a decent amount of ward save. That's going on Scarbrand. Where is he? That is going on Scarbrand. Because currently I think he's wearing... Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Because... That'll protect him against magical weapons. Quite a bit. That's pretty good. Yeah. The yeah, kind of, it's decent. It's pretty good. All right, I really want to finish this guy off here. Oh god, look what's coming! Here comes the real green tide, boys. It's on its way. Let the bell scream, scream. Why did I even get this on me? Wait. 
camp here, here. Corn's honor guard. The Blood Lord's demand. Just trying to decide whether or not I should finish this off, because you know it does have a giant in it. The problem is it'll use up all my movements, and then I just have to make sure this guy here doesn't attack us. It, it doesn't seem like he would. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he would. Now can we auto this? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. good. Uh, Torin504 did a CLP 2500 super chat. Is it normal for the Dwarf Endgame Crisis 200% no warning to never stop spawning stacks or mine just got bugged? No, they'll keep they'll keep spawning stacks. Have you seen how many Skars Nakamis we've killed? Thanks for super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, at least I got rid of the giants and I'll take them. Insignificant. Item on worthy of food. Alright, we should be okay here. This one might attack us, but I'll be able to get away. Giving us time to replenish. Cool, 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 cool. And yep, you can have that. You've already got your gates of corn. Cool. You get you get your corn. Cool. Everyone gets some corn. Okay, nothing interesting there. Alright, what else are we doing this turn? It is... If they are spawning stacks, how are you supposed to beat it? Uh, you gotta, you just gotta beat them and push forward. Like, we pushed into here. Um, I just can't dedicate enough force to make a push. It's supposed to be difficult, though. You, know? you definitely can do it, you just gotta grind right through them. Alright, I believe with this guy I was just going to scout out here for a little bit. Give me skulls! Spread murder! This is the way! Demon Prince! So it feels good to be done with the uh, Oxyodal army. And it'll be a long time before they rebuild that. Because they were probably building that up for the entire campaign. And they just lost everything. Also, in case anyone was wondering, we have now fought 298 battles. We have fought 117 land battles, 46 siege battles, and 128 minor settlement battles. I've only had two heroic victories. Hmm. That's not, that's not that very impressive. Do you remember the uh, this is Total War's uh, Skaven campaign, the Icket Claw? I had, uh, uh, one in seven battles was a heroic victory. It's ridiculous. Alright, money's looking good. Okay, we've moved all of our armies, right? Yep. And let's do some diplomacy, and then we can do some construction. Build up some more money. Twist dominate the first. So, master Alright, like I said before, we should go and see the Cult of Pleasure. What? She likes us now. This is improving. 25,000. I can get it for free, I'm sure. Um, if I send her another gift... It's a, lot, it's a lot of money, but I think this is a step in the direction towards making a more permanent friendship with her. So that this border over here, we can just not worry about it too much. It's very expensive, but... 
if she doesn't Naturally. declare war on us, it'll be worth it. Alright, got a good amount of money now. Alright, so over here... Yeah, yeah, we need to get those global recruit slots up. That's so important. Helps us deal with emergencies. Uh, let's see... Okay, I'm going to go with this. Hang on. Are we spreading corruption over here? Is she spreading it over here? No. Okay, good. Um, if I go with this, it'll allow us to recruit armies here really quickly. But we're going to miss out on spreading corruption into adjacent provinces, which doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal. We'll also miss out on five public order. Speaking of which, I haven't really been looking at public order at all this campaign. None of our provinces are even close to revolting. We're good. I think we're okay to just leave that for now. Hang on. Where's Black Light Tail? Here. Okay. Uh, we don't really need that there anymore. Go with the money. Okay, and then... Yep. 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 Cool. I think that's fine. Alright, and then let's beg the beastman for money. Two turns until we can do that again. Yeah! Give it to me, Kazrak. Nice. I think you still have ruins to rebuild and place as far frontiers? Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, it's hard to keep track of all that stuff, but you are right. Um, let's have a look. Yep. Okay, so the Tower of Flies, I believe I cancelled that. Upgrade the Bilious Cliffs. Yep. Yeah, a lot of these places out here are pretty poorly developed. What did Torox end up doing? Alright, his army's right there. Doesn't seem to want to create another Herdstone. I don't think I've ever seen them create more than one herdstone. Alright, we're done here. Let's move on. I think we're... What's that? What if you don't want to lose? We'll be streaming till eternity. If I don't want to stream, I'll just throw a battle. And then that'll be the end of it. But I'm pretty happy with the turnout today. So, I think we could do another episode. So, that's, that's good. Uh, as I've said before, you guys vote with your attendance. If you guys are sicker of a campaign, the way that you get me to stop playing it is to not attend. If you guys want me to keep playing a campaign, all you gotta do is show up. The amount you super chat, the amount you say, I love this campaign, that means nothing to me. <laughs> you know? The only thing that matters is concurrent viewers and how long it maintains. You know? Because that that's, that's how I can tell whether or not people actually like it. Uh, Town seems to have stabilized. It does, yeah. And it's right at the edge of where I would have canned it, so it's like right on a knife's edge there. But I'm happy to keep going. Alright, let's move on. Is there anything you dislike about the campaign map? Like, graphically? It's fine. I think the map is great. I got no problems with the map. My, my biggest problems with Immortal Empires are the faction changes between Warhammer 2 and 3. For, for those factions. I got no problems. And then also, you know, the magic uh, rework. And the... the settlement rework. That siege rework. No, no, no. I'm going to discover them. Great. Expect high elves on our borders any moment now. 
Does it matter how long we watch the stream? Yeah, it does, because I track the concurrent viewers, but also I can see the average view duration. So, both of them matter. But, like I said before, you guys do what you want to do, and I'll just try to cater to that. What happens to the streams you stop streaming? Delete or play when you're not streaming? Uh, sometimes I continue a campaign after streaming. I, n I never delete them. I, look, I'll only delete a stream if, like, something happens that's really bad in a stream. Like, I, like, completely lose my temper or something like that. Oh, good thing I got lightning strike. Well, that army has its work cut out for it over the intern. They made the biggest mistake by not launching the attack. I fucking knew that, that Arkin was around there. That's why I had to stay at the settlement. Uh-oh. Fucking four armies. But I have to lightning strike. Does leaving stream in the background count? I don't know. TA made noise about wanting our feedback for beta tweaks. Any notion where we can provide it most effectively, even if we're not sure it'll make a difference? Uh, like comments in their videos, or... I'm not sure. Oh no, it says that we'll lose. But I have Scarbrand. Um, is there anything that I really need to be worried about here? There's a giant. Is there a place for me to hide? No. Yes. Sort of. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Have you fought Grimgore himself yet? No, nah, who knows where he is? He's got like a hundred armies. He might be in Cathay for all we know. You know, I really want to get that sweet, sweet defeat trait. 20 armor piercing damage. I feel like they should add a zero to that in front of the two. No, I'm just kidding. Interesting looking map. Yeah, if I can if I can manage to get to here, that's a really good choke point, but I'm not going to be able to, so I'm just going to make a run for... Man, what's with the fucking mouse? Uh, I'm going to make a run for up here. It's high ground up that way. They'll probably want to wait for their reinforcements, and that's fine. That gives Scarbrand a chance to go and smash. Hmm. If I had Vanguard to pull, I could put them all up there. Good thing I put that bloody weird plate on him. I have 80% physical resistance, and they have like next to no magic attack. Ninja Lantern did a 10 pound super chat. Hi Legend, thanks for all the great content. With the inevitable Chaos Wolf DLC, is there anything you think that they should add or buff to the regular Dawei as a faction? Probably needs things like, um, um, oh, I don't have the banner on him. Needs things like, uh, single entity engines like the uh, Thunder Barge. That would be really good for them. Thanks super chat, appreciate it. Alright, I'm not taking much damage. But I'm not sure what I should be doing here. These are anti-large, but they're physical damage. We should be okay. Don't forget to pop this down on them. Scarbrand's okay. Yeah, all that physical resistance is just... 
doing wonders for us here. This is actually our first battle against Grimgor faction. So, you know. So yeah, I'm relying on Grimgore here, Grimgore, Scarbrand to really thin them out a lot before we let the main fight begin. Don't use this because, oh, he shouldn't go Rampage unless he's damaged. I also can see that um, YouTube's having a bit of a fight at the moment. You might be seeing lower frames. I'm taking damage pretty slow though. Really if we got the Throtch trait. Okay, Arachnorok Spider shouldn't be a problem. It is anti-large though, so I need to make sure I actually duel it. Ooh, that did not do much damage. Now he's doing damage. Go ahead, take it out. Come on, stop getting stun locked. He's dueling an Arachnorok Spider while the rest of the army just watches. Make sure you kill it. Taking some damage, get out of there. Are these magical attacks? No. Just a lot of things shooting at him. I gotta try to get out of this. Oh, I really wish I had my ranges standard. Holy crap, it makes such a big difference. Trying to get their artillery to hit their own units here a little bit. Need more kills so I can pop one of these down in here. I'm gonna pop one of these down, but I can't do that while I'm engaged in melee. Slaughter and Carnage, they're only 22% intensity. I get that, numbers up. Yeah, see that's the problem, every time I touch something, can't use it. Good 
Good, that got his kills up. Nice. That weapon strength. That'll really help against the fight with the giant and stuff. Breath attack again, because I just need to get some kills. Quick, hurry, use it. Oh, uh, that didn't seem to do very much at that time. Sorry, Super Chats. Uh, Brian Buchella did a photo Super Chat as Village, a Vesselo Snitch, and he Thanos snapped rank 1 Grimgore. Lol, didn't know that was possible. Yep. Yep, that's possible for him to do that. But really, really rare. He has to be at like rank 40 to do that. But yep, it is possible. Thanks, Super Chat. Sorry, I missed it. It's done 142 damage to him. Three. That's why I didn't bother killing that one off. Alright, I'll fight the giant. And I'm not getting shot by missiles like crazy. I don't know why they're not advancing towards my army over here. They have no chance against Scarbrand. Look at my... I've done that much damage to this. I'm trying to save up for one of these. Look at that nice blob there. Don't let me get hit by the giant. Almost there. Just did another 40 odd points. Yeah, stay away from the giant. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Go on, move, move, move. Alright, so we're at 83% intensity. One more hit, and here we go. Where should we pop it down? I reckon about there. Right on all their arches. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Oh, 
Oh god. God, he hits hard. Actually knocked the giant on the ground. Still... Okay, he's at 100% intensity now, so it's not going to get any higher than this. Let's use this. Don't go Rampage. No, no, no. Don't go Rampage. want to fight this dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hit so bloody hard. This freaking giant go down. Legend giants are really good. That's a good headbutt. Oh, they're finally advancing over here. Alright, now go kill this dude. Oh, he actually missed. Oh, his health's gone one hit. <laughs> One hit, he's out of here. Uh, I don't actually want him to leave the battlefield. I want him to get wounded. Don't want the dude getting any experience. That dude's not coming back. Oh, any chance you can catch him? Oh, there's a slight chance. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Give him a good old kick. He's wounded. Quick. On the edges right here. Quick. Yes. Good job. No experience for him. Because, yeah, he was definitely immortal. Alright, well that's the worst of their forces. Maybe go fight the uh, Black Hawks over here. The rest of our, our forces should have no trouble taking them out. Scarbron actually reached his max uh, heals. It's okay. Don't think it matters at this point. Close to feet, my ass. Brothers in blood it's pretty funny how Scarbrand's still rocking Marauders in his army. Just doesn't need to upgrade his troops. Surprised still using blood letters, they kind of suck in my opinion. Mm. I quite like blood letters. They're a bit on the squishy side, but they dish out damage, which playing as corn, that's what you want. Thirty percent physical resistance. As long as we don't go up against another demon faction, which there's really not that many left, should be fine. Did you get the tech that gives Minotaur's regen? That would be good in Scarbrand's army. I did not get it because Minotaur's take too long to recruit. Now it's not really a good time to just be 
like building armies that take a long time to recruit but I, I do like that tech for sure but yeah I don't see myself getting minotaurs just yet our oh, blood letters are fast and blood letters are fast yeah they are reasonably fast yeah they're fast and they have good movement speed Good amount of money from that too. I think CA is going to add basic unit kill animations later in the game. Probably not. They might, but I don't know. I need time to heal. I need time to heal. Not now. Does free up keep Bretonia Knights working? Worm with three. Last time I checked, it does. Yep. There you go, wounded one of my heroes. Great. It's okay, we'll be able to back off from this. Nah, just back off. Need more time. That's the thing about uh, dealing with the greenskins, you've got to try to make sure that you're fighting them enough that they don't clump up together in massive um, hordes where your armies is going to get too exhausted fighting it. You've got to... Because they, they don't... Um, they just send their armies as soon as they're ready. you got to take them out as they come. Almost caught up to the broken axe as well. They'll block army. No, they didn't block my army. They wounded one of my heroes. They didn't block it. Inch. When these guys have their turn, they're pretty much going to declare war on me straight away because they're going to hate me. And Cinch. Ugh, fucking hell. I reckon allying with Cinch was a big mistake. <laughs> fucking dickhead. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose or it's just an accident that he's being a complete wanker. I think they did block. Oh, they blocked, did they? Uh, as well? Oh god, that's not good. That's not good. Well, at least I'll get some replenishment. Sure, that's not good. Yeah, you're right, they blocked me by 50%. But even then, they can't catch me. I just can't catch them now. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything about it this turn. Yep, they blocked me. But it'll be okay. Oh, hang on a sec here. Shifty. 
Shit. He's going for Floating Village. That guy might be able to actually reach Floating Village next turn. If I don't stop him now. And I've only got this one here to do that. So, shit. Army of Skaven Slaves. I'll still have the summons. Garbage army. Yeah, their army's not exactly fantastic. I'll be able to take out this stuff. This guy here is going to be the biggest problem. Um, but I don't think he's going to be able to assist. Mmm, it says it's evenly matched. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try. Now now I just have so much garbage in this army though. Man, that combination of events. Winnable. Okay, maybe. Maybe it's winnable, but it's an underway fight, which is a little bit tricky. I know I've got summons, but the rattling gun is the only thing able to get rid of the Goblin Great Shaman. And the um, this one here. Because like you can't rely on these units at all. I've just got so much trash in the army. I've got... They're all low level. Could you not reinforce with the other army? If I do that, they'll run away and I won't be able to catch him. Let the bell scream, scream. I need to check something. Oh, it's the hour. If I can't reach him, chances are he can't reach me. Stop that! Lord of court. Listen to me, me. Cause don't forget this unit isn't boosted. No, it's a good unit. Sound off. That is a big iffy fight. Ready to lose? Maybe. Lord of Maybe. That is that is very iffy. Got extra leadership on them, but yeah, we can't rely very heavily on the Skaven slaves. We got like no spells, no magic. No, I think that if I bring this dude down, I'll still be able to catch him. Because I still have 45% movement. I think I'll still be able to do it. And if not, nothing else is in the way here, so... Yeah, let's, let's do this. Stop, 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 stop. Oh shit, please tell me I can make it. Okay, I got just enough movement. Now he doesn't have enough movement to re reinforce. The flood fury is upon me. This is no way, not no longer an underway fight. 
And I've actually pushed him closer to Floating Village. Oh my god, if it only wasn't for the goddamn block. Players can't retreat. Yeah, I can. No, no, no. Players can retreat. This wasn't an underway intercept. Oh my god. That is. That's gonna be a tough fight. Exalted yes. Alright. I'll get back to that in a moment. I need to think about it. March. Okay, this will be the end of Volkmar the Grim, which is nice. Movement bug's still a thing. Not while I'm in Force March. Call the Sigma gone. Cool. Slaughter made manifest. Oh yeah, there's this as well. Holy crap. Alright, well, Arkhan's army is pretty bad. We just gotta watch out for this. And then... Oh my god, we got a lot of armies to take out. <laughs> oh god, oh god. I can't give him any equipment. Now that it's a field battle, I think I can win because of the um, the Doom Flayers. I think that'll be the key to victory. I can't bring this guy in, he won't make it. I have to do this. I have to fight this. Because our garrison will never be able to win against that. Oh, I'm going to need to draw my inner cheese in for this battle for sure. Because yeah, a lot of these units are not going to perform very well. Can you just ban Scaven's and put Disciple Army in? No, 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 I can't. I can't. It's a borrowed army. I can't do that. Alright. Tough fight ahead of us here. Tough fight, I think. But they're not going to start coming at us until we do some missile damage. So that gives us some time with the summons. The summons is where we get the advantage. I'm glad the skulls for the skulls throne is going on. Everything's low level, yeah. Alright, I gotta survey my territory here, or my um my ground with real care. Because this one here has to do everything. It's only got 15 shots, but it has to kill the specifically shifty, that's the most important thing. And not so much the giant, because the giant can be killed by them. Decent high ground over here. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, if they come up this way... Thing is as well, corner camping can be a problem when using Skaven Slayers because they're... Look at that disgustingly low leadership. Be aware of fanatics. Yeah, fanatics aren't really gonna be a problem for us in this battle because our units are shit anyway. And yeah, I'll probably pop down the, uh, the summon on their fanatic. Okay. I'm trying to decide where to go. Putting a rattling gun up here can actually be quite detrimental. I've noticed that um, they just won't shoot. If I put it there, however... That could work. Jim <laughs> Diver catapults probably won't shoot at them. Keep them in reserve for now. Keep these guys here. Hold your ground. Alright, 
Okay, Skaven Slaves up first. Make sure that they're outside the range of the artillery by a good margin. And we just have to hope they don't rush at us. If they rush at us, we're fucked. Here we go. What are they doing? I think they're just reforming a little bit. Yeah, they're just reforming a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Move. Okay. Freak, freak. I thought he was playing corn. Alright. Luckily, these will not trigger them to start coming at us. Excuse me. It's gonna pop down some spells to begin with. That's fine. Yep. And we just got rid of their artillery. If they use up some twirly whirlies, great. If they don't, no big deal. They did. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They've. Oh, look at that. They've fucked their own army up with that. Holy shit. And we got rid of the Doom Divers. <laughs> Oh, uh, there we go. I think we just... We basically just won off that. Good job, AI. You fucked it. You fucked it. And his spell cast. Yeah, it didn't do anything to his own army. Uh, to, to our army. I uh, still got three more. Good stuff. I can't get any closer with, uh, with this. Alright, that was lucky. That was a very lucky go of it. Uh, I think there's archers over here that would be good to get rid of. Yep, yeah, more twirly whirlies killing their own army. Oh god, this is going so nicely so far. I wouldn't be surprised if I started playing corn music now. They've killed so many of their own troops already. Keep it up. Okay, that twirly whirly is not really killing their own units, but it's fine. Hey, Seraph, how's it going, dude? Alright. The next thing is going to find a way to get them to come at us. Yeah, it turns out that uh, Clan Moors got the hand of Vectique and uh, summoned Scarbrand. Actually, the other way around, I guess. Scarbrand summoned him. Why the summons die so quick? There's a lot of damage there. A lot of damage output. Uh, these are quite squishy. What I'm mainly trying to do is get them to activate their um, twirly whirlies, their uh, minute, uh, spinning loons, and kill their own units, and take out specific units. Like the Doom Diver catapults, that was worth so much. That's actually worth more, all the, uh, as much as all the summons, I think. Okay, now this one here, a little bit weird. What I want to do is actually try to hit as many of their units as possible in the hope of maybe just getting a whole bunch of 12s going. 
Yeah, there we go. Look, they hit the 12s down. Our unit died pretty much instantly, but they just wrecked their own army with their own abilities there. And look, look at this. Look at the summon. Addition damage. I oh, not summon this magic in their own units. Alright, that's as far as the summons will take us. Starting to play corn music. Okay, now we've got to get them to come at us. Hmm. Okay, so. First thing. Let's see if we can waste the ammunition of their archers with uh, Doom Flayers. Whatever's ammunition is left. Because, yeah, these guys here, they're not going to take much damage from it. And I can probably mess them around just a little bit. Ooh. Mm, yeah, this is not doing much damage to us. We're okay here. Anything that's wasting is magic as well. It's good. Because those will be very dangerous to our absolutely no armored units. If they have to go into melee with us. That'll be good. Also, it's just, it just wastes a lot of their bouncer power. Roughly about the same value as these units. Good. Anything else? What are we done here? Oh yeah, let's lure some of these units away. Alright, who will win? A Doomflayer or... Something Pump Wagon. I reckon three Doomflayers can beat... Let me have a look though. 38 melee attack to 35 melee attack. 26 melee defense to 26 melee defense. 95 to 40. Okay, we actually dish out more damage. We should be able to win against... Okay, they've triggered. They're coming. Okay, now we need to use the Doom Flayers to try to lure some of their units away while they're advancing. Yep, you still have more. Good, good. Yeah, we can outrun pretty much everything in the army. Except for the... Yeah, we can outrun anything. Oh, hang on. They're not really advancing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Try to... Come on, try to lure them over to the... Come on, make a decision. Come on. It's stuck on fucking terrain there. It's not good. Bring them over here. Scary. If we can lure these units over here and make it easier for our missile units to get rid of it. Yeah, one of those dudes got stuck. That's okay. Right, let's bring these up a little bit. And once we start shooting at the giant, the rest of the army is going to come at us, but their, their formation's ruined. Because what, what giants are worth lots of bounce of power, but they're shit. Okay, that's going to get them to come at us. I noticed this happening again. Okay, maybe maybe hold your fire because your ammunition's yes, worth yes. more than theirs. Like this this giant isn't gonna do anything now. Protect me. Doom player. Mm, Alright, maybe get him a little bit. Attack charge! Watch, watch! Now move! Send a Skaven slave to slow him down. Oh, watch out! We're gonna get hit! Gonna get hit! Oh, he didn't hit me good. 
And the giant's down. That's good. Okay, you may shoot into him. Alright, assassin, go in there. Hold them back. Good, they used the twirly whirlies. Way too early there. Oh wow, that did not hold them back for long. I've got this. We've got this. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we've got this. Hidden enemy. Ruination. Now save up for a sort of corn. There we go. Alright. Everything went pretty well there. Yeah, make sure we kill him. There we go. There we go. It just helped so much that they killed so many of their own units with their own twirly whirlies, and we had the summons. If we didn't have the summons, we wouldn't have won, I don't think. Is that an allied army you borrowed? Yeah, of course, yeah. No, these are these are corn berserkers, corn rat berserkers. They have no ability to catch us here, but we need to be available to... Who blocked us anyway? Dickhead. Yeah, they can't catch us, but I just need to make sure that if they come over here that we can attack them next time. Hopefully this guy doesn't block us again. If he does, we're in big trouble. It might... Oh, crap. I just realized I just blocked here. Yeah, it can be a problem when you've got uh, them doing that, for sure. Chosen. You deserve a rest after that. Um, yeah, you deserve a rest. Cool. Alright, Scarbrand has... Oh, they're able to recruit lords at rank 13? Ugh. Uh, Philip Fisher did a $5 uh, Euro Super Chat. I would buy a DLC with Corn Skaven units. Okay, thanks for Super Chat, dude. Well, give, give uh, Crave Assembly credit. <laughs> No, sorry, give, tell Creative Assembly to give me credit, I mean. Okay. So with Scarbrand, our army's at full strength. Can I declare war on him again? Oh, the world is meat for my grinder. Yes. You first. Yeah, we can go back to going to war with uh, with Throg next turn. We'll take Crackerdrac. Because it shouldn't be too bad to hold. Especially if Scarbrand stays out this way. 
And we'll finish Throg off once and for all. Oh, there's a thing over here. Mm, yeah, it's kind of on the way. Okay, we'll go that way. Maybe we'll get a battle and get some extra movement. What are we getting? Uh, perform better. We don't need to perform better in battle. We're unstoppable. Favorable wins. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's... Let's land here. Should I force march? Yeah, that'll just allow us to spend less movement next turn to, to get here. Yeah, it's fine. What's he going to do? Look at his strength. He's... He's All right, at least we saved our uh, forces from those green skins. For now. For now. I will hear you. Let's find... And as long as... He remains friendly with us, I think we're going to be okay here. Stay in the shadows. And we might become allies. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So military actions against Wintertooth he doesn't like. Which we're about to go do that again. He doesn't like the fecundities. Yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. Death before life. Alright. Ben Affleck, what are you doing? Let none oppose me. Exalted hero of corn. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That needs to be dealt with. Well, I know where their armies are. That's what the whole point of what the scout was doing. Let the slaughter commence! Yeah. It's fine. I don't think that their forces have any chance against us here. I will prove myself to corn. Unhold some bloodlust. All right, now we're gonna get out of this. Prince. This shit situation here. It'd be pretty funny if we could- Oh my god! I was just about to say. It would be pretty funny if we could just auto-resolve all four armies. Oh, there's only two there. Uh, okay, if we- Hang on, let me have a look. <laughs> okay. That's only- That was only two. I thought it might be all four. Okay, it's not. How to go about this. Should we not lightning strike them and deal with this? Because that way I only have to deal with- I feel like I shouldn't lightning strike them. That way we get rid of two armies. Hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't lightning strike it. I think that's that would be a bad call. We should just fight this. Two armies versus, you know, two armies. Don't worry about not control large armies. Should I? Yeah, let the garrison live. I think we'll be fine. Because, yeah, they'll just get wrecked as they come in. Um, Yeah, I think that's the right call. Alright, let's do that. I'm really enjoying this campaign. I really am. Playing through my own Scarbrand campaign on Legendary very hard at turn 28, level 50. Absolute fun campaign. Yeah, yeah, I really like playing Scarbrand. It just goes to show you that overpowered shit is fun. That's why they didn't attack last turn. Yeah, bloody lucky. Although, if they did attack, we could have not controlled large armies and maybe ground them down. Although, in a settlement siege, these guys here are not great. And also, just having to defend multiple points. Oh, God. Alright, so... 
nobody's reinforcements are coming in just yet. Uh, keep this guy hidden. I don't want him participating in this fight. Alright. Oh, sorry. Ugh, fuck me. Okay, what we should do to begin with is spread our units out a little bit like this. Why is that? Because they're going to pop down the Tomb Swarm, which I'm not going to be able to dodge. So all we can do is try to make sure... Oh my god, spell resistance 60%. <laughs> wow. Um, try to make sure that wherever they pop it down, they're just not going to do any serious damage. I don't think they'll advance on us at the start. No. Okay, what would be good is to get him to use up the Tomb Blade of Arkan right off the bat. And also the Libra Mortis. Yeah, there he goes. Pops that down. Can't really dodge it. Didn't do much damage. Cool. This is why we spread out. Alright, first one of these, pop it down on their archers. Because we can wreck them that way. Yeah, he's using all of his bloody abilities. Yeah, if you touch Arkan, just touch him, he'll summon his skeletons. Ah, oh, he didn't. That's okay, we did some decent damage. Are you happy with the first Worm 3 DLC? I think it could have been better. Uh, I'm not too fast on where another. There's the other one. If I'm not mistaken, that's it. There's no more. But I won't stay in formation just yet. Can't heal them, but that's fine. Get rid of that skeleton archer. Okay, this one did better than the other one. Cool. We've got two more of these. Can be tempting to do it to the Hex Race because they have a lot of physical... Oh, it's not as much physical resistance as I thought. Only 55%. Didn't they normally have 75%? That's interesting. That's not that bad then. Oh, but I think they buffed their health. Right. Yeah, if I send these guys in, I think they'll die straight away. Not bad, 100 kills for a summon. Not bad. Okay, killed another archer unit. They do 100% armor piercing. Oh yeah, look at that shit. Get a little bit more organized. Okay, got one more of these summons. Where should we pop it down? 
Tomb Guard seemed fine. Actually. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we got to get them to come at us. How are we going to do that? With these. Now, problem here is that the hex rays are quite fast. So trying to shoot them with this isn't necessarily ideal. Yeah, I think what we should do is just charge in the front. Check the flank over here. Because the hex race is probably going to hit us. Make sure these guys here are in guard mode. Yep. By the if we can try to get Arakan to come at us and get rid of him early, that'll make it a lot easier to crumble them. They have frostbite now. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. Right, that's going to trigger them to come at us. Oh, look at that. Arkin just getting fucked. That's what we want to see. Does he have much armor? Yep. Good. Arkin is, Arkin is out of here. Faster! Okay, don't shoot just yet. Oh, here they come, here they come. Get the high ground, though. But this is what we want. We want them to come nice and early. Come on, get back. Good, yeah, it's not doing that much to us. Alright, cool. Move around the side here, start harassing more. Still more hex race to come. Great, if we can get enough kills, we can pop down for a really nice blade of corn. Yeah, the curse barely does anything to us. It's magic. Comes, nice big blade of corn. Without any friendly fire by the look of it. Oh, nice. 
I think we've absolutely smashed him in this battle. That's what we want to see. My savage reward! Exalted hero of Korn! It's so many kills that it nearly recharged for another one straight away. Like this one here, it's only taking one casualty. Are aspiring champions good units? Yeah, they're really good, especially once you get all the technologies. They're really good. Over here, because they're coming in. They go after them, well, they'll catch us. Uncles. Also got a bloodthirster summon. Uh, change your plans. Go over there. Get rid of the uh, screaming skull catapult. Another blade of corn ready to go. Right in there. Right in there, cornhole. more powerful, cane or corn? Probably corn. Good. Wiped them all out. Alright, well that's two of their armies sorted. Oh no, you lost a bloodthirster. Yeah, that's two of their armies sorted. We took very much minimal damage there, but we still got two more to deal with before we're in the clear here. Yeah, close vision, victory to be expected. How many casualties? Less than a hundred. And most of them were probably because of the E-sharp D. Someone says that Corn and Cain are the same god? Mm. They're similar, but they're not the same. Has the air ever used a sword of corn on you? Yes. All the time. Especially when you go up against the demon prince, because he has it at the start of his campaign. If he starts popping that down, you're in big trouble. Alright, we need to take replenishment. Because, yeah, we're not going to Chains cannot find us. Alright, that's good. Two down. Ooh, diplomatic relations with Tomb King, so useful. Alright. My faith in you wanes. Demon Prince! Might be a good idea to give this guy here a... Oh no, he's got a push process. But this one here, a... Potion of Healing. him. That'd be fine. And same with this dude here. Okay. Fresh 
pushing the healing, pushing the toughness, pushing it. Okay. And this guy here, Iron Course Icon. Do you need that in this battle? My servant fails no, me. Uh, very few missile units. Alright, you can have a shackle of corn. Collar of corn. No, 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 no. The bloody shackle, that's it. That's it. Uh, Warmer 3 endgame crisis, more fun than Warmer 2's endgame. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Alright, we could just order resolve it. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Trixus. Fuck, that's a good item. Holy crap. Good stuff. Yeah, take the replenishment, because you we might come under siege again. Although this should essentially eliminate Arkan. Show me blood. Nice. The blood lust. Nice. Barely any damage. We can always use more pawns. All right. Well, that's sort of that. Those four Eternal armies. Blasphemy. Some good items too. Black Pyramid of Nagash would be good to occupy to later. Um, but we still got to stay kind of close around here. Oh, there's a, there's a challenge. Should be able to manage. But I reckon we blow this up with these two and then disband them because they're probably going to be completely worn out after this. Yeah, you should be okay to force march. No rest. No surrender. Okay. And you can get rid of a Ungo Raider. I just don't feel like I really need them that much anymore. I'm not using them that much. I will send them into a further. Okay. You get back in here because you have gotta protect this region while it's building up the uh, the walls. All right, we might be able to auto-resolve this. We might not. Let's see. Cool. Like I said, we'll just order resolve it because it's time for this one here to go. And I know you guys don't want to see another minor city siege. Cool. We'll skulls for the skulls thrown it, and then say goodbye to them for now. They've they've done a really good job for us, but like all good things, must come to an end. Cool. One X V two, uh, XRV2 did a five dollar super chat. Legend, any tips for teaching my child to read? I pulled them out of school because I have no time to drive them. Too busy in minor cinema battles. Okay, thanks for the super chat, dude. That's obviously a joke question. Um, anything that I answer with that can be taken out of context. Um, so I don't know. I'd like cool. <laughs> I'm not going to step on that minefield. Good, look at that money. We could probably raise another proper army now. And if we were to raise a proper army, what would it be? It'd be blood letters. Blood. Uh, yeah, yeah, more, more of, hang on. What about minotaurs? <laughs> Minotaurs of corn, great weapons.
Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Um, maybe not just yet, because uh, I'm not feeling too much under pressure at the moment. Plus, it might be good to have money ready to go in case uh, these fuckers over here declare war. If we have a look at High Elves. You call yeah, they don't like me. Yeah, they don't like us. Speak your poison. They'll probably declare war. Thanks, Kairos. Would have really benefited us to just not know that they existed. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? I shall See, he didn't listen. I fucking told him to come down here and occupy this, and he doesn't do it. He's like, no, I'm gonna go after the easy stuff. Fuck you. All right, at uh, Deadhead Monoliths, I'm not gonna develop it because someone could just sail over here. Then again, we're not at war with anyone from Lostria. If we get it walled oh god, it doesn't build quickly. It's not worth it, it's not green territory, just leave it. Contest of the blood god. Onward. Blood Reaper. Alright, all this looks fine. Blood, skulls, war and glory. So many armies do we have? We don't have any blood hosts active now. Five armies. Exalted blood first okay. Alright, we got loads of money, so let's spend it. Let's have a look at Marathi and see how she's doing first. The mother of the Druki will hear your It's getting pretty close to having military access for free. That's cheaper than it was before. And relationship is going up. Gifts given to Cult of Pleasure going down really slowly. Okay, that's good. She remains friendly. It's an alliance out of necessity, not out of desire. Tribesmen, gather. Mm, I want them to like me, so no non aggression pact with them. Clan Mulder is trading with them. But they don't like us, so. Maybe I'm not gonna do that. Caravan of Blue Gods Roses. Okay, he got a non aggression pact with us ages and ago, gone. and then he cancelled it. It's just free money. I'm not going that way right now. Your will. God maker. It is top Master Butcher. Oh, cool. Commandment in the West Jungle. That'll be in the notifications. I'll sort that out later. Mm -hmm. Doomglade will probably need walls there because they can land here and attack. Because they'll just look for the, the least offended settlement and just go for it. We'll be able to destroy these walls here soon because what's this? Oh yeah, I don't need that. Um Yeah, it's not gonna be under any threat. can upgrade Hag Hall. Let's go with um, let's go with that. And yeah, give it its max tier garrison. Just to make sure. Marathi should leave us alone now, but just to make sure. At least we'll get some more money out of it. Um, over here, we've got to get this going. It's going to take a little while. Mm -hmm, that's good. Hagaron's hit tier 5. Nice. This will give us a bit of extra cash. 900 income in total from that. Okay, what are we up to at the moment? Yeah, that's a pretty big uh, boost of economy. I 
Oh, we're going for heroes anyway. Not what I want. Not what I want. Okay. Let's get of the blood. This is Total War with Zero Defeats went. Oh, God. That, I'd have to do that with Ikat Claw. And it would be really bloody slow going. Really, really, really slow. Bite and hold, bite and hold constantly. I don't think people would enjoy that. Mist of hell. Uh, I was going to recruit a Blood Reaper. Still looking for Disciplined here, but it hasn't shown up. There goes all of our money. Good. Good income coming through. Uh, pretty calm at the moment. But, you know, it comes in waves. Comes in waves. Just got to be ready for the next one. If we can clean up all of this out here, that's going to make a big difference for us. Because, yeah. This has been a constant frontier for the entire campaign. If we just clean it all up, that's great. Um, Northmen grow restless. Let's move on. See, I told you that would come up in notifications. Eternal warfare. Zog right off. Only warfare will suffice. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. If I save this character while playing as corn, does that mean I can recruit him in a corn campaign? Probably not. Um, I guess I could give it a shot. Nah, just don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, they've got some stuff coming down here. That's a bit of a concern. If they if they break through Misty Mountain and go to Lamia, we're not defended. It's only a... S yeah. I've got the Regiments of Renown ready if I absolutely need them, and we can globally recruit fairly quick. Science time? Uh, I'll do it. I'll track it out in my own time. He's not getting anywhere here this turn. Okay, let's move on. Try for science. Is that what you guys want me to do? Oh, hang on. Is Grimgore slapping or running? Uh, yeah, he's slapping. He's slapping. We've taken out one of his armies, but uh, he's slapping. Three clicks, why in your own time? It's not three clicks, it's also like a bunch of load times. That's pretty much unanimous, yes. Alright, I'll I'll look into it. I don't think it'll work with the heroes, but I'll have a look for the lords. Let's see. Which Marathi skill tree line should I go? Oh, you could go down either. It just depends on what you want. I usually go down the... I can't remember what it's called. The one that has the uh, the bonuses to campaign movement range faction wide. I usually go for that one. Because I love campaign movement range. I love to catch my enemies. So they can't run away. Here's a 3.5 minute break. Hmm. Hey, the Valkyrie the Bloody video is doing really well. How about that? 
It's doing better than the freaking tier list by 20,000 views. Legend, make more tier lists. Nah, man, send me more one man doomstacks. <laughs> Shit. Nice. That video took me all of 20 minutes to make. Oh uh, yeah, oh god, look at look at freaking Grimgore go. He's as far west now as Talibheim. That's as far west he is. Do you know how far east he is? Fucking Cathay. <laughs> he, he owns a lot. Look at those armies. They're all war armies and full stacks. There's three of them right there. Look at that strength ranking. This is what happens when you set the, uh, the end game crisis to 200 strength. No, come on, Grimgor. Uh, Grimgor, get Archeon. Do you know if the Boros quest appears in Kislev in Mortal Empires? I don't think it does, because he exists in Mortal Empires. Oh, there's Grimgor. That's the first time we've actually seen... Oh, and there's Azag. Yeah, he confederated Azag. I wonder if he'll confederate um, Broken Axe. Look at Crooked Moon. They're f they're not in good shape compared to what they used to be. Yeah, he's getting out of there. Alright, I need to check what their armies are doing, especially the one over there. Could have been Wood Elves? Yeah, but I don't know if the Wood Elves would have generated this many armies. That's the thing. And the Wood Elves would have been at least kind of far further away. Maybe. I was mostly worried about the Wood Elf one happening. I was if it was a dwarf one, I figured that would have been the easiest, except for, you know, Thorek. Would you do a zero defeats all endgame scenario game? Look, here's the thing, the only reason this is a zero defeats campaign is because we managed to do five streams and just so happened to not do a, any defeats. We didn't go into this trying to do a no defeat campaign, it just happened. It was the same thing with the Reichland campaign, it was the same thing with the Grunbrindel campaign, it just happens sometimes. But I, when I've tried to go right from episode one, we're not going to do any defeats, people don't like that. We tried to do that with the Beastmen and people got bored really quickly. Because I was like, too cautious. Even now, I'm being cautious to an extent, but we definitely could have expanded further if I had been a little bit more reckless. Because, like... Um, Scarbrand hasn't gained any territory today. Not any. He's just been putting out fires. Rockland camera campaign was amazing. Yeah, I'm glad you liked that one. Grim goes down to level 16. Well, it just means that he hasn't personally been fighting, that's all. Maybe he's been wandering around his vast empire, but not actually been fighting. Also, Grimgore is one of those characters that ranking him up to, um, no. To rank, uh, 50 doesn't really make him that much better than he is on rank 1. Would watch an Ikit Crisis, all Crisis Endgame? Maybe. We'll, I'll see about that. Let's see. Right of Primeval Glory Army from the, uh, from Oxyodal. Uh, 
All right, so that army that was there is jumping this way. That's fine. Uh, but we got to be kind of oh, careful because this army, you know, cannot fucking handle that. Probably. And also, we've only got one more turn. This is the last turn, actually, of the Skulls event. So, if I have a look at that, I can't reach it. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys want me to do the most disgustingly dirty thing I've done in this campaign? Do you, do you guys want me to do it? Who wants me to do something really, really di oh, hang on, I gotta do this first. Let me just uh, find somewhere to besiege and save the game. Ascended! The embodiment of fear! Harvest your skill in fact. Death All right. Well, first thing we're going to do a little bit of science, just a, just a little bit. Okay, so we just saved. We just saved this character here, right? And I'll save this one. Now I'm going to start up a new corn campaign. See if they're available for me to actually recruit. Uh, the, this dirty thing doesn't take very long, by the way. It's real. This is this is like, <laughs> this is, it's it's. I think it's it's pretty up there in terms of dirtiness. Uh, okay, we need to start a new campaign because you can't load save characters Prince into the same campaign. Emperor. We need to play as Corn. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. You need to save the game after you save the characters as well? No, you don't. No, you don't. Anyway, I did save it. Because um, I actually saved that character twice. Now, I don't think this will work, but it'd be interesting if you borrow an army and then save that character, can you then load that character into a same race campaign? What does saving do? It saves the, the character so you can use it again in a campaign. So what it should have here is that I should be able to now recruit that exact same lord back into this this new campaign. See, I told you it's not quick. So now, where's Death Gorge? Okay, now we check over here. We go load character. Nah, it's not there. Nah, it's not there. Alright, oh, this is curious, this is curious, no big deal. They thought about that. <laughs> How good would it be if you could play a campaign with like, just all of your armies commanded by Scarbrand, like you can with uh, Torox? What if you can federate legendary lord? Can you load them? I don't think so. It depends. There are some characters that can be saved. So, here, here's the list of ones that I know can be saved. Sister Twilight, Dryker, Thorak Iron Brow, Oxyodal, um, Torox the Brass Bull. I think there's one more, but I can't remember. Will it appear in a new Skaven campaign? If it appears in a new Skaven campaign, who cares? That dude was nobody. Okay, so here's the dirty cheese I was thinking of, right? So, this army is clearly trying to get down to Floating Village, right? What if I send this army by Force March over to here and then give it back to Clan Moors so that this army heads north rather than south? <laughs> being a problem for Clan Moors. The problem with doing this is that um, 
Um, he'll probably end up losing all of his heroes, and, you know, we did level them up. So, another thing I guess I could do is... Here's the problem. We've got two armies coming down at us, right? We've got this fucker here, and this one. And they're both going for different locations. That's my problem. This guy here is not going to be able to sort out both of them, unless... Unless we lure this one here into a bit of a trap. Rakath, right, Rakath. So, for example, if I stand here, this guy might attack us over the next turn. And hopefully avoid coming down this way. Whereas, if I put this guy in ambush dance, this one's probably going to stand about here. He needs to be able to hit both there and this one next turn. Um, this one here might just need to launch the attack. So, if that guy is going to stand there, I'd love to actually ambush him. Our chances are 60%, so stand there. You stand here. Yeah. I need to check to see how much movement it might take. I want a scurry move. If I can reach him, then he can reach me. Okay, so what I've done there is I've positioned this guy here in such a way that this one should come down here and attack, and then we retreat to here, and then he can't pursue us any further. And this one. Hopefully. That's a key word here. Hopefully, ambushes this one here over the end turn. Gets rid of him. And then we launch the attack on this one here. That's the hope. That's the hope. Uh, just in case, I'm going to recruit a new army over here. Since I got money. And just throw in some orders. That way, this one here can reinforce this one if I absolutely have to launch the attack. I should probably global recruit as well. Can now get soul grinders, but eh, I don't really care much for soul grinders. Okay, so. Basically, just a quick emergency army there. Cool. We can save a bit of money if I do this. Oh, hang on. No, we should. Rather than make them cheaper, I should make them better. What's the uh, edict here? Oh, there isn't one. Yeah. That is correct. Lord of Corn! You dishonor me! Alright, let's have a look if there's any missions. There is not. Let the slaughter commence. Moving out. Okay, I want to see if I can blow this up and then bounce down here and then blow that up as well. Core Need to make sure he's got the. Yep, he's got the agent of blood. I live for war. Just wants tile over. March there we go. War. Hmm, should I order this? Probably not. Let me just see. When I try ambushing with the Skaven army, there's no way we'll win with that army. There's no way. Okay, it's already been smashed. There's nothing in there. That army can't win. It's too crap. Uh, yep, we want to skull it. Ooh, that was a nice amount of movement. Didn't get enough movement. We march. Let them come to us. Yeah, he's no Scarbrand. Show me blood. A deluge of slaughter. Okay, he's probably recruiting from local and global there, so what I'm gonna do is blow this up. That way he's only gonna be recruiting from global. Nothing but gore. 
Demon Prince! March or be murdered! Cool. Exalted Bloodthirster! According to this, we'll reach the castle by our next turn. That's a settlement that we occupy, because it's a major settlement. Uh, if we have a look, it so is worth 17,000 a stack, but it's tier 4. So I can get it at tier 3. Which might actually be a bit more valuable. Yeah, the situation over here is looking good. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Yep, keep an eye on all this crap. Cultist of the blood god. Cool. Make just making sure nothing's coming down this way. Can't level them up. And Scarbrand, what are we doing with Scarbrand? Scarbrand was going to attack Throg. Good, yeah, we borrowed movement from this turn. Last turn. Alright, so we don't want to outright declare war on uh, I was going to declare war on Throg, but Grimgore is here. Plus, going to war with him will piss off the Shadow Legion, which I want to remain friends. Rackerjack's tier 5. I could sack and occupy it for 31 grand. Yeah, look. If Bellicor declares war on me, we'll deal with that. Done deal. Cool. We just declared war on Throg again. Twenty units in there, and they've got walls. That's a big garrison. How the fuck did he? He should that big. Um, I'm not expecting to get attacked over the end turn. Critic victory can be a bit. Yeah, I'm not expecting to get attacked over the end turn. So, yeah, it'll be fine. How high can you get the chance to colonize in order to run any problems? Okay, so the highest possible chance is in a tier 4 province. Let me just find one. And I'll... That's actually a good question. Okay, you get 5% here. It says plus 5%. I don't know what the base amount is. Let's just say the base amount is 5%, right? So 5% plus 5%. Then it's technology plus 5%. And then these provide 2%. Actually, let's just go with what we can see. So 5% here, 5% in the tech tree, 2% here, so 12%, 14%. And then if it's... What's the point of having 16% and there being no ruins? So 14% is apparently the highest you can get it. I don't, I don't know any other way to get it higher. Um, some of these buildings here, none of them provide ruin chance. As far as I'm aware. But yeah, the actual equation, it doesn't really tell you. The base amount might be 10%, so it could be 24%. I have no idea. Outpost. All oh, right, that, yeah, that's going to be doing it. All right. Uh, just, we don't need that. Get rid of it. Okay, we need to build defenses up here and here. And uh, try to hold on to it. Um, don't bother repairing it. What else can we do in here to try to really lock this down for defenses? That helps a little bit, I suppose. Skulls. Blood. I crave bloodshed. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. First time uh, he's actually expanded in, in this, uh, this, uh, this stream. Alright, so, you've moved, yep, you're fine. 
Minor city Do building does? Yeah, I, I mentioned that though. I think that's me done for the turn. So yeah, big hope here is that they this one here gets ambushed as it comes in. There's a decent chance we'll just get detected. Just stay exactly where you are there. And we'll just uh, we'll see how we go. So it seems likely this one will go for our army as opposed to Queek over here. And there's no way it'll have enough movement to catch us. No way. Especially running through this bog out here. It, it, this place here eats up movement a lot. But we'll have to just wait and see. Another thing to consider as well is that he's had his movement range increased because of the uh, Warlock Engineer, so he doesn't have that. How do you decide between Bastion and Portal? Oh, I read what the benefits are and decide whether I want it. It's pretty straightforward, I don't think it requires an explanation. One has extra recruit slots, so you put that in a recruiting province, right? Um, one has extra corn corruption, so you put that where you want corn corruption. And extra public order. So you just decide what you want. Uh, Green Eggs became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, what are we going to build? Did I do the hero recruiting? Are you running with Zinch units as corn or as Archeon? Oh, I guess I could recruit Sinch Units, couldn't I? I didn't even think about doing that. Alright, so from here I could recruit Flamers, Chaos Knights, Exalted Pinks. Oh god. Is there anything better? Forsaken. Yeah, just put it in Fortress of Dawn, whatever. Didn't even think about recruiting his units. Fucking wizards, that's why. Alright, upgrading that. No, no, don't need that. Okay. How's Marathi doing? Marathi will hear your insignificant plight. Hmm. Alright, she's taken this settlement here. If your I sell her the Witchwood, can't yet. So make known your request. I can't sell it to her yet. I speak for the Druki. Mm, she what shouldn't declare war on us, but it's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, one of her enemies got wiped. Oh, it was um, the beastman got wiped out, I guess. Uh, John ten one eight nine one Brooks did a photo switch at Hey Legend. If you allow a herald to ascend to exalt a bloodthirster, so does their trait they originally had change? Yes, it does. Yep, gives a new trait. They keep the defeat traits that they got. Uh, from uh, uh, legendary laws of the beaten, but they lose the uh, their recruited trait. Yes, thanks, super chat. Oh wait, I forgot to check heroes. That's why I went back down here. I might actually just leave that guy there and attach him into the army if I absolutely have to. Keep getting shit traits. No. Exhausted hit.
So yeah, I've gone with this one here because the corn corruption's fine. Public order is actually not that fine. Why so bad? Climate. What's the difference? So this provides two less public order. This is got it's got a fair bit of wiggle room. And plus I could just switch it to this one here that'll provide four public order. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then I'll pop it there. Because I want to be able to recruit from this province really quickly. And that provides two extra local recruit slots, which is nice. Not a recruiting province, so spread the corn corruption. Alright, cool. I think we're done with this turn. Save scum till they get the trait you want? Pretty much, yeah. I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying. But, you know, there's not that many great traits anymore anyway. You know, it's mostly just disciplined. I just want to point out, this guy here was the first one to ascend to become exalted. And this one here got to rank 50 before him, just because of how much this guy has been running around trying to find fights. <laughs> Everyone's been avoiding him. Alright. We we lose the um, the summons now for five turns. Oh, they've been so useful, but... Uh, at least we're in a relatively calm spot. The worst being this spot here. I think we'll be okay. But, uh, because this army here is pretty good. Oh, that's right now. Fucking... No, I'm just... You gotta make do with what you can. Strength ranking. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'll borrow one of Archeon's armies as soon as he actually has an army worth borrowing. Oh, here's one, here's one. Here's one. Nah. Nah, that's his problem. <laughs> I, want, I want someone to come and help me over here. So, wait and see if he recruits him. Oh, I could get that. What I could do is recruit him and have him just sit here and act as garrison for me for a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see if he recruits some more units first. That'd be nice. Alright, let's move on. Do you actually play the tabletop for Wemmer games? No. Hey Matt, how's it going dude? Member for 43 months. I want to congratulate you on getting the elusive Watch Your Step achievement after a whopping 6,000 hours of Factorio. Are you serious? Was there an actual achievement that I hit? Let me have a look at that. Oh, I did too. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I got killed by a moving locomotive. Oh, after a whopping 6,000 hours. Right, <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, my train ran me over. <laughs> Stupid epic games. Don't do that. How would you think Disciplined? Plus zero melee attack for character and plus one leadership currently. 
when it's too OP. If people want to have it, we can't have that until the war. Nah, okay, to fix discipline, what you want is minus one missile uh, damage for all melee lords, faction-wide. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting the fuck out of there. You love building sims, huh? I, I love logistics games. It's not really building sim, but yeah, logistics. Guess you could live stream Factorio full time. I've tried live streaming Factorio. It is not entertaining for people. They do not like it. If I want to stream to 20 people, I'll go do that. But, um, no. Nah. Factorio is a really fun game for me to play in my own time. Alright, Grimgore's turn. Here we go. Gotta keep an eye on all of his movements. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't borrow that army. <laughs> I would not have been able to handle that. Uh, oh, that dude was besieging the plains of Zambaijin. Right. Have you broken Satisfactory already? I have broken Satisfactory once before. I um, once had a save file that was so damn bloated that I can't load it anymore. So in that camp, in that particular save file, I actually broke the, uh, the the counting system for copper plates. I had so many copper plates that the game couldn't count them anymore. And what it did, because I had 2.14 billion, it had an integer overflow, and it kept saying, you have negative 2.14 billion copper plates. I had, I had over 2 billion copper plates. <laughs> I don't think you realize as well how long it takes to get 2 billion copper plates. Oh shit, he's gone for me. Ambush didn't work. Alright, I think we... Ooh, okay, the problem with this is that we're not the attacker. But here's the, here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Um, we're not the attacker, but we're also... If we move from this spot, we're not going to be able to fight that other army. Um, if I order resolve it, our army gets freaking wiped out. But we've still got the summons. If I wait until next turn, I can lightning strike it, but I won't have the summons. Most of the army's pretty trashy, but the problem is we're not the attacker. That's that's the big thing to keep in mind here, and that's not exactly an easy army. Not an easy army there. We have two black orcs. Got some summons here. How much damage can you do in two minutes? Retreat. That's what I'm thinking too. It's just not worth fighting it. But here's the thing. If I fight this, I'll get replenishment. I'm pretty sure I can win it. But yeah, it's a lot of force. Wish my other dude here didn't get bloody wounded. It's like, where? Like, this this war army here is garbage apart from that unit there. I gotta watch out for the super squig. I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight it. If we do it next turn, we're not gonna have the summons. Um, if we lose half our army, we'll get replenishment. I don't need a full army to beat that other army. Um, it'll make it more likely that that army will be lured down this way. Obviously, it would have been better if we had ambushed them, but you know, you get pulled out of it, that happens. Um, we've got the summons. So I can get rid of this. You know, I've got a Bloodthirster who will beat the shit out of this guy if I can get to him. Um, 
You know, I got a good front line. He's rank 19 as well if he dies here. It's not good. Do I have a heal thing on him? I do. Okay. Yeah, you don't have a heal thing. Okay. Where shall we stand and fight? Alright, over here seems... Pretty much, hang on. Trees would be actually... Trees would actually be pretty good for fighting. Because of all their large units. We don't have that many. Okay. We serve the slaughterer! I want him to go and start wasting ammunition of their archers because they're not going to do much damage to him in the first place. And the second thing is... Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't blow up too much because they, they don't have any um, nasty goblins, do they? They're also a little bit tired, that's good to know. Maybe because there's a blood ground area. But I would have taken that into consideration to resolve. Uh, yeah, just get rid of this high value unit. Just get rid of it. Manifest. Good, full volley wasted. Marauders of Korn! Takers of skulls! Boiling hatred! Finding victims! Oh, they can't see my dudes. <laughs> Drinker of blood! Yeah, these ones are going to be annoying, so wasting their ammo is definitely good. Don't, you, don't waste this on us. Yeah, they're clearly just waiting for their reinforcements before they launch the attack. I think we got rid of... No, we didn't. We got more summons to come. Why is this taking so long? Come on, get him. moving. Marauders on the move! Axe Father's Marauders! Okay, maybe back off from this. You should be really going after the Orc Boar Boy Biggins. Wait, what was their speed? 77. This is just a waste. If they want to shoot at the Bloodthirster, they're just wasting their ammo. I need to go to take them out. Because they are actually dangerous. Landing wouldn't be a good idea, just in case you're thinking that. Oh, we're actually kind of getting them to shoot their own troops a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, we're going up against a lot in this battle. Okay, I don't actually want to be hiding, but whatever. Yeah, see, look, they're sitting... Oh, excuse me. They're sending their entire army against my cavalry. I don't want, really want them to win that. I want them to come at me. Yes. Marauding onward. Demon Lord of Corn. Blood for the blood attention. Right, I'm going to aim for some Orc Arrow Boys. Yeah, we're gonna be shooting at them, not these fuckers here. 
Waste of ammo. Okay, they can see us now. How'd that do? Mm, not that many kills. A bit of damage, but not that many kills. Shit. Move, 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 move. move. Get caught otherwise. Oh, it's gonna be close, but I think we got away for the most part. Wolffather's warriors! Sent by the slaughterer! Glorious devastation! Follow the blood! Marauders never fail! Mm. Not loving how this is going so far. Just because of all these skirmishes over here giving us a problem. I really need this guy here to keep wasting that one's ammo. Because yeah, they're harassing my guys over here and I don't I just don't want them shooting at this crap. I want them shooting at armored heavy troops. I can see us here. Good, move back a little bit. As they come in, we'll move back. The gods will it! I go! Brothers in bloodletting! We serve okay, the got another idea. I'm gonna go into melee with them. You know. Don't shoot at them, just pin them down, let's get them. Because our marauders should be able to beat. They're, um, they guys quite easily. Oh, I'd, lo I'd love a sword of corn right in. Oh my god, a blade of corn right in that. Oh, that's so good. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we made the right call here, getting rid of these guys like this. Bit of damage, but not too many casualties. Good. Mm, I'll have to send someone over to get that. Marauders of Cold! Wolf Father's Warriors! Okay, start moving back to here. Protect them flanks. What are they doing? What the fuck are they doing? What, on? what the hell are they fucking doing? What the fuck are they doing? What the, what the what the fuck are they doing? Of the okay, by him being in melee, he's recharging the thing. That's good. What are they doing? I'm gonna go Cold pop this down on them. What what the fuck is this? Who programmed this? <laughs> What on earth are they doing? Exalted oh, Super Squig. <laughs> Just wait for the right time for it. I surge forth. Have to make a bit of a rest. 
when that super squig passes through here, we pop that in summon, it'll explode, blow up their own units. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Come on, touch it, touch it. Just touch it. Oh damn it, they didn't touch it. Oh hang on, is it coming back in? I'll just I'll just land on it. Oh hang on, hang on. There we go. There we go. It blew up. Land for more damage to that fire truck. Yeah, well if I land they'll send cavalry to pin me down. Uh, it does. It does a decent damage. Can we swoop? Oh, you can swoop! You just have to time it really well. You can Mario bounce. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. It's, it's possible to swoop. You can do it. It's just difficult. What are they doing? <laughs> them. Swoop. I yeah, it's pretty hard to swoop. You gotta get the timing basically perfect. Five hours sweep out and coming. No, look, they're on the attack. I don't know why they're they're dilly dallying so much. Or because they've got artillery. There, there we go. That worked. You gotta do it right when he's doing the animation for attack. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right when he starts the animation, because it can't be stopped. Slow there. Actually, oh, my infantry are hidden again, right. We're racking up the points. If I can get them into another blob and a blade of corn. Still practicing this a little bit. see me again. Yeah, it's just weird. They're on the attack. I thought they'd be, like, super aggressive. Alright, here they come again. What is going on with this battle? It's so weird. Don't land near the Orc Boar Boy Biggins. That would have been a big mistake if they had continued that attack. But lucky there. Um, yeah, it's weird what they do. Oh no. I think the game just crashed. I think the AI just Alt F4 out. Yeah, the game just crashed. Ah, yeah, it crashed.
Fucking hell. We were doing really well in the battle, too. Oh, my God. Well, you know, that's probably the first crash in that entire campaign so far. Oh, I think I was doing really well in that battle. I don't want to have to start it again. It might not go down that way next time. How old is your PC right now? Uh, not very hot at all. It's actually quite cool. Honestly, it runs hotter when I play Anno 1800. The new patch from CA prevents AI loser, yeah. Well, we're just gonna have to try again, because I need to fight that battle. Do you think Grimgore made too many copper plates? Maybe. Look, the thing is, I've been running the game for 8, eight hours and 18 minutes, and the game crashed. It happens. I mean, it's better if it happens at the start of a battle that was going to be really quick. But unfortunately, we it happened in a battle where it's a bit iffy, that was going really well. We had done a lot of damage to them and they had done nothing to us. But unfortunately, I just gotta do it again. Yeah, can't order the... Do you play the game in max settings? No, I play it on one down from the max settings. Um, when I first played Warhammer 3 back in January, um, I noticed that max settings was just a little bit too high, it was just massive frame rate loss, so I dropped things down a little bit, and now it runs pretty well. Um, sometimes you get a, a few drop frames here and there, but it happens. If Legend goes to bed with Battle Unfinished without Nightmares, yeah, I have to finish this battle before I go get off. Yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not going to do anything different. Um, I think it was just like a freak crash. I wasn't doing anything particularly weird. It was just, it just caused a crash. Just going to try and do that stuff again. So what I want to try to do here is catch these guys in melee. That worked out pretty well last time. Uh, don't worry about the summons right now because we know that they're just going to derp out a fair bit. So I use this as a way to trap them. I'm luring them over here. That we go around them here to cut them off. So far, so good. So far, it's actually going better than the previous time. Escort them off the battlefield. I just want them, just want them gone. Good. This is going really nicely here. We shall the slaughter. Well, warriors. Good, barely any damage on that. Oh man, I, I really want to get 
the, uh, the the blade of corn on them. That'd be so good. I think my guys are still shooting though, even though I turned them not, told them not to. For orders of call. Yeah, they definitely are. I definitely told you not to shoot. Let's get off the battlefield. Cool, that's quite a few annoying units dealt with. At very much minimal cost. Alright. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I think this is going better than last time. I haven't used up any summons, we've already taken out quite a few units and we've lost no troops so far. I don't have any far- oh no, they've got this far, so. Um, armored squeak hoppers. Armored squeak hoppers? Oh, they're like a... A war reward. There's a super squeak. I don't think that did anything. And that didn't do so well. Oh well. Alright, this is good. This is what we want to use the ammo on. The Orc Borboy Biggins. Lots of armor, no shields. No sh no um no resistances. Can't catch us. And it's a little bit tired. Yeah, that's it. Shoot him in the back. Maybe if he pins it down. Alright, uh, yeah, shooting at a close range seems to work. Okay. Over yes, here. Lord. We've got to get the kills up and pop down the blade of corn as they're coming in. That'd be great if we can walk out of this one with barely any damage. Brothers in bloodletting. We'll be back. We serve the slaughterer. Uh, don't pursue them anymore. What are you shooting that distance for? <laughs> Way outside of its range. Okay. 
Come on, give me them kills. Need them kills so I can pop this down on the on the approach. Shooting goblin seems like a waste, but I just I gotta get some kills. Low value, high value doesn't matter. Give me kills. We shall the slaughterer. My savage duty. Black for the black god. Axe for their marauders. Wolfather's warriors. Good, racking up them kills. He's doing fine there. Yeah, those archers aren't doing much. Okay, move back a little bit actually. Okay, the catapults here are shooting at us a little bit. Should probably do something about that. Black orcs there as well. Man, the AI is really derpy in these situations. Alright, it's a new one. Khan's greatest warriors! Follow the blood! We serve the slaughterer! I feel like if we get rid of this one, then they'll start rushing at us. We shall the slaughterer. Watch should scourge. Sent by the slaughterer. Marauders of call. <laughs> okay, we got rid of the artillery. That's good. Takers of scouts. Have you checked out Nakai's new tech tree? Thoughts if you got him? I haven't looked at Nakai yet. It's never been one of my favorites, no. Just, I've heard there's a lot of improvements, but I just haven't looked at it. Marauders of call. Sent by chaos. The wolf. The okay, use up the last of the ammo, and then these sort of isolated units over here, we should just be able to tackle a charge into it pretty easily. We the slaughterer. So far, pretty happy with how this is going. As long as he's not fighting big ones, that's fine. We're getting pretty close to popping down the bomb. That unit there looks nice and isolated. Yeah, get him out of there now, just because there's um, armored squeak hoppers. They're still being very derpy. Very derpy. Don't know what it is. Alright, if we pop this down now, I don't think we're going to get full use out of it, so a few bit more damage will be fine. Alright, now the squig hoppers, they're anti-infantry. How about you come over here and help out against this? So if we pop down the torment blade, that'll drop its melee attack by 24 and its damage output. Uh, I'm not seeing any issues there, that's fine. Oh, so close to dropping down that bomb. Move on them! Black to the Black Guard! Ex Fathers Marauders! Yeah, they're pretty Brothers quick. Wolf Fathers Warriors! Claim it for Korn! Wolf Fathers Warriors! Searching for battle! Praise the Black Father! We are scattered! Good soldier! This 
So how much damage did it end up doing? Okay. It did not do much. Okay, it did a little bit, but not much. I don't think it's going to be enough kills. We need to kill like 30 more. that blob <laughs> oh god I just need a few kills just give me a few kills out of this just need a few kills and we'll drop the mother of all bombs on them okay while they're pinned down god, I just need you to get some kills get those fucking kills I'll drop down the bomb on, on like a goblin if I have to give me it But it's gonna be. Oh, I should have done it on that. Oh, it was. Nah, I should. Yeah. It, it got some kills. It was. It just wasn't a huge number. It was enough to get one third of the way back up. Alright. I don't know what they're doing over here, but I think it's time to actually advance with our main army. We've totally exhausted them so far. F. Well, it wasn't an F. It did do a lot of damage. It just didn't do as much as it could have. Epic fail, my ass. I've still got kills. It's fine. Oh yeah, look at that. Epic fail. Look at that huge circle of dead goblins. It was a little bit underwhelming, yeah. But it wasn't like I completely missed. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. They're not as big as bloated corpses, those explosions. The slaughterer. Wolf warriors. I'm going after you now. Alright, we should be able to heal almost a full with that. So. Around it. Weird. Uh, maybe I even triggered it just a tad too early, or it was right on essentially about as perfect as you could get it there. Exalted blood letters should rip through these black orcs, no problem. Need to get around over here and get rid of these archers. Cultist of the 
behest of the Blood God. So be it. Chaos Warriors! Right, don't worry about the general. Don't worry about him. It's not that important. This one here is doing some serious damage to us. I need to stop it. Cultist of the Blood God. My savage reward. Horns of war. Our blood boils. They die. Yeah, let's get themselves a bit surrounded there. I think I might need. Yeah, I think that might be more important than the plate of corn. Right now. Over here! I am This over here is a little bit troublesome. Just of the blood god. Come out. Fresh meat! Wondrous suffering! Okay, I've got another summon available. Let's get over here and use it. Over here. This guy here is in trouble. He's completely surrounded. Okay, here you go. Here you go. It's not going to be as good as it could have been, but it's still going to be good. Is fucking hell, they pull they fucking pull through their enemies. Stupid idiot, get him out of that one. Same thing here, get it out. It's take too long to replace. Moving. Pass fathers for orders. This is why I don't like that like spread out like this, you can't keep an eye on everything. Okay, get that one out of there. Oh my god, let's go here. Took so much damage just then. Get him out, get him out. Yes! Darkness calls! We're okay, we're okay. A bit of lopsided damage, we're okay. Most of this is over. There we go, there's the only misses. Cool, no units got wiped out, that's the main thing there. Alright, these guys here need to run down as much as possible. Yeah, this guy could really use some more missile resistance. He doesn't have any physical missile resistance. And they were they were just really targeting him. Almost killed it. F's in the chat. <laughs> For the throne. We serve the slaughterer. Brothers in bloodletting. Gods come on. Easy to replace. These? No, they take two turns to recruit the Exalted Bloodletters. Bring me sacrifices. These ones not so bad. Ask Father's Marauders! I don't think we have to worry about this army anymore. Hmm. 
That didn't do very much damage to... Oh, it's only 33% armor piercing. Do you like Marauder Cavalry? You like use them a lot? Yeah, these are really good because they um, they have armor piercing missile strength and they've got really good combat stats, so they've got bonus versus infantry as well. So they're very versatile. Very, very versatile. And they're really cheap. Excuse me. I can do a lot with these guys. That's why I've been recruiting them. They've got a few weaknesses. Um, any kind of missile superiority and they're fucked. But a lot of the enemies I'm going up against here just don't really have that many missile units. But if I was going up against High Elves, I wouldn't bring them. Are Exalted Bloodletters worth it to recruit? Uh, it depends on the situation. They're better than regular Bloodletters in pretty much every single way. Um, the biggest downside to them is that they take two turns to recruit locally, four turns to recruit globally, so they can sometimes be very inconvenient to recruit. And they're still pretty bloody squishy. Although I can definitely, I can improve this a bit. Very victory. That's weird, I didn't take that much damage. Well, it's a lot better than what Auto Resolve said it was going to be. Do you think Dark Elves should get a rework? Besides Slaves, Murderous Prey West also kind of met, and they could use some new mechanics. Yeah, basically, this new system that they're in, they need a full rework now. They need a full rework. They just don't play well. Like, they're strong, but they're boring. Are there any universal armies left at Wormit 3? No, not really. Um, every army has a weakness. You know, if it's if it can't be beaten by any army, then it's too expensive, sort of thing. No army is unstoppable. Alright, I think we should go with replenishment. Even though it's not tons, it's just that there's more to come. Demons! Indulge your savagery! Oh, Scarbrand. Ooh, Underway Intercept. Um, yeah, we should probably do this because, for one thing, Scarbrand will be able to beat the A battle by itself. It's close to feet, though. Um, we've seen that he can take on the entire army basically by himself. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's giving us bad order resolve because we are damaged, that's all. If they don't have magic attacks on all these guys, they stand no chance against it. Did the math. Blade of Corn did 679 kills. Garbage. Garbage. F's in the chat. I wasted every single cast. Uh, here is John. He did, became a member for three months. Can I recruit a full stack of allied units with the new allegiance system? No. You can only have four units from that are allied units in in each army. Four maximum. Can't get any more than that. Alright, we're the attacker in the scenario. So we can just chill. Oh yeah, we've still got summons as well. Alright, Scarbrand, go do your thing. Oh, I don't have healing potions in there. But don't use the breath attack or it'll still start charging at us. I'm don't worry about those artillery, I don't think they matter at all. What I want to be aiming for are missile units. Don't hit this or else it will go rampaging. Alright, we know Orc Boy Biggins aren't really that big of a threat for Scarbrand. Not really. Like I said, if they don't have magic attack, they basically can't penetrate his house. Here we go. 
Even if they have bonus versus large, it's not really good enough. He is taking damage. Right, no. I really want to get the Slaughter and Carnage up before I fight the Arachnorok. So keeping his health around between 6,000 and 6,500. That's what we're trying to keep it at here. So that rock rock's gonna bite. It's gonna hurt. And it didn't hit. Alright, good. All right, we we took uh, we just took a fair bit of damage. We're okay, we're okay. Lord Wilfred, glory leads us on. So be it. Oh. Right, I think I'm fine to fight both of these. Okay, yes. here, here. Oh, I still have have his speed banner back on. Ooh. Alright, that Arachnorok bit him for like 100 damage. So he should be able to duel it. Yeah, he'll be fine. He might take a little bit of damage, but he'll be fine. Alright, we've got trolls incoming. Get back. It's getting stun locked. Oh man, I really wish I had that um, that speed banner. It makes such a big difference. He's much more maneuverable. Mm, took about a thousand damage. We nearly killed the Arachn. Well, halfway killed the Arachnorok. Just don't want to be fighting the trolls and the Arachnorok spider. I'm gonna kick it up up its ass. Don't dare use this. Need to give him that banner back? Yeah, I gotta remember. I've got two of them now. I need to, need to put that banner back. It makes him so much better. Damage is done. Eight. <laughs> Don't worry about trying to get rid of it then. That's it. Lure this one out here. Nice hit. Don't stay your around. How much damage has it done to me? Thousand. Okay. How's that doing? Cool, it's getting kills. I think we're winning. I think we're winning. Last time he dueled a giant, he kicked its ass as well. Too bad I can't make him any stronger. Good, that Arachnorok is just about gone. Oh, 
61 kills on Pedro, is that 6,000 damage? Good, I'm all summoned. Why is he a Scarbrand healing passively? He does, he just heals while in melee, he doesn't heal, doesn't regenerate. Um, he heals while in melee, which is why he's regenerating now. That's good, we can get some healing there. <laughs> well, they're running away from us. They're eventually just going to walk into a different type of corn unit. Good, we, we're using this to just get heaps of healing. Even if we're not doing damage to it. <laughs> Thanks for the regen. Thanks for the regen. <laughs> there we go. Good. Man, we healed like over a thousand health with that. You guys can do a bit of damage, but it's all physical, so it's all good. He regenerated while fighting. Like, he gained health while fighting a um, Bulk Boy Biggin, which is anti-large armor piercing. That's the last of my summons, but their army's looking a bit, a bit soft now. Got it, just needs one more hit to do it. Oh no, my max heals. Alright, I think we've softened them up enough now that if they do rush at our main army, rather than our one man army, it'll be fine. So this will probably get them to come at us. They should be rushing towards us now. Control. They missed. They're not rushing towards it still. Alright. Dead spider time. Only 29% done slaughter and carnage. <laughs> Made him rampage. 
Remember when that happened to me in that Tomb King campaign and Scarbrand killed like three of my heroes? Now I get to do it to them. Oh, he's gonna get away. Oh, well. Alright, now that giant needs to go. Okay, even in rampage yet. <laughs> I do like watching giants get smashed in the ass. I might say I'm looking at the board here because I'm watching someone get fucked in the ass. Probably get rid of the artillery before they start shooting at my troops. So how much damage I did to <laughs> 69 damage done to them. Yeah, filthy slanesh numbers. Get rid of it. Uh, yeah, they're getting close to being within range. What's the... Is the counterplay to this? Garbrand seems unbeatable, not to mention the full stack of demons waiting in the back. Uh, you need magic attack. The reason why Scarbrand's unbeatable is because of the 50% physical resistance and 30% ward save, but magical attacks absolutely wreck him. When we went up against the Demon Prince, I nearly fucking got wrecked by him because everything was magic attack. So for example, if you were playing High Elves and you had Sisters of Avalon spam, then it, I, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I, I'd have to waste the ammunition. Scarbrand would just get wrecked by it. Alright, he's just about hit his max healing there. Blood for the blood god! Die for Karnath! Scarbrand's army is the only one that's still actually using the orders. A sacrifice! Yes! Those artillery came back. 
they're actually doing some damage. Maneuvering! Marauders are gone! We'll be back. Yes! There we go. Cool. Minimal damage. That's what it's all about, that. Minimal damage. Oh my god, nine hours again. What have I done? <laughs> this campaign is so addictive. One of the last texts gives 10% HP to all characters. Yep, that is true. Yep, so that'll give him about another 900 hit points. So that is true. 10% extra hit points would definitely help him out. But that's a little while away. Mm, I think our replenishment rate's fine. I'll just go this. Because that wipes out the entire army. I think that was the one that I was most worried about. They made the mistake of jumping over here. Oh, I didn't... S oh! Crooked Moon didn't... Didn't go for it. What happened then? Didn't see what happened to him. He's doomed. He doesn't get out of there. You gonna check out the sorcery update for Conan Exiles? Oh yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Um, when does that come out? How many subscribers have you earned since IE came out? I don't know, a couple of thousand. About maybe 4,000, 5,000. Extra casualty potential rate is good. Good, good, good. Alright, so let's have a look at things here. Scarbrand basically came to full strength. Um, we no longer have the summon, so this is the time of worry. Oh, this army doesn't seem like it actually made it over here. Interesting. Let the bell scream, scream. Exalted. But with this army being able to force march over here, oh, the, the army's pretty garbage as well. Let me have a look. Let the bell scream, scream. Yeah, I think we've got this. Don't bother attaching him in there. And then kick him out. For a different blood. And then we're not in force much anymore. <laughs> okay, now. Ah, crap. Can't reach it. <laughs> Great. He can reach it. Oh, uh, wait, can he? Oh, only just. Yeah, it turns out this one here wasn't end up needed anyway. Let me just see. Yeah, he can't make it. That army is not going to besiege Morgheim. We're, we're safe there. Banner on Scarbrand. Yep. Yep, we'll do that. As soon as I do this, it'll be an order resolve. Yep. No units lost. Yep. You cannot oppose chaos. Now 
sûr. Alright, so yeah, this was a tiny bit of a waste, but that's okay. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And this guy here is trait socked. Ooh, knowledgeable. Okay, before I forget, let's go pop that on. Scar brand. Yeah, because... Where is it? Where is it? Not Ranger's Standard. It is called the Banner of Swiftness. This wasn't even being active anyway. Yep, campaign's coming along. Getting there. Any sign of enemies out this way? Nope. So that's good. That's good. And they haven't yet declared war on us, which is also good. I thought they would. Um, I know that these guys here summoned a right of primeval glory army, but they probably did it all the way at their capital over this way, so it'll be some time before it gets here. Um, and if we get more order horsemen, we'll be able to handle that pretty easily. This looks like an order resolve here. Uh, then again, there's a, quite a few units there. Mm, let me just see. If it's a decisive victory, then maybe order resolve. Mm, no, I'll probably have to fight that manually. Because otherwise they'll attack us and we're not going to get any replenishment. That would be super easy fight. Now that battle there... That battle there... Well, we can make a lot from sacking it. I think I'm going to occupy it. Demon Prince! Okay, you need to come over here and keep an eye out for any Arkan forces that come out this way. Oh wait, I saw that one of their armies went out that way, trying to run away from me. But I might just be able to catch it. Pro actually, probably not, but let's just see. So I know I saw it force march. It's probably heading towards Agro Midgar. This is why I didn't um, didn't upgrade the settlement. Because yeah, it's just uh, runs the risk of getting hit. This guy has been fairly useful to us. I'm keeping him alive. Thing is, if I didn't take this character, he would have died. I could have sacrificed him last turn. Could have done that. If we have a look at the situation now, it's definitely time to get off. Um, I'm almost caught up to Broken Axe. The Crooked Moon has been smashed, but they could rebuild. The thing is, we've been killing their armies at a reasonable pace. Uh, Cult of Pleasure is the strongest non-greenskin, non-me faction in the campaign currently. Probably because I gave them all that money. If we have a look over here, yes. finally, what okay, this is good. The hag sorceress. This is why I gave them those gifts. Funny thing is, the two gifts that I gave them was cheaper than what was the military access offer at the time. So we give them How this. Wicked. They still consider us their main threat, but at least, at least the relationship is improving. If I do it a little bit more, um, no, I'm not giving them any settlements, but if I give them a bit more, maybe not now, oh, 18,000, not right now. But yeah, keep them friendly. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Let's go save the game by besieging this over here. Okay. That's the end of today's stream. Really appreciate all the support today, guys. I'm happy to continue this for another stream, but it is borderline. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. No defeats today. Alright, let's go check a host over somebody, and I'm going to get some sleep. Alright, let's have a look. Who's streaming Warhammer 3? Alright, let's chuck the host over to Skaven Dan. Hang on, let me just check this out. Yeah, let's chuck it over to Skaven Dan today. It's a support of the channel. Just going to get... Here's Link. Let's chuck him a big, big raid. But yeah, I'm knackered. I can, I can keep playing, but I really shouldn't. Plus, I need to pee.
Okay, just getting the, the raid sorted. Okay, all good. Alright guys, that's it in this one. Appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. But, you know, it just depends on how exhausted I am. I think I'll be alright, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it in this one. Appreciate you. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.